guys welcome back to the channel for the next episode of remake no rebirth uh, I'm getting walking dead flashbacks now oh my gosh I always seem to mess this up okay hold on run it back not remake rebirth guys we were picking back up right after Barrett faced off against Dine his friend from the past Marlene's father so many things happened I still have a couple questions like I will say that I guess for what it's worth I feel like there needed to be a little bit more. I wanted to know what caused him to go to this point of having, I guess, I don't know if he was having like hallucinations as much as maybe he became a little bit, I don't think schizophrenic. Um, he just clearly, most likely it could actually be probably like a PTSD episode possibly. I'm thinking some kind of trauma from the situation that had impacted his mind up to this point. And again, I guess we don't know exactly. I think it did say how many years ago. So it has been a few years. And I'm just wondering what happened to Dine in that whole in between time before when we ran into him this point. But regardless, Shinra Troop showed up. Dine is dead. Marlene's father is dead. And I talked about it at the end of the last episode. I truly think that Marlene knows there's a possibility of her father's death. I don't think we've ever really seen that conversation that Barrett probably had with her after he saved her. But surely if Barrett himself thought that Dine was dead, then he would have never made any promises to Marlene, I think. And so we are going to see, I think, the aftermath of that whenever we do regroup and reconnect with Marlene as Barrett. But this was a vital moment for Barrett's backstory. This whole area has brought back up a lot of um, or has brought a lot of context to his life, to what he's gone through to the things that he holds dear to his chest and the the pain, the pain and suffering that he has felt from Shinra's presence. And now we kind of understand where this, I don't want to say like deep, I guess deep seated hatred. Yeah, I guess that kind of works for Shinra comes from. So I really liked getting his backstory. I also realized that it, I know, okay, so I think Barrett is the direct translation of Bullet. Um, I do believe that that's why his name is Barrett, but I found that to be really interesting because there is like a, I think there's a company called Barrett uh, Firearms. And I had been talking to somebody, uh, long story short, <clears throat> I have kind of become like a, I've been like solely using snipers in cyberpunk. And we were talking about types of snipers and how there's a Barrett classification or something, something of the sorts of that. And I was like, oh, that's kind of like a funny little coincidence that, that also is called Barrett, but I do believe that it is confirmed his name does stem from the translation of bullet in Japanese. But I just thought that was like an interesting tidbit that I had kind of heard in my off time. And you know when you like, you, what is that phenomenon where you like never hear something, then you hear something, and then all of a sudden you hear that like bounce up like a couple other places that you don't expect it to. That was like one of those situations for me between last video and this video. So I just want to share that with you guys. Uh, but yeah. All right. Well, we are picking right back up. Shinra troops are on our tail. So we got to like full skedaddle. We got to get the heck out of here. We got to jet. So I hope you guys enjoy this next episode. And thank you so much for being here. All right, let's go. Oosh. Oh, real quick, I wanted you guys to know that I did get the clarification that Eleanor is Dine's wife. For whatever reason, I was thinking Eleanor was Marlene's sister and there were two little girls and Barrett had his own daughter and that's why there was so much confusion at the end. I know a lot of y'all's comments probably clarified that too, but I just want to let you guys know going into this episode, I'm tracking. Eleanor was Dine's wife, Marlene's mother, and uh, a Myrna, was it Myrna? Myrna was Barrett's wife. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's get the heck out of here. All right, we are separate. I think we're, are we separate from Barrett? Yeah, I'm not seeing Barrett with us. We might join up right here though. All right, let's pop a squat first before we go anywhere else. Oh, all of the random Shinra troops coming in. I'm sure it is truly because somebody reported them. but it still seems so convenient. Can we go through still? Stop Shinra's attack. Oh, we're on two separate things. That's because Barrett's not with us. All right, we got to stop Shinra.
She got her popsicle? And here I thought that Gus guy was just yanking her chain. Gus. Same. That said, Turn is coat. it okay to let the director get involved like this? Not that he ever was on her side, really. Going to stop him? Deploying okay. riot control armor. All units are to pull back now. Well, have fun down there, boss man. That, that popsicle looks so good. Is this Palmer? <laughs> Palmer inside of it? Yep. Oh, he's a little mad. Let's go. I just want to say that I think it's so rich that all the directors just hide behind their fancy weaponry. I mean, as I probably would too. <laughs> but still, a riot control tank developed by the Advanced Weaponry Division it is equipped with a highly advanced AI system, allowing the mech to constantly operate at peak performance, so long as the pilot is not completely incompetent. Well, we might, uh, that might be the one part that saves us. <laughs> Counterfire, counterfire. Oh, counter fire. Whoa, okay, that didn't work. All right, let's go ahead and do triple slash because that's broken. All right, it's on its side. Oh, snap. Hold on, throw me up. Move around. Gosh, that just wrecked me. All right, it's on its side. Get in there. Tifa, get in there. Mother. All right, let's see. Mother? What? She's got arrow. Not good. Let's do star shower on it. I'll show you what I can do. All right, we'll get Aerith in this fight. Do Tifa and Cloud are neat. <laughs> okay. Seriously? I'm up to here with you. Now you're just gonna tease. <sighs> okay. Well, enjoy this you're thunder. Right. That did nothing, guys. That did absolutely nothing. What? We need to yeah. ward shift in my own area. Let me ward shift on myself. Or arcane ward on myself. Okay, I need to heal with Cloud. We gotta go Cloud. Slip inside. Oh. Okay, once I get a leg. Uh, wait, we need to, oh. I haven't assessed it. That's why. Of course, I'm an assessed. Thunder, yeah. Landing, limit attacks, or synergy abilities when it's flipped over, attacking the cockpit while it's overturned state, deals significant damage, landing several powerful offensive abilities while Palmer is taunting while pressure it. Okay. We can work around that. So it's my turn? I can work with that. Amphibian laser. Okay, we can do this. Why don't you lead the Let's way? Do this. <laughs> okay, it's flipped upside down. Get into the cockpit. Do a uh, focus so thrust. Ow. <laughs> Snap. We gotta heal Cloud. I need to get items. Let me do a mega potion on Cloud. Here goes. All right, and then since I have my ward right here, stun ray, not good. Let me do a level two thunder. It's your turn. Hang back. <laughs> Nice. Nice. Open the hatchet. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. He's taunting, hit him. Dang it. If we had been able to. Oh, snap kick. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Uh, spells. Thunder on the suppressor. I got this. Nice. Okay, he's gonna flip. Yeah. Oh! Okay, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. Let me do a cure on. Let me do a level one cure on myself. Let me handle this. Tifa needs to do something else herself. Let's do. Hmm, bomb scatter. All right, let's do unbridled strength on him. Oh. Ow, Tifa's going down. Tifa. All right, let's do bio. I kind of want to do bio on him. United refocus. Let me go over to him. Let me do synergy ability. 
I need Tifa to get one more move in there. She's down. I'm coming. Staggered. We'll make it there we go. Let's do. Now we still have our ward, so we should be able to cast this twice. Get up there. Let's do triple slash on him. Tifa. We will be able to do synergy here in a second. Let me do focus strike on him. And then we can do synergy ability now. Relentless. Let's get that unlimited MP. Yeah. All right. Good damage on him. Halfway. Hell yeah. You worthless hunk of junk! Junction override confirmed. Initiating a new protocol. Oh, here. Oh, here. That's not good. Get All right, we gotta go for the legs. Get the legs. Get the legs. Let's do. Not Arcane Ward. We need to do the Lustrous Shield. Wait, Rolling Thunder. That will work. That will be nice. Get the legs, get the legs. All right, we need to do a cure level two on Tifa. Remember, I have unlimited MP right now, so I need to abuse the heck out of that. Ow. Oh. Get the legs, get the legs. Synergy abilities, summon. Okay, wait, the music here is awesome. We do have a summon. I want to get uh, Titan in here because he's the best summon that we have. But what? Have fun. The music? That level four Titan, go! Get back, get back, stay under, stay under. I love Aaron. I padded up to here with you. Let's do Firework Blade on that right side. Now for her, let's go summon abilities and let's do that boulder hurl. Uh, focus on the legs. Get the legs, get the legs. Oh. I'll show you what I can do. All right, he's doing a boulder hurl. Let's go abilities and let's do that. Not steal, let's do, nope, rolling thunder. She's got so many abilities, jeez. All right, he's coming back up. Oh, shoot. All right, let me go items. Let's do a X potion on Tifa. All right, Tifa's got that limit. This took so much damage. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Let's do summon abilities, Mountain Crusher on that right leg. Eris need, needs to hit it with some... I'm not even going to kill the legs before I kill him as a person. Thunder level two on that leg. All right, focus. Pressure, 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 pressure. Holy cow. Get the limbs, get the limbs. Aerith can cast her limit. Let's do a heal. Healing wind. Nice. He's neenering. Let's do focus thrust on that left leg. Gosh. I just hardly do any damage against it. Summon abilities, Mountain Crusher on that right leg. Come on, get it, Tifa, get it, Tifa. Ow. Let's go. Oh. Okay, Earth and Fury. Beautiful. Cloud almost has his limit up. That should be massive damage. See you soon. Yeah. So it's my turn? Get the legs, get the legs! Strangler, strangler. <laughs> hold on, synergy abilities, hold on to it. United yeah, refocus. We'll it. Nice, he's up he's upside down. Hit him with a dive kick. Come there. on! Hit him with a hold on. Star shower. I'm coming. I'm coming. This one's for you. Ooh. Not good. Not good. Wait. Get him with something. Spells. Bio. No. It's your turn. Oh. Let's go. Oh, no. Save Aerith. Nice. Oh, no, nice. No, 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 no. Woo. Party level six. <laughs> that was a good fight. All right. We got more little grunts. No. The Turks. Okay, we're regrouping with Barrett. Yeah. Mm. We gotta go, Barrett. Oh.
I'm getting chills. I need to start wearing sweaters for all these moments I get I gotta goosebumps. Go. They'll be on us any minute. They're on us now. They might leave us. This is how we're gonna get around, Corel. Please tell me these buggies are how we're gonna get around. That better be Gus with an apology. Oh, it's Dio. Fear not, friends. Your chariot awaits. <laughs> Dio? Dio. I've been using this to eavesdrop. Can never be too careful. Wow, I underestimated but you're him. Innocent, and I was wrong. By way of apology, I gift you this. <sighs> uh, seems like we all want people to You'll make assumptions about us and be wrong. <laughs> I promise you. Thanks. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> um. Is this not a bit much, sir? Hmm. The safety of my every guest is paramount. I love him. I don't know what happened in Midgar, but to me, it matters not. Hmm. You are always welcome, my friend. <laughs> I was really wrong about him. I mean, it wasn't like I thought he was a bad person or anything, but... He's an upstanding gentleman. Okay. Does anyone know how to drive this thing? Leave it <gasps> to me, you lass. Is he sitting in Kate's lap? <laughs> or in Tifa's lap? Leave it to me, lass. I feel like I'm, it's, it's giving um, Scrooge. I just hear one there. of the characters in Scrooge. He said he wanted me to live with the guilt. Didn't he know you already were? Well, we're here for you. <laughs> to help take the load off, huh? I mean it, man. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to think you might. Always. Come on. This is goodbye, old buddy. Hmm. The thing is, I love how Kate's staying with us, too. We're out. I'm out. Got a jet. Get out of here. Rude. Always Now's a pleasure. Chance. Leave this riffraff to me. Yeah, do you? Time to get the blood pumping. <laughs> I do want to see Dio in a real fight. <laughs> oh! We gotta go. Elena. I would hardly say we commandeered it. I feel like. You sit. Baron. I got this. All right. I do want to say that that is a really interesting moment, and I kind of I don't think I there were there was so much happening during Dine's death, but that is true. Like him wishing Barrett to live with the guilt for the rest of his life when does he not realize that's what Barrett's already been doing this whole time like you think there hasn't been a day that goes by when he looks into Marlene's eyes and he feels regret for bringing Shinra into their town absolutely not Dio has provided you a means of escaping the chaos and folding beneath the saucer. Give the Shinra forces a taste of their own ballistic medicine as you try to shake their pursuit. All right, aim, steer, fire, reload. Seems easy enough. Whoa. 
Oh, oh. Nice. Nice. Gotcha. Just get some normal shooting going. Wait, this is such a fun part. Wait, wait, wait. Bring it back. Bring it back. Gotcha. This is cool. All right. We only have a certain amount of bullets, so we might want to save our overcharge, like our heavy bullets for later. Nice. We can get some... Uh... This is like the Space Invaders game. Oh, shoot. Reload. There it is. There. Oh, there it is. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Beautiful. The buggy, the buggy mini game checkpoint reach. This is, it's like the space invaders. Oh, used to evade. Whoa, whoa. Ow. Ow. Wait, wait, wait. There we go, there we go. I can't overturn. Oh, hold on, hold on. Get it back on. All right, aim for them, aim for them. Get him, get him, overcharge. Boom, boom, boom. I just love the overcharge sound. All right, they're doing some light fire, light fire. Reload, 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 reload. We're so close, come on. Let me shake it. I can't shake the reload. All right, I can't shake overload. Beautiful, beautiful. Reload. Is that Elena? I know we wouldn't kill her, but still. You are not going anywhere. Preparing Move. Hold on. Gotcha. Whoa. Shift, shifted, 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 shifted. Over, 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 over. Whoa. Uh, inbound. Oh. Our this. buggy took some hard hits. You want some? All right. Oh. Get out of the way. Not the buggy. Not the buggy. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's lobbying. They're lobbying. Try to kill him. Nice, we avoided it. Come on. Ah, reload. Get out, get out, get out. You want some? Nice. <sighs> what a way to start your day. Alright. Mm. This high value targets. Come gotcha. here. Oh gosh. You know what I realized? Do they even do they explain Let's that? I don't know if they actually tell you. I think they just use the acronym. I don't think they ever tell you. Watch out. I think they only ever abbreviate it. Come here. Boom, 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 boom. I'll put some good damage into it. Try to shake him off, shake him off. Ah. Honestly, they're kind of kicking my butt. Whoa. Get over, get over, get over. You want some? I need to get these guys first. Oh, snap. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Woo! There we go. Kill the middle one, kill the middle one. Whoa, get out. I should have saved my overcharge for the helicopter, Let's I know. This. Such a mistake. Reload. Shake him, shake him. It's almost going down. It's almost going down. Nice. There it is. Beautiful. All right. Reload. I love how we're doing the same circle, too. Come on, Palmer. Palmer, you're just being childish now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, come on, the suppressor. Let's do this. Come on, get those little hits. All right, reload. Get the heck out of that. Whoa. It's moving with him. Okay. Get out of the way. You know what? You need to dodge more at the last minute. Because you always lose the ability to lock onto them for a second, too. Halfway there. Come on, come on. Got it. Beautiful. All right, wait for him to launch. Stay on this side. He's gonna launch to the, oh, he might launch two at the same time. No, he's launching left first, now right. Nice. Nope, not nice. Oh. No, oh, come on. Dude. All right, he's going left side first. Oh, snap, oh, snap. Okay, our buggy's not doing too hot, guys. Our buggy's not doing too hot. 
It could go either way. Weak spot, weak spot. Nice. Hit it, hit it, hit it where it hurts before that kills us. Beautiful, beautiful. Woo. He's coming back in. Nice. Hit him. Come on, Buggy, you got this. We can only survive a couple more charges. He's going weak spot. Hit him. Hit him. Nice. Nice. Reload. Oh, no. He's coming in. Overcharge. On the straightaway. Come on. Hit him. Hit him. Nice. Nice. Woo. You little Palmer. Oh. Palmer. Elena time. Oh, come on. Hold this thing over right now. Shake her up, shake her up. What the? Are you drunk? Hang on tight. Get it, Tifa? Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. And now you see why you even had a position to fill next to Rootside in the first place. That's us. How'd I do? C plus. Oh. Well, you ain't getting my A game today. Yeah. Nah. You did good. Oh. Oh. Barrett. Some dead you are. I do love, and I think that's where a lot of my, oh, he, okay, wait, oh, he left it in Dine's hands. Oh. I, um, okay, I, I know that this is probably the better spot to stop, but it would have been a cutscene, like, for the last episode, but, um. I think that's why I, I think more than anything, it wasn't even my time away from Final Fantasy remake. I think more than anything, Barrett just he does give his whole heart to Marlene. And so I guess for a second, it was really easy for me to forget that Marlene isn't his real daughter. I mean, the way that he speaks about her, the way that he looks at her and adores her and loves her. It's just. It is so fatherly and so i guess that's why i always just forgot about it you know and yeah i don't know if dying would have ever really recovered from that spot and i just know that barrett is going to make for a good father like i know there isn't anything he wouldn't do for marlene oh uh, <laughs> yeah you guys know family relations are like the ones that pull my heartstrings kate mm -hmm. Wait. It's the stuffed animal of Kate Sith. Yeah. From when he visited. That's all to do it. Wait, what? If you don't mind Avalanche? Saying, you're in an awfully good mood. Those look nothing like the real. Well, it's been productive. <laughs> hmm? Maybe I didn't get a good enough. Oh! Don't have too much fun. I think you guys had told me that he also voices somebody in Cyberpunk. I see he didn't change any decorations of his father's. You called, sir? What is the status of the Ancient? 
We still have eyes on her. Is she looking for the promised land? We don't believe so. No. I see. Look at the hair, as you can see, they were shaped. Is she a higher priority than the materia? Hmm. Not her so much as her birthright. It's a dream of mine to see it with my own eyes. There you Understood. go. Understood. We'll step up surveillance. Acting like he's not following in his father's footsteps. Everything he said at the parade was a lie, and this is why, is because he might be taking a different tactic. His father wanted to control Aerith to get to the promised land, but he probably is wanting to let her, he thinks by keeping her free, she'll find it on her own, and then they'll swoop in because they have eyes and ears everywhere. And it's actually pretty clever. <laughs> it's a dream of mine. How cute. Glenn? Who are you? Really? This guy. Oh, come on. You know me. And I know you, Mr. President. You and your fears. It's giving Obi-Wan feels, but... <laughs> <laughs> Still just a child, aren't you? Those are fighting words. A pig-headed, pathetic, daddy-hating child. Ooh. And under that bratish exterior, loneliness. Mm. I don't deny it. Why would I? It's brought me all this. Good on him. I accept it. Now that's the spirit I'm looking for. We really need more people like you to give the world a shot in the arm. Is there like, I'm wondering if there's forces at work that are just trying to destroy the, wor the world. And so they're okay with Shinra exploiting it for all of the material they have. Like maybe if there were ancients. But what do you truly want? Right. I feel like if there were truly ancients, then there maybe were the, maybe it's the destiny. Well, he's doing some kind of like getting away, but I, I can't help but think that maybe that there was some opposition to the ancients that I'm not, that maybe we haven't had information about or anything like that. But yeah, that's where I'm kind of leaning towards is this person is kind of also like, uh, not of ancient descent, but something that works against the ancients, maybe destiny, fate, whatever. I mean, he reminds me of the wisps from the first part, but I definitely feel like it's this force of nature that is in opposition to all of the life and abundance that the ancients were bringing to the world. And so maybe this person is kind of like the puppet master trying to make sure that the destruction of the world happens is where I'm kind of leaning with this character. Like death and destruction. He wants war. He wants chaos to thrive in it. Maybe something. If we're keeping aligned with like a lot of good versus evil, that game's kind of usually use. Oh, we're back here. Let's start this manhunt. Yes. Okay, Biggs. Biggs. Okay, before I do this, I'm going to run to the bathroom. Ah, oh, that was so good. I also love that we're getting these little tidbits of Zach, but I'm still trying to figure out what's happening here. Also, look, we just hit 50 hours in. Oh, 50 hours. Holy cow. Probably 50 more to go too, because we're just on chapter eight. Um, so I think we're like maybe a little ways over halfway there, but wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to kind of form together some theories. I'm, I definitely look forward to being able to kind of tell you guys all my predictions going into the third part. Right now, I'm very fearful for Cloud's life. We've gotten a little backstory on Barrett. We also have Shinra. They're doing something where they're creating wanted posters for people who look similar to, which I'm not understanding that. I'm still not understanding what's happening during this. Otherwise, maybe this is a different time. So this is like earlier in the timeline. I... <laughs> I still am thinking that there's multiverse happening now. Um, but now I'm definitely sure that there are evil forces working against the promised land, against the good, against all of that. And they're maybe utilizing Sephiroth. Maybe he's using Sephiroth. I mean, he definitely sees um, the president's son as somebody like malleable, like he can try to use him for his advantage in some sort of way. 
Um, and he's going to fall right into it, especially if he knows his strengths and his weaknesses and what he truly feels and desires and wants and all of that stuff. And yes, I go back to thinking Rufus truly he could have chosen the tactic of taking Aerith, but I think he knows that in all that time that his father was around, keeping Aerith captive and also letting Hojo, Hojo just do whatever he wanted, it didn't result in anything, right? At the end of the day, results were not had. So I think he's like, I'm gonna try a different tactic. I'm gonna let her be free in the world and maybe she'll find the promised land on her own. And then they're gonna swoop in ah there's so many things happening there's so many things at play i like all the characters and all the stories and how they are going to intertwine in some way but it's so hard to see how it's going to come together ah uh, all in due time all right i'm gonna run to the bathroom and we'll be back with zach all right zach attack let's see it looks like we're headed towards manhunt oh well, you don't gotta do homework, right? The honeybee ladies. It'll oh yeah, Miss okay. Folio. Let's all dance. Are we never gonna get to be grown-ups? That's such an interesting you question. Go Aerith, right? Mm-hmm. Everything looks so different. What do you guys think's gonna happen to us? Hmm. Let's go. Oh, we can't go inside and see all the lovely. I want to hear everything. I've lived a long and full life. So if my time on this planet comes to an end, I won't have any regrets. But you all have only experienced a fraction of what our world has to offer. Yeah. I'm so, so, so true. sorry, little ones. I can't really be coming to an end, though. All right, let's go through here. All the kids are showing so much positivity in this time. Just dried up. Don't know how much longer the sun will stay on. If so, the sun is tied to the Can't Mako. To put off the bucket list any longer. No regrets. Am I right? What would you do if this was your last bit of time? I don't know how we can bring this back and save this. Hi, ma'am. Seen anyone around here who looks like this? I'm sorry, but I don't know who that is. Biggs? The Biggs? I doubt even Shinra's gonna be able to come up with a looking solution back? for this. They're still and looking to Shinra. Little do they know. They it's a little late to be relying on planetology. Oh, I wonder if we'll ever get to go to, I bet all they'll do to, is tell you to Cosmo Canyon. Then what are we supposed to do? Nothing. There's nothing we can do anymore. The all the hope that they have left. They're all trying to do bucket list things and all right, I'm somehow over here, but uh, the destination's this way. But I'm trying to run in and overhear everybody's I conversations. Gonna be able to come up with a we didn't drink this way. Maybe we should go to come check out our clearance sale. Our way of saying thank you for all your patronage. I guess everything. The fifth cafe, yeah. Children of the planet. Behold. Oh, here we go. According to experts from Shinra's Research and Development Division, the radiation emitted by the rift has no effect whatsoever on the human body and is completely harmless. Additionally, Director Heidegger of Public Security has this to say in regards to the growing fear that the planet's demise is imminent. We are doing everything it almost in our power feels to like... determine the nature of this rift. Disregard any baseless speculation. Tune in the day after tomorrow uh... for our interview with the president, where we'll the recent tornado. tornado. I know that this is crazy, but it almost feels like the fight that we had at the end with Sephiroth was... Well, it's interesting how it, Zach covers his face for a little bit. Um, I don't know. I, I know that this is just a crazy... I mean, I think at this point you guys are just like used to my crazy predictions, but it almost feels like the fight with Sephiroth was like the end of the story. And somehow we got launched back like our other characters are launched back with the ability to save what happened. I don't know if that makes sense. Like they almost took 
the final fight that would be in the third game, but presented it to us in the first game as if that was the ending. I don't I don't know how to describe it. The times are just not linking up. Like the timeline is all over the place. Hey you seen anyone who looks like this? Can't Adventure say stamp book three. Dang it. I just... I suppose it's far too late for that now, though. Just feels like... Yeah. Growing fear. What? Hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't need to determine... Well, I guess you need to find out how it happened to know how to solve it, I suppose. But still, they're more on shifting the blame from them to somebody else than solving this. Yes. Absolutely. There's another person. Maybe he's past there. Oh, we can't go that way. Know this guy? Never seen him. It's interesting to see what everybody's doing in the in the face of all of this. Hey, take one of us next. Let's make it our best yet. Oh. I just hope I can put on a good smile. <gasps> the kids don't even realize everything that's happened. Shit. Think that's Avalanche? No, Could Avalanche be. didn't do I all of this. Better check it out. Don't know. I just wish. Oh, she's pregnant. Hey. And they days, think they're not even gonna get to see their baby. I, I dream about all the things I wish I'd done differently. Hindsight's twenty twenty. You assume that you have all the rest of the time in the world. That's got to be Avalanche again. No. That was the church, right? Of all the places. The church. Is it the church. I don't think. Can't we have a moment's peace? No kidding. You think it's really the church? Why would somebody blow up the church out of all the places? Aerith's church. I mean, I know it's not her church, but that's Biggs. Mm -hmm. Is that? <laughs> There's yeah. our man. No, we flash back. No, worth the wait? Question <sighs> mark. See, it just doesn't make sense. Corel Desert the next day, after the other one. So where are we bound? Kate! <laughs> south. Far south. Then what's there? Not Corel, that's what. Now step on it. Okay. Very well. South it is. Hold on to your hats. I love how this is a mutual driving situation. Okay. Chapter 9 already? Guys, hey, what? Chapter nine? You act all buddy buddy, but we don't know a thing about you. Let's fix that. There's not much to know. I'm a nine to five nobody at a nine to five. subsidiary. Another paper shuffling, copy pasting forwarder of emails. Another Shinra lapdog. Lap cat. <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> but you lot are special. Properly special. And that's why Never you're hanging out with us? Special a group of people in all my life. How could I not I guess that's a compliment. Along? How can I not tag along? <laughs> Bullshit. Come now. This is a road trip. We should be bonded, not fighted. Oh. Uh, Eric. Yuffie doesn't Promise. look so good, yeah. You won't take down Scarlet unless I'm there with you. All is she right. okay? I promise. If you don't give up the ghost right here and now, that is. <sighs> oh, she's I getting car sick. Stupid. Oh. Get the better of me. Look at everything we have to explore. Punch that witch right in the mouth. That's it. I can't. Wait. Just, just wait. She has a personal vendetta. You can kind of turn it around a little bit, but. She's about to pop. Oh. Not in the buggy. Not in the buggy. Not in the buggy. Yeah, Lassie for sure. Absolutely squish. Oh gosh. Feeling any better? Ugh, she needs a minute. Leave me. Hmm. 
Where I don't to now? Get car sick. We don't have any leads. And driving in circles, hoping to spot a black robe is the worst idea ever. <laughs> well, no wonder she got sick. Did you see the turns we did to fend off Shinra? When you don't know where life's leading. <gasps> Moogle! You should get yourself. Oh no, here we go. Because they're so accurate. Meow, 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 meow. All right, let's check it out. Your lucky food is mushrooms. Um, kind of sounds good. Mushrooms, eh? Mushrooms. Moogles, go talk Wait. to the Moogles. Barrett, you mentioned something earlier about the Corel reactor, did you not? You saw a weapon there, right? Yeah, but I don't recall telling you. Well. It might interest you to know that just a wee drive from here, there's another rundown reactor. Finding out why the reactors are. Okay, I'm good. Everybody back in the car. Mm -hmm. Let's go, go, go. <sighs> well, couldn't hurt to check it out. How I do guess. you go from mushroom to reactor? Am I missing something? Why? Just a wee drive from here, so it is. Shall we? We shall. Why not? Oh, Cloud, mind taking the wheel? Buggy key fob. Y'all already know Oi. we're gonna explore the rest Boy, of Corel. Don't look at me like that. Green. We'll be pulling up outside that reactor Ooh. before you Ooh. can see Mako. Join the party, Kate Seth. We now have a cat on our team. The buggy is capable of traversing not only land, but shallow waters as well. And faster than the average chocobo at that. Uh, press, okay, down to call the buggy to your current location. Roll over transmutation materials while riding to collect them automatically. Steer, accelerate, brake, and exit. Ah! The wait, the gold saucer is offering new experiences in some of the attractions, including chocobo races. Musclehead Coliseum also has started a 16 po- <gasps> We have so many things to do. All right, you guys already know, we've done a lot of main mission progression actually in this, and we're already on chapter nine. We are officially on chapter nine, but I wouldn't be me if I didn't take the rest of this time to explore all that Corel has to offer. So if you guys are looking for main mission progression, maybe uh, maybe pause right here. But for everybody who loves the side missions and just seeing where this takes us and all the games and everything to be had and do and a roped and men we have roped men and ransoms rendezvous with Costa del Sol and we're missing one we've got a lot of missions to do we've got a lot of ground to cover so let's get started and we'll probably end by oh, wait that other person that I need to take down there too yes okay so many things to do but yeah the rest of this episode will be dedicated to Operation Discovering Coral. Uh, we'll come down here later. Let's go back over here and do this guy. And we need to find the Tomberry King. So, what was up with that lucky food fortune? I mean, why mushrooms? Yeah, exactly. Well, this reactor smack bang in the middle of a place famous for. That, you guessed it, the world's favorite fungi. Ooh. Oh, the buggy. Alright, let's go this way. Oh, mushrooms that grow near a reactor. Okay, yeah, I can kind of see that. I feel like there's something to be had here. Oh, can I run him over in the buggy? Oh, <laughs> no. Alright, let's kill him. Fire. Um, I think it took a second to wake up. Go! Alright, he's in the air. Let's do a star shower. Come on. You're up. We Take have a second creature, Sand Strike. Let's do fire spell two. Yes, because now we have level two fire. Oh, ho, ho. not bad. Keep it together. Stay down, asshole. Pressure it. Frost spells. Let's do lifesaver. That's right. Both Baird and Tifa need to max up their stuff. Let's get. Lifesaver again. Just keep kind of pressing that. Okay, he's going underneath. Whoa, where is he? Where'd he go? Coming in? Ugh. These pesky little creatures. Nice, got him. And bye bye. 
All right, so it looks like there's three treasures in this vicinity. I'm so excited to be exploring again because this was really difficult. As you guys oh, hawk, hawk, um, or owl. This has been really difficult. You guys know that I am addicted to the exploration and finding everything that they have to offer. And this has been really hard to wait until they opened up in the map, but I liked it too. It does keep the mission kind of progressing without being able to like pause and explore everything. Like it, it made sense. It kind of helped chapter, chapter seven was pretty long. Chapter eight was fairly short. So it kind of, it was good pacing. The pacing felt nice. I know, I see you, I see you, but I need to open up these. I've got one out of three. The other two might be over here. Oh, and there might be one on the roof. Yes. And that was really important for Barrett. Like there was a lot that we uncovered there with him. Still probably end up being a pretty long episode because as you can tell, we still have four side missions to do. And wait a minute, we need a treasure chest. There's gotta be a treasure chest up top on something. Do you think it's up there? No. Can I go on top of that? No. Um. Boxes. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, you, you truly can't jump up top of that. Hmm. Maybe this is an elevator? No. Maybe it's on the outside of one of them. Like maybe it's just beyond the fence on... Oh, it could be over here. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I bet it's in this little area over here because they are tied. Yeah, this is probably gonna be a pretty long episode because we did not get a lot done. Like we did anything that was tied to Costa del Sol and the little exploration that we had. But beyond that, we've got a lot of ground to cover. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I can't go that way. What? Let me see on the other side of this. I was thinking on top of these crates, but it's not here either. Like I was thinking... It's not on top of that. It's not on top of that. I'm crazy. Hmm? Did I see it and not see it? Huh. No. I guess it could technically be up there, but I'm thinking maybe in this corner. Oh, see, this is, okay, this is the whole area. This is the area. The other one didn't count. Storehouses. Oh, snap. Oh, it's right there. Whoa, okay, that's kind of sucks too because I didn't mean to. Look at the buggy changing, the buggy moving. It respawns. Mm, star shower on it. Hang back. I'm gonna have to kill it just to get that treasure. Nice. Okay. Let's go. Actually, let's go Blizzard and just take out the sand spitter because I'm. Get him. And then let's do lifesaver. Nice. Beautiful. Perfect. Oh, the sand spitter's still alive. And there's three out of three. Ice materia earrings. Whoa, hold on. We haven't seen something like that. Materia and equipment, ice. Oh, also, Kate. Kate. Uh, a yellow m megaphone. <laughs> what? Fortune telling. Also, we could actually go ahead. Oh, I want to see how Kate does in a fight. Kate is primarily attack and magic attack. All right. Split. Half and half increases strength and magic by 5%. I didn't even see that. Safety bits are pendant, I would say. Oh. Don't you think that the psychic's charm kind of makes sense? Especially since he's a fortune teller, too. Revival earrings, enfeeblement, no. Allows use of the highest level of ice materia. Done. All right. He comes with empowerment and magnify. Luck up and level boost, which means it's really good to have some kind of like elemental damage there. 
Attack damage and Moogle Vanguard. Increases damage dealt by Moogle. Reduces damage taken by Moogle by 15%. I would say defense on him. And then we need another summon. I'm gonna need to do another summon. Oh my gosh, we have so many characters, guys. So many characters. She is fully maxed. Red is ma- No! Red has Amethyst Collar. All right, let me go over here. Mm, attack power 20 and I like the increased vengeance. Auto cast fire, morph, first strike. Let's see, I need more AP ups, honestly. We need some AP ups. HP absorption, ATB boost materia. Use ATB boost. Doubles ATB when activated cannot be used continuously. I think since that's the only one that we have, we should definitely start leveling that up, don't you think? I think that should almost go on cloud. Yeah, I think that should go on cloud. So that means I need to, oh, cloud doesn't have one. Enemy skill is so-so, HP up. It'd be nice to have HP up on everybody, don't you think? Like, it'd be really nice to have max HP. I like that. I'm gonna put AP up. And then we want Aerith. Does Aerith have a new rod? No. All right, Aerith is good. Aerith has so many guys. We need to transmute a lot of materials too so we can get maximum amount of, like, like look at Tifa. Tifa does not have any materia going on with these dragon claws. But once we max these, we'll go back to probably the Kaiser or uh, Sylph, Sylph gloves. Speed Demon is good for her. Absolutely. Barret's almost maxed too. And I did not apply this. I have to remember to do this. Overload, overcharge, yes, yes, increases that, reduces the charge time, yeah. Uh, selfish recovery is kind of nice. I like the protection status after using overcharge. I think that's really nice. Yeah. Cloud. All right, so for Cloud, I actually want to go in here, and he's got HP up and MP up, which I do like, don't get me wrong. Vitality up, increases your vitality. This bonus cannot exceed 100%. Item mastery on healing increases the effectiveness of use in battle, which is why my healing is so juicy. Ah, use protect. Fortification, since it's maxed right now, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off to go ahead and add ATB boost onto him. And AP up on fire and ice. Again, we're trying to max that. We wanna max the ones that are dual, like fire and ice, wind and um, the other one. And then we're gonna wanna go into combat settings and I think we should go ahead and make a third team. Edit the party, this will be cloud red and mm, just because I want to level up their items I'm gonna go ahead and make this the squad and we're on level three okay nice all right let's follow this owl it must be up there somewhere yeah he's across the way and oh my gosh when we transmute these items guys we're gonna be able to hold so much material we can level up everything as much as possible <gasps> wow oasis life spring already I'm coming back, don't worry, Owl. So we cannot call our chocobo no matter what, which is good and bad. I feel like the buggy takes up a little bit more space, so it's harder to squeeze him in between some tight areas, but it makes more sense for the desert. Already. I hope we discover more knowledge on Corel. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying Corel. I need to think like Golden Cor Corel, Golden Corel. <laughs> There we go. We should have gotten, yeah, a tale of decline. See this one? The Tonberry too. Region Intel. Coal was in high demand in the days of the Republic, and the wealth of Mount Corel drew miners from far and wide. Though the work was hard and dangerous, the laborers branded, banded together to overcome their difficulties, forming a close-knit community in the process. Alas, the advent of Mako saw the price of coal plummet, spelling disaster for the people of Corel. As they struggled to find a way forward, Shinra proposed the construction of a Mako reactor. And after much debate, the villagers accepted the offer. The reactor was constructed with astonishing haste, but just prior to being brought online, it was torn apart by an immense explosion and has been left in ruins ever since. <laughs> they have been covering up their problems and claiming them to be terrorist attacks this whole time. All right, we're going to call the buggy now. 
buggy out. Oh my gosh, it almost ran over Kate. Kate, <laughs> baby, watch out. Okay, where are we headed? We still need to head in that direction. All right, automatically pick up this stuff. See, I do feel like the Chocobo is a more direct route. I'm gonna stand by that. Is this its own exploration area? No, but let's go get those items real quick. Dude, this thing can roll up and over just about anything though. It's pretty sick. Wee! We're gonna get drawn by these creatures unless I can avoid them. Miss me? No, no, no. We wanna find that reactor. Here's a stop. Let's go ahead and activate this stop. Wait, is it? No, it's not. Hmm. Phoenix down, which will come in handy. Back it up. There, there is a posh chocobo. Posh chocobo, there is a stop near us. But where is this reactor it's talking about? Oh, the reactor's to the left. Let me help this posh chocobo. Okay, take me. Maybe that was a stop, because it's headed this way. I think that's a stop, guys. There, look. He flew over there. It's up top. Wait a minute. I just saw him. The posh chocobo definitely flew and then dis- Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, I don't want to run you over, buddy. Where's your stop? There! Oh! Clever boy. Clever go. Oh my gosh, it's- I just am scared that I'm gonna run it over. I know there's no reason to be terrified of that, but... It feels uncomfortable. All right, baby. Let me pop a squat. Oh, I need to, um... Well, let me set it up first. Oh, it's on this side. They're normally on the other side. Can I prop it up in the buggy? Probably not. It made sense that the chocobo could prop it up, but not this. Do, 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 do. I know! You're so cute! I love you! All right, let's do this. I don't know why they're so cheeky and cute. I know. Look at his little acorn butt. Uh, I don't think we need to rest, so let's hop back in the buggy. And I like the colors of the buggy too. Red for avalanche. It's feeling very, very fitting. There it is. There's that. Let's check what this is. I got you in my sights. No. No, not the cactuars. Anything but the cactuars. And these are different ones. They have flowers on them. Oh no. Uh, my characters are gonna go down. What the? Sandworm? Hold on, I have to do something on it. The cactotrot. Kate Sith fights with a megaphone and his trusty Moogle mount. Press square to attack or summon his Moogle for the Let's Ride ability, which will unlock more of Kate Sith's ATB commands. As the Moogle attacks, its meter will steadily fill. Press the button to deplete the meter and activate Moogle abilities like fight or defense. While aside the Moogle, hold down. Okay. The Moogle will withdraw once the fight. Wait, wait. Once the. Wait, wait. From the fight once its HP reaches zero. Okay. All right. So we're trying to just hit him and then we do. Then I call my Moogle. Let me call my Moogle. Mmm. Let's ride. Oh gosh. Smack him around a little bit. All right. My Moogle's in the fight. My Moogle's in the fight. Fortune telling? Wham worm? Tell his fortune, baby. I need to mount. Okay. Wait, drop kick, mount. And then let's do heat wave? We need to level up Kate. All right. Get him. Get him, Red. Get him. Super Oh my gosh, that's a level two. Okay. Grant haste can only be used during vengeance mode and cost two. There we go. Supernatural. Haste, go, 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 go. Get in there. Oh, I missed it. Let's switch it up. That's such an interesting move. You are such an annoying little turkey. 
Kate's down, by the way. No, don't do it. A thousand needles, no. Fire him. Fire. Calling fire. He dodged the fire. Oh my goodness. Let's use a phoenix down. Oh my goodness, Kate. See, I'm not I'm not gonna be oh wait, I can't even bring Kate back up. The worm has Kate! That's right. Alright, spit Kate back out, please. Kate, get back in there. Kitty wallop, go! Let's see, quick attacks, roll the dice. Okay. You know, not the best fight, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm still learning to use them. I want to get proficient with Kate because I do feel like I, I kind of understand Red a little bit. Again, just because he's so melee heavy, it's hit or miss. <gasps> the Moogle stand should be somewhere. Oh, I also see a I see something over there too. The Moogle, the Moogle tower. We need to look for the mushroom. Do you see it anywhere? It might show in this thing, or I bet it's further south. It's probably further south. Yeah. Okay, nothing crazy. Oh, okay, we can go down there. Yeah. Activation Intel Wasteland. I do want to say that Chadley did us dirty, but Chadley kept saying, like, you disappointed me. I haven't seen any intel in a while. And I'm like, I wow. can't. I can't do intel. I'm sending proto relic signals emanating from nearby modular reactor. Oh. I'm sending you its location. I would like to do Oh. All right, we're getting cut out. Uh oh. Proto relic. Sandstorm must have kicked up or something. Yeah, what are we supposed to do? Go yeah. Are we supposed to watch out for sandstorms too? Phenomenon. Here we go. Where is it? All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna wait for. We're gonna wait a little bit on that one. I do feel like I hear a sandstorm, but I don't see one. Oh, I see it. Just kidding. We might need to steer clear of it too hasten this. All right, everybody get in the buggy. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Hopefully the buggy doesn't get swept up in it. Let's go activate that. Well, let me run over these items real quick. Run over the cactuar. No. I want to steer clear of these. I feel like we know exactly what they house. Wait a minute. There's things as if it's like a Moogle place. Wait. Wait. These are like Moogle homes, but they're Cactuar homes. What? Maybe it's just where they spawn. I like that they've changed up the transportation in this area. It shows just how much they, they do care about. I guess that used to be something. I know I see you. Oh, get out of the wheel. <laughs> I guess they do, yeah. I think it just shows how much care and thought they put into each of the sections. Like, some of them feel right to be riding a chocobo. In this situation, it probably would be really hot and disgusting for a chocobo. I mean, like, the chocobo could suffer from, like, heat stroke or something. I don't know. I'm thinking about the chocobo. I know, except that you're fine in the heat. But let's pop a squat. Oh, and we need to buy the rest of the chocobo equipment, too. And we need to give Gus some few choice words. All right, heal up. Take a nap. I like that all the chocobos are different colors too, depending on the region. They're so cute. All right, let's head over here. Might be able to go by foot for that. Let's make sure we're riding all the way on the side just to clear. I'm gonna make sure we eliminate all of the... I've got to find a better way to fight the cactuars. No, get away from me. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. This looks like it. Here we go. Top of the pecking order. That means... The presence of a unique life form. That means there's going to be a cactuar. There's definitely going to be a cactuar one, and I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh yeah, there's no way that there's not. Rare Stagger, don't get stunned. Commencing guidance protocol. 
look closely, what appears to be a beak at first blush is in mm. fact a sharp helix-shaped bone protruding from the forehead. Oh. It's not for show. While most predatory birds use their talons to hunt, the spearhawk uses its horn. With one clean thrust, they can skewer their quarry, then slice and dice it with ease. Careful now. We don't want that beautiful face of yours to be poked Thanks, full my. of Thanks, all right, stagger an enemy. Don't get stunned. Great, easy. Wow! What? I'm using a bunch of characters that I don't normally use, so we'll see what happens here. My turn. We need to. Uh, oh, massive damage. Ready? Keep it up. Let's go assess on him. Too bad. Fire, exploiting its elemental weakness. All right, that I can do. All right, get it, kitty wallop, kitty wallop. Let's ride. Move on magic, baby. Attack. Roll, dodge, and I think we're fine for now. I'll, sc I'll scratch your eyes out. Oh no. Vengeance mode. Siphon. And then we want to do supernatural fervor. Together, I got this. Weapon ability. Here we go. Speed it up. Speed it up. We have 51 seconds to kill all of these. Hold on. I need a level two fire on a saber hawk. Deal with that. Pressured. Smack him around a little bit. Smack him around. Come on. Fortune telling. Siphon. Nice. Siphon. Smack him around a little bit. Staggered. There we go. One. One done. We need abilities. We need, hold on, spells. Fire level two on that saber hawk. Stagger. Defeat all enemies in 30 seconds. Let's go. Fire level two on the saber hawk. Okay, get it, get it, get it, get it. 30 seconds on the last one. Stagger. Nice. And if we with a fire level two and. Oh. Boom. Time to burn. Beautiful. That was not a lot of time. Top of the pecking order. Kate Sith needs heals. Yeah. Kitty Cat needs heals. I might need to put a healer on this team because I think Cloud is the only person that can heal. Yeah. That was very impressive work, Cloud. You're welcome. Using the data from your battles, I've devised a new trial for the simulator. Which I oh, supervised. I think you'll find it to be a most fascinating scenario. <laughs> So please do give it a try. We will give it a try. We did say that at the end of these, we would start doing more of them. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Kate, do you need some help? Kate, kitty Kate. Let's do that. Let's do just some potions on us. Just because I am trying to use items more red. Let's do item potion on myself and then we're all good to go. I need to use their items more so that we do get that weapon. I think one of their weapons is done. Hold on. One of them is good to go. Item transmute. I need somebody who's susceptible to. Oh, red's good. Okay, so I need to actually add Tifa back on. So let me switch out red for Tifa. There we go. All right, what do we got? So this has all been discovered. We might want to go ahead and just fast travel to... Oh. I want to see what this proto... Yeah, the phenomenon is. Oh, and snaps his pictures. All right, let's go buggy right here. We're going to do a lot more fast travel. This must be the sandstorm. What? No. What? No. Get back in the... What? Okay. <laughs> That must be the... Is that the phenomenon? Is the sandstorm? That's not good. Sandman? Gone was I to the Morius presence. And lo, with a sweet me, but these sweltering sands. It's the guy. What is this thing? No way. What yeah. misfortune for you to venture so far for treasure already claimed. You would do well to leave, that I may collect what is by rights mine. <gasps> you think the proto-relic is yours? Get it, Yuffie. Proto what now? 
Relic, you say? Ha! A ridiculous name! Unworthy what treasure does he think treasure. it is? What you knaves covet is you the knaves. Of the prize in my resplendent arsenal. Get wind? Oh. Wind against oh. sand, maybe? Let's form! I can hold no longer! Oh no. Oh, oh, oh no, down I go! So what's in its stead? So what was that? Long story. Oh, thank goodness I finally got through. Are you all right? I'm fine. But what the hell was that just now? I'm investigating the matter as we speak. Okay. In my initial analysis of the sand entity, I detected a proto-relic-like signal. I'm unsure how they're connected, but I fear we might be after the same thing. Of course we are. <laughs> There's no telling where it might appear next. Please, be careful. Okay. Lovely. Does that mean it's no longer there? No, there is still the phenomenon. So slightly different. So we are going to head over there. I was just thinking about this too. While I'm using Cloud. No, this is still the Umbral. Okay, the Umbral Blade. Again, it's not doing... Um, this is something that I just have, I don't want to say I've been like overlooking, but I think I've been perfectly fine using whatever blade is the latest one that we've picked up. But it is true that certain ones are going to do less damage. So like the Umbral Blade is 52 and 52, but like this one was 89 magic damage. This one was 67 with 49. There's ones that are overall like a lot better to use, but I've just been sticking with whichever ones kind of bring the most material or materia we need to use. Yeah. Uh, Amethyst Collar is now maxed, and I actually like, mm, we're getting more magic damage with Amethyst, but, oh, I do like the purple on that. It looks like a lot of this stuff is purple. Isn't mine Amethyst? No, it's Umbral Blade. Tifa has the Dragon Claws, which physically look sick. Don't get me wrong. But they just come with no materia, so it's, but I think that's because the damage is really good. 82 and 31. 81 and 18. And 51. Okay, so we're going to want to use the Kaiser Knuckles as soon as she maxes the Dragon Claws. Yeah, and then red. Okay, red's fine. The Wizard's Rod. This one has the most amount of materia slots with it. It's 39 and 59. I mean, the best one would be her Timeless, I think. You're really going to see the biggest and also her normal Guard Stick. We might want to go Timeless Rod and just reduce that one use of materia. Possibly. Healing. I'm happy with those items. Now that he's maxed this, no, we need the Vulcan Cannon. <gasps> Whoa, wait a minute. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the different metals at the tip. Oh, charging uppercut. That's nice. I bet that will be some good damage. All right, this is 50, 42, 57, 52, 47, 74, 25, and 49, 49. The Gatling is a good in between, but I still think the Vulcan actually is going to give us the best. And... We get four pieces with it. So let's go ahead and check out the attack. Yeah. Synergy damage increased. I kind of like that. I do like doing synergy moves with him specifically and enhanced overcharge by 15%. <gasps> Wait, weapon ability ATB recovery. Yes. Replenishes ATB gauge, but by 5% when using a weapon ability. So good. Beautiful. And that means that we want Baird on our team. Also, Yuffie needs to just throw something on. Anytime that there is extra materia slots, we need to be using it um, to upgrade anything that we have. In fact, her twin Viper is 60 and 44. This one's 44 and 60, but it comes with an extra... Wait, the four point. Let's do four point because we're maxed with that. And that way she gets in a little additional materia. So going over here, let me see what I really want to use. Again, we're trying to do, she already has an HP up. Almost all of my characters I think should have HP up just across the board. And I almost want to reset. I think because we're housing so much materia, I really do want to use this. So what is this? Steel materia allows you to take items. So those aren't linked. So let's put her HP up and she has precision defense focused. Let's go ahead and swap that to here. We're just going to take a second to organize these, which I know sometimes they get like out of sorts if I'm switching, but mm, we're going to put the purples here. She's got steel. Let me see if there's any linked abilities that I want to use also here. Um, 
Brave Thief, Weapon Ability Damage. I want that. And then she also has increases HP by 200. I'm actually going to do Shuriken Master. He keep the Throwing Star aloft for 25 more seconds. I like that. Um... She has lightning and enervation, allows you to use physical and magic defense reducing spells. Pairing with warding materia grants resistance to physical spells. That actually could be really nice. So I am going to, I think I have an extra warding. She already has, wait a minute, that's Tifa. HP absorption, no, but I think I might do, I think I might do the warding on her instead of Tifa. Mm. Reduces buff. I'm going to do this right here. And I'm going to pair that with her enervation, if I'm reading that right. I think that's going to be better in the long run. Okay, let's put those two together. Yellows will go over here. So she has assess. Let's go ahead and throw that assess on her right here. We have a lot of assess. Uh, I already have one that's maxed. And I also have the assess earrings too. That's on, I think, maybe Tifa. I just put max assess on her. Actually, that's not what I want to do. I want to do the assess level two so that can level up. And then I want to, let me see these. HP absorption allows you to recover HP when unleashing an attack of the linked materials type. I like that. Actually, that's pretty useful. Mmm. Increases the level of linked materia by one. Has no effect when paired with the materia at maximum level. I have an idea for that, actually. Oh, man. Autocast is really good. I like having autocast on... Uh... Wait a minute. Autocast should be on... Oh, no, no, no. That's right. Autocast is essentially... Yeah. Mm? What do I want to do on her? She has HP up and she has... Could do MP up. There are a lot that are MP upped, but I'm not using her very much anyway. I think it'd be kind of nice to put luck up possibly. Yeah, let me go back over here and do a luck up on her. Auto weapon ability. We could do one on her. Tifa has the other one. ATB stagger. Small ATB boost on staggering a foe. Defense precision. Steadfast block. Take slightly less damage and a small ATB boost when guarding as if I ever actively use that, even though I should. Don't get me wrong. I should. I'm not saying it's good that I don't, but um, I think we should put spirit up. That way we have something rolling here. So she's got lightning and then we'll give her another... Uh, we'll give her wind because she already has the use of fire and freeze because of her shuriken. So I think we should give her. Mm, or she should have heal. No, I would say wind. Yeah, let's give her another wind. And actually, this is really good. We're going to give her the level two wind materia because Tifa has the lightning and wind materia. So she doesn't need both. So now we have wind and lightning on her and she actually has the use of all four elements because she's got wind, she's got lightning, and then she can use the fire and ice on that. So I'm really happy with that. Her whistleblower scarf slightly fills ATB gauge, which I like. And then her beguiling armlet. Let's see if there's anything better. No, I mean, I think across the board, that's a pretty solid bracer for her. So let's go over to Barrett. Barrett has the Vulcan Cannon. Let's go ahead and set that material with him. So he's got Prayer, which I like, but we want to actually max Prayer. So there's, I wish I could get some more AP up, which we might be able to through Chadley, possibly. All right, so he's got healing and he's got magic efficiency. So reducing the MP cost of the linked materia. So we've kind of got Barrett being a little bit of a healer and I'm honestly okay with that. You know what? No, because he already has Prayer. So let's actually put, let's put lightning up, reduces the MP. Let's put lightning because a lot of times he is using the lightning. So we want to actually move lightning right here. Mm. I'm moving everything around and I know it probably won't stick for a long time, but yeah, magic efficiency on the lightning. So it costs less. And then we've got healing and wind. So the only thing he's really missing is that fire and ice. He's got prayer, HP up and auto unique ability allows an ally to automatically use abilities when not actively controlled in battle, which is, I like that for Barrett. I think that's useful. So I'm happy with that. He's got this vest which is increasing vitality and increases HP by 250. I'd love to make that a different mark. I think it'd be nice if we can upgrade that eventually. Other than that, we could definitely give him... He's rocking the Enhanced Sailor's Bracer. 
a little callback to his sailor outfit, I guess. 18 and 18, 14 and 14, but he would get an extra slot. And you know what? I'm actually going to put that on and think, I think it's worth like the extra material slot, material slot. So he's got, um, prayer. I'm going to move prayer here. We're going to put prayer down here. Oh, there it is. I'd like to level that up even further, but he's got HP up. Is there any linked? He's got one linked materia. This is HP up. Increases your max HP. This bonus cannot be, you know what we're going to give him? We're going to give him MP up because I don't have a lot of characters with MP up. So I'd like to start enhancing those. Is that the best MP up? Yes. The other two have zero on them. So I think that's really nice. We could give him vitality. But no, I think that's good. And then auto unique casting. We're just going to go through all of these characters and really like outfit them a little bit better and be a little more intentional. Yeah, she's got the wizard rod, which is kind of my. um, It's my ward from League of Legends. That's what it's giving me. All right. Illusionist armband is 20 and 43, but it's only giving her four slots. Also, hold on. Yuffie is showing. Oh, it's showing what would happen if I changed it. That's why. Hmm. 15 and 32. If I wanted the extra, I'm going to keep this for the magic defense, but we do want to eventually look at getting her a different armband that comes with more materia. Going to her materia, she has enervation with warding materia, grants resistances to the linked materia's detrimental status, which is not useful for this. So what we'd probably want to apply to this would be maybe like lightning, for example, that could be better than what she has right now. So let's do lightning. Where's her other one? All right, we're going to put that. So now she has a greater resistance to the lightning attacks, which is a better use of that. Uh, she has steel materia. I'm going to put that in this slot. Steel will go over here. Steel is maxed. And because I never use steel, I think that we can put a yellow on her that's more beneficial than what I already have. So I'm going to actually take that off. And I'm going to do not chakra, but I think we'll do, I know prayer is normally what she's outfitted with, but I think we should do mm, morph ATB boost. ATB boost could be kind of nice. I think maybe we put another, I think we should put MP up for her. MP up here. We're going to do, is there any other links that I want for her? HP absorption? Allows you to recover HP when unleashing an attack to the linked materia. She has wind, correct? No, she doesn't. She just has lightning. So I'm actually going to put, mm, I'm going to put HP absorption and I'm going to put a, another element. I would say fire. No, lightning. No, we have so much lightning material. I wish you could, I think you can sell some of these and I might look into selling some if it's possible because we have so much. I would say we do another fire or another ice. I would say fire with her. Yeah, I think wind would make more sense, but I do like having wind on Tifa. But I'm always carrying cloud and cloud automatically has wind on him. Mm. Yuffie makes sense to have wind. Let's just do another wind. We'll have wind and lightning on her. Steadfast block and enervation. I'm happy with that. I do want to move steadfast to right here. Steadfast. I also think spirit up would be good. Mm. Allows you to use physical magic defense reducing spells. I know this is taking like a second, but I just want to make sure I'm trying new things and using new materia. I want to do spirit on her, but that's also on... That's on Yuffie, but I'm going to actually put spirit on her and steadfast block. No, because she's hardly ever, she's hardly ever doing that. Automatically uses provoke to temporarily draw an enemy's attention. Definitely not on her. I would say we want to th probably throw a, let's do an assess maybe. No, steal. Mm. Morph. I think morph. Yeah, let's do morph on her. I feel like that makes way more sense. Okay, I like that. So we need to go back to Yuffie. And she now has a free spot here. So I want to go back to yellows. I would say keep steel on her. Because even though I'm not using it, maybe once in a while I might use it. I still like the option too, occasionally. All right, Red's got quite a few things happening right now. He's got precision defense and first strike, which I do like. He's got auto cast on him with fire, and I do like that combination, and fire's not maxed. Oops. 
Swap. Leave that there. I need to remember the swap button. All right, HP up and let's do another. Let's do HP up and not MP up for him. Vitality up, no. Provoke, maybe? I like provoke. Provoke could be kind of good. Item mastery increases the effectiveness of items used in battle. I kind of like that for him. All right, Tifa is a mess. Mm. Again, we're going to have to change all of our stuff later. Mm. In another setting, she has other items, I think. Gosh, okay, I'm just going to max that and then we'll come back in and add materia to her because that will change here soon and we need to get more summons. And for Cloud, I'm happy with Clouds. ATB boost, HP up, MP up. Yeah, Clouds is good. All right, let's go. Let's go. Sorry, that took a second, but I think it is really important to kind of set yourself up to have a wide wide range of different attacks that we can cast and everything. I think it's nice. All right, so we're going for the Proto Relic next part. Hmm. I still want to... This is the Phenomenon. The signal is growing stronger. Perhaps there is a Proto Relic in the nearby reactor. Oh my gosh. A mysterious power blocks the way inside. Some sort of monster's den. A fortress, if you will. Whatever it is, I don't think we can get inside. We need to be the shape uh. of a cactuar. Whoa. Okay. Commencing scan. I believe I have a match. The symbols resemble those found in the Book, Book of, of Kings. Kings. An ancient tome. Allow me to translate. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Well then, in order to unlock this door, you'll need to locate a cactuar rock hidden somewhere in the desert. Okay. What kind of rock? A mineral deposit named for its distinct cactuar shape. And then insert it. Now that Cloud has made contact oh. with this door, the rock we seek should be marked by a green glow. Oh, okay. By the way, do you happen to see a cactuar shaped statue anywhere nearby? Uh. Oh. Right next to it? That's it. That statue should guide you to the rock I spoke of, which in turn will serve as the key to the door. That's kind of cool. So we must prove Just ourselves. Just put it in my worthy. pocket. I know you can do it. And something tells me these rocks are going to be guarded by other cactuars. Our favorite. Hold to raise the cactuar statue aloft and the light emits the corresponding rock. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All the way over there? Okay. That's pretty far. Let's go ahead and do snaps while we're over here. Kind of do a bunch of different things. I might be going on foot for a lot of this because the Bucky's a little bit of work to kind of call it forward and stuff. Then get out of it. The chocobos are so efficient. You hop in and you hop out. This feels very Indiana Jones-esque or something. Snaps thing is probably up on the rocks if I had to guess, maybe. All right, let's hold this up again. Oh. Okay, that's not exactly where I was expecting. Snaps, this thing is right here. Scenic spot. This is the scenic spot, Snaps? Are you sure? I don't want to doubt his judgment, but... Really? Okay. Is it this side? Alright. Open menu, photo mode. <laughs> um, Alright, hide party. For starters. And... Oh! Wait, that's kind of scenic. Well, I don't want the statue. I think we have to go this way. Is this? No. Maybe over here. Wait, let me... Wait, how do I go up? Okay, camera position. It's okay. I'm just gonna take it like this. I'm not so sold on making it this, like, really beautiful thing. Ooh, I do like the Moogles, though. And the Chocobo Ranch. Yes, Coral Cactuar. There we go. That's perfect. Frame is nice. Ooh, very old-timey. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Never mind. I'm actually addicted to this. Hold on. Hmm. I think this one or this one kind of brings out the desert, right? There's not just like a normal black and white. I like this one. Warm afternoon. No, this one, this one, this one. Yeah. 
Exposure tilt. All right, not the tilt, the angle. Oh, 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 oh. All right, camera position. Let me zoom in so we're not looking at that anymore. We just want to get, oh, there we go. Oh, with the uh, helicopter in the shot. No, I think no helicopter. That's nice, that's a good picture. Okay. Oh, shoot. Hold on. All right, there it is, and back. And now we can share it with them. That's a good photo. The, you know, I never thought that I'd use one of the filters because they're kind of intense, but it works. It works for the desert. All right, let's pull back, let's pull this back out, Cactuar. Okay, we need to call the buggy. Buggy time. All right, so let's go through here, and I say we try to turn this, this bad boy on, because that will show us a lot of stuff in the vicinity. Mm -hmm. But we want to make sure that we're clearing that fog, so go this way. Wait, Gold Sasu parking garage? Oh, to get back in, this is what we saw before. Wait, items, items. Oh, Chocobo stop. Where, buddy? Hold on, there's something. Oh, it's right down here. Very nice. All right, everybody out. Just takes a second. The front almost looks like a helicopter nose. And another golden plume, which means we should be able to buy all of the items. Quee! <laughs> all right, pets for the little guy, and then we gotta get out of here. You're so good. I don't know why, but it makes me think of Ginger. It's the eyes, the big old eyes. Ginger's got such big old beady eyes now that she's older. All right, everybody hop in. I wish you could feed them like a snack at the stops. I think that's only the get away, get away, get away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. This should be a location. Sand sweat modular reactor. Gold saucer energy. Do, do, do. Pick up this stuff, grab this. Three armor piercing grenades. We need to use the grenades given the opportunity. We gotta use some of those. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see if we can transmute anything too. We just completed this area. Transmutation, no! The bracers, I need these bracers. I need level 11. Honestly, these would be great to make too, but I can't yet. It might be, oh, enhanced fortress bracer. There we go. Very nice. <gasps> but we can make supernatural wrists. I wonder if that takes away from being able to build something else, maybe? I don't know. We'll make them anyway. Wait, so we increase the strength by 10%. We do need to add those to Tifa, I think. What is Tifa using right now? Oh, the headbands. It'd be nice to be able to craft those soon. Hold on, is uh, Tifa's using, oh, she's not even using that. She's using the demon keychain. Slightly replenishes ATP gauge when using a weapon ability, which I do still like. Better than the strength, I think, for her. Mm -hmm. The water? I feel like something could be lurking in there and I do not like it at all. Okay, so we need to go top side over here. We're gonna need to drive through this water. There's some kind of stop over here. It's not a chocobo stop, but it's something else. I don't know if we've discovered what these really are. Not my best parking job. We've seen a couple of these. I think they're just, you get cushions, but maybe old stops like. This king guy's probably got a horde of tonberries at his command, which means we'll be outnumbered. Unless, what if we cloned a bunch of barrens? They blast those oh, baddies no. into oblivion. And catch us Brilliant. in crossfire. It's true. What about Tifa? Uh, Thinking naughty thoughts. Bro, shut you up. fear? Busted. Mm. I thought ninjas were supposed to be silent. Oh, Ooh. forgive me for interrupting your fantasy. I'll let you get back to being perp. Why is she gonna call me out like that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. 
Yuffie is the perfect little sister. Kyrie, th they are too. Like Kyrie and Yuffie, they're both like this little sister feeling. And you love them, but you hate them. No, I love the banter. I honestly love when they give Cloud crap because he feels so like, uh, awkward isn't the right word. Just he's so frazzled, I think is a better way to say it. It's like I'm surrounded by so many women and they all give me crap. Beautiful. They're so magical. This one won't give us new data, but the next one will. Two more, which we know where one is. I just can't figure out how to get to it. Oh wait, maybe this one did bring data with it. Cloud. Upon analyzing the data from the life spring, a new transmuter I was able to chip. A new transmuter chip. Right, right, right. The chip can be found in a village abandoned due to desertification. Mm. This erosion will spread if left unchecked. And eventually, the entire village will be swallowed by the sands. Do try to collect the chip before that happens. Not the sands. Deserted village. I Have we been there already? Yes, we have. Remember, I was like, there has to be something here. I remember when we went through that. Oh, I wish we could go in the water, but I know we would pollute it with our gross clothes or something, but it's so beautiful. There's nothing beyond this? It's so strange. Yeah. Hmm. All right, back to the buggy. I think we're pretty close to the next location. It's funny, you think that you can walk everywhere? Oh, it's, oh, it's over to the side. You think you can kind of just like walk everywhere to get where you need to go, but it's not like that at all. Like the desert is so vast and it's easy to mistake it for being something you can get to. Wait. Oh, I think I need to go up and over? Oh, hold on. My statue. Oh, hold on. But it's not up there. I think it's on the other side. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you see that green light emitting? No, that's something different. What is that green light? That has to be the activation spot. I'm gonna ignore these guys. I must have gone too far. Mmm. Yeah. No, that's something even further back. That is not an activation point. Wait, oh, oh, there it is, there it is. It's further up. I don't think I'm gonna be good at tracking these things. Reactor. Get away from the cactars, get away from them. Yeah, that is it. Y'all are like, call the buggy. Call the buggy. The buggy takes so long. What's over there? Oh, we know that. Let's go ahead and do like a little circle around this area. Oh. There's another activation point right there too. Oh, that's the one down there. That was a good pickup. More items. Nice. This looks like something, yeah, this is a collectible area. I feel so lost in the desert right now. Sand giant. Wait a minute. We just saw him. That's because I ended up back in the middle. And also fun fact, the light that is emitting is from the one that I already activated. But it's okay, I need to go through here anyway. Yes. Press light in reservoir. We needed to go through here. All right, there's three treasures. I saw one right here. We might take a break while we're traveling to go back and do some of the challenges at the gold saucer. I was thinking we could just try to complete all of those things, get all of our upgrades, get all the materia, just kind of use this episode to, I don't know if catch up's the right word, but just get a lot of the optional things done. Have some fun, just make this 
be able to go into the next area of feeling like ready for whatever comes next. Like if it is really the next chapter, because I do feel like we're going to be headed into the whoa, swan, swallow song. Was it swallow song? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where was that? Swallow Song Bracer 2727, grade four, wait, grade six, a finely crafted bracer that evokes the beauty of a bird in flight. That's so pretty. Wait, that would be great for 2727. No, she already has three. Somebody doesn't have three. Aerith? Illusionist armband. We did say we wanted, yes. Yeah, well, that's 43. But that's still good. I like that. I like that for Aerith. Um, but then we're gonna do, so she gets an extra materia slot. Um, all of these are mostly done. I want all of these to be maxed, guys. I want to see maxed, maxed, maxed. Does she have HP up? She might be one of the few characters that doesn't have HP up. She has MP up but no HP up, so let's go ahead and put HP up on her. Especially on Aerith, yeah. Beautiful. You get some good items from these shops, or these, uh, hidden areas. There it is. I love the whole collectible and the transmuter was just such a clever way to make sure that you're kind of entertained but you're you're being intentional about your collections and like wanting to run over everything pick up everything all right so we definitely want to just kind of go through here to kind of clear well let's clear this area first I just want to clear the cloud Oh, come on. There we go. Just want to clear this kind of... Do a little circle of some sorts. Pick up some items. Nice. This should clear this area. All right, we should be mapped here. And now let's go in this middle spot. Mm, I think we need to get up top. And then we'll go back to the gold saucer after we find one more intel location. I think we want to somehow. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Watch yourself. Taking over. That's fine. They're gonna do the like three thousand. Build the pressure. Build the pressure. Get him all up. All out of soul. Get him. Kitty wallop. Get him. Up for some fun? Moogle magic. Magic megaphone. Smack him. Oh. Wait a minute. Magic megaphone? Whoa. The magic megaphone is kind of nice. He can't dodge at all. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. My turn. All right. Hold on. Triple slash him. I know. Let's ride. There we go. Beautiful. Hold on. Oh. Okay, never mind. Meow, 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 meow. That brings me too much joy. I shouldn't be that happy. It's giving uh, the meow Game of Thrones that you guys always abuse on stream. All right, up and around. A ruined in a boot. Should just drive through here. Yes, because we went through the water, but we didn't go up and over here. And I see where it. Oh. Oh, my body okay, fine. That was funny, though. Seeing him just pop up like that. This is not the area. We need to somehow find. Do not get in the way of that. I don't want to deal with them. This feels very. This is where I feel like Titan should have been. How do we get up there? Is the question. Is this all new? This is all new terrain, too. That's another Moogle area. This is a mess, guys. Wait a minute. Bean Intel. Oh. Be on your guard, everyone. I'm picking up Everybody a monstrous out. signal. I love when you just stumble upon them. Defeat the enemy without getting swallowed. Rare Defeat the enemy with them. All right, hold on. Commencing guidance protocol. Their we need to eyes scan it. long since atrophied. These creatures rely on their sense of smell to hunt. Their digestive system has also deteriorated, mm. forcing them to ingest rocks to break down food and absorb nutrients. Referred okay. to as the undertakers of the desert, these fiends subsist almost exclusively on carrion. Extreme hunger, however, can drive them to attack living prey. 
The gold saucer has led to a steady increase in foot traffic. And, as you might imagine, oh. a corresponding increase in landworm-related deaths. To protect these travelers, we must understand what makes this variant tick. All right, let's get him. No well, we need to make sure we don't get swallowed. Which I feel like I, something about this just tells me it's going to be like a... I got this. We just need to stay away from its mouth. Everybody stay away from its mouth. Just to, ow, ow, ow. Let's talk about a steamroller. Let's do it right. Sand dune. Freeze. A rare landworm variant that produces a sopophoric gas when its body digests carrion. It boasts an excellent smell and attunement to vibrations. Wow. Inflicting enough damage by exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it. Swallow will pressure it for a long period of time, too. Ow. Not to heal, honestly. All right, here we go. Hold on. Is it going underneath? It's going underneath. He's trying to swallow. He's trying to swallow. Not today, buddy boy. All right, go Blizzard, level two. Take the lead. Kitty Wallow. Get him. Let's ride. Drop kick him. Drop kick him. Get him, get him, get him. Fortune telling. All right, I think she has. Does she have freeze too? No. But she does have icy impulse, so let's fire icy impulse. We need to make sure. Okay, oh. Let's do icy impulse again. We want to try to pressure it before it tries to go swallow mode again. Get out, get out, get out. Oh gosh. Hold on. Let me do items and let me just do a mistide potion for all of us. Oh no, okay, okay. He's gonna try to swallow. He's trying to swallow. No, no. That sucks. Man, Kate, no. We have 50 seconds. We gotta kill this thing, guys. Never again. Oh my gosh. Freeze. Nice, Dagger. We'll have to finish this up and do it again so he doesn't get swallowed. Swallow. Get him, Kate. Kitty Wallop. Get him. Get him. Let's do fortune telling again. All right, and then she needs to do star shower, and she should be maxed. Weapon max. No weapon ability max. Star shower again. Weapon ability master. Nice. All right, so we got two, but we did get swallowed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's try it again. I think we can avoid getting swallowed as long as I stay as one of the maybe like Tifa. Because Tifa's just a little bit faster, so all we have to do is take it down without getting staggered. But I am going to need to heal us up all the way. Um, we do want to retry it, but hold on. Let me go items, potion cloud. I'm just going to use a lot of potions because we have them. Mega potion we might as well use. We have a fair amount. Potions on Kate Sith. Items, potion on Kate Sith. I just used high potion, didn't mean to use that. Tifa's max. Let's go back to items and let's do that ether on cloud. I'm gonna want another ether on cloud. Mm. What's the dry ether? Restores a hundred? Wow. Yeah, we're gonna want to retry, but I need to run to the bathroom first. So we're gonna retry that. And then I think what we're gonna do, retry. We're gonna go top side, do this get this i want to get this life spring all the way over here because i still don't remember how i even i don't even understand how i missed that in the first place so i do want to go back and get that and then i think we'll go to the flying saucer and do a little bit of fun stuff first and then we'll kind of take the lower area by storm so yeah i'll be right back so many things to do right to you let's do it again i don't have to come back and do this later i already have a couple that i have to do from before all right, don't get swallowed. Whatever you do, don't get swallowed. Rare landworm variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. All right. Their eyes have long since I was like, did it already? I was like, did it already swallow something? Well, because it could technically swallow anybody, right? It's Their not just me. Also All right. Stay, let's stay just down. with swallowing. No! Let's do this. <laughs> no. Retry battle. How am I supposed to avoid it swallowing? Oh, snap. All right, let's go with Cloud, maybe? Coming through. Gosh. Soar. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Let's do... Overpowered. I got this. Whoa. 
Okay, we might want to use Baron. Level 2 Blizzard. Okay, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. Oh my gosh, Kate! I wasn't even using Kate! I wasn't even using Kate. I avoided it the first time. Let's do item. Dive kick? If we could just obliterate it before Ow. He's gonna go under, and I just wanna make sure nobody gets caught by him. Okay, he, he, oh, he's not. Keep pressure. Okay, hold on, hold on. He's. Is he going under? He's not going under. Here we go. Let's hope for. Nice. Okay, he's going under. Avoid! Nice. Okay. Now we need to get him the heck. There, hold on. No, 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 no. Focus strike. We need to go focus. Just try to. Try to. Oh, ow. Try to stagger him before he does anything. Focus thrust. Keep it together. Can you wolf? Let's go. Uh, cold front. Try to break him before he goes under. Nice stagger. All right, obliterate him. Obliterate him. Obliterate. Come on. Hold on. Uh, dive kick. Leave it to me. Hold on. Let's go spells. Try to obliterate. Obliterate. Blizzard. Dead. 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 Woo! Let's go. Perfect. And we just leveled up. We need to go get stuff for all of our characters. We just seriously leveled up. Oh, we need the buggy. Mm. Nope, I don't want to retry. Get out of here. Don't even start with me. But now we need to see how we're going to get up top. Okay, this is some weird side over here. Chocobo. What's up, baby? Okay. Never mind. Pressure them, pressure them, build up pressure, 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 staggered. And then let's hit him with a focus strike. Pull out. Gorgeous. You need to get one of the other ones. Oh. All right, I need to use Kate's hit. We've got to get him. I actually really like this magic megaphone. Magic megaphone. Let's do. Let's ride. Nice. Where is it? There's one more sand viper. All right, hold on. Here he comes. I'm in. Got this. Cool. With ya. Hmm. Fortune telling. Nice. Beautiful. All right, we want to go fortune telling. You like take it over? Nope, nope. Let's nope. Go. All right, fortune telling still. How have we not maxed that weapon yet? Barret, Barret's actually. Okay, where was she? Take us, Posh Chocobo. It's got to be on this side. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna go off the edge. This is probably pretty comfy. Might be a little bumpy of a ride, but. Where is it? Where's the Posh Chocobo? Another golden plume. I wonder if there's areas that I've missed in some of the other locations. I need to, I'm gonna have to look at a map. Like, do you guys, if you guys were here for when I did God of War, I pretty much did every single thing you could possibly do. That and Survivor. Survivor, I 100%ed, like I had done everything to where the game said 100%. But with God of War, I ended up looking at the map and made sure that I got all the collectibles and things. While I probably won't be able to plat this game without doing hardcore, I don't think we'll plat it till before the next game. I do want to try to collect 100% of the items and everything and do all of the quests, all of the missions. All right, so we still are trying to figure out how to get up here, and that's what's confusing me the most before I fall off the edge. Okay, somehow that worked. So, ah, uh, maybe this way? Maybe. I don't think so, though. I'm just not under, oh, gotcha. Gotcha, we gotta climb. There it is. 
I think I did see that for a split second and I must have just missed it. Nice. Steal and deliver the Tomberry King's crown. Such an easy quest, of course. Oh. Yuffie. Yeah. Is this to get back down? Oh. Gotcha. Well, let me collect everything on this area first. Yeah, there's a ton up here and our activation points up there. Oh my gosh. This is so far. We'll go activation point first so we can see all the other things in this area. Anybody want to check out that tower? Stone Arch Tower. Stone Arch Tower. That's very fitting. Oh no, I saw that. I knew it. ATB boost. Nice. Let's do a focus thrust. Focus the rest. He dodged. He's trying to swallow. Whoa, Cloud. Cloud. Alright, get it. Kitty wallop. Kitty wallop. Let's ride. Nice. Oh no, he's trying to. He's trying to spin us. Dodge and dive. Let's do. Um, magic. Yeah, magic megaphone. Mount. You really gotta work this whole situation. Oh! Let's ride doesn't need to be used twice, because I think that just smacks him. Weapon ability mastered, though. Mastered the fortune telling ability. Uh, right. Okay. Kate. Iron megaphone. So we're gonna switch back to the yellow. This is 53 and 53, but we're gonna switch back to this because it comes with four materia slots. And I think overall it does a little bit more damage. Moogle draws enemy attention more easily. Moogle Sentinel reduces damage taken by Moogle. Lucky Jockey increases luck by 100 while riding the Moogle. Moogle Vanguard increases damage dealt by Moogle. I like that. And I would say Moogle Decoy. I do like that. All right, so he's got Empowerment, Luck Up, Level Boost. Let's go ahead and go over here and do healing, maybe? Maybe another healing. Ice maxed. I have a maxed ice that's not being used by anybody. Hello? Hello? I would almost say that I want him to be like my guardian. Like I want him to kind of be rocking. Let me move this over here. This is magnify, so it allows you to exchange. Okay, why did I have that on that? We need to do ice. I like him being like the ice goblin. And then again, we need more summons, but I'm gonna save that for now. We are gonna try to take out the Phoenix. I want more level four summons. Okay, we took out the use ah tower. Right, yo. Oh, you can see the that was the factory that we used to go to. Yeah. It's kind of strange. Oh, they're two separate paths. The Moogle medals. I still haven't seen a Moogle hut. Oh, and we need to find this out too. I think I hear what's his name. Yeah. That's gotta be pretty painful. Guys, this is just taking us all sorts of paths that I don't know. Are we sure this is even guiding us in the right location? Oh, that's what it is. That's one of them. Look at that thing. No, 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 no. But there's something else right there. Hold on. Wait, this is a massive tower too. But what is that? Thing that's glowing with Mako? That's not a life spring. There's no way that's a life spring. There's no way. Ah, see in that area, there's another, okay. We haven't found anything relating to the, the summon in this area. Hmm. I can't retake that. Nothing? Do, 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 do. 
We could circle back over here and we need to go right here to steal and deliver the Tom Berries. I guess we could do that. Might as well do a little bit of a side mission, kind of mix it up. I don't like doing like 100% of the exploration back to back. I guess let's call the, the buggy here. Go this way. That was where the life spring was. Oh my gosh, I think I went out the wrong way. I think that life spring you can go out a different way. And that's why I lost it. Okay. That's why I got all confused. No, I've technically been in this whole area. I was looking over here. That is a life spring. That's a divine intel life spring right there. What? I'm going back this way. Cause isn't that where we came out of? Hmm. This whole path's hard. Oh! Okay. Okay. I don't know why I was terrified about that. No big deal at all. Didn't realize the water was this low here. Okay, so let's talk to him and he should be able to tell us where the Tom Berry. I guess we just have to find the Tom Berry King. Destination reached. Let's go talk to him. And we'll go to the life spring real quick. Oh, I bet you'll just just don't keep me waiting too long. Oh, okay. You we just Johnny's have to are... find it. Yeah, we just have to find it, but I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Alright, let me go. Oh, you can go buggy in that area too. We can do the buggy anywhere. Alright, but we're going Chocobo real quick, and we are looking for that. There needs to be somewhere that I can climb. Yeah, this isn't the right way to climb. So we need to go up and over. Oh, I gotta... <laughs> oh, excuse me. Mm, look for a climbable path. Maybe around this way. Wait, that looks right. That looks right, hold on. A little sneaky spot. Clever girl. Yep. Oh, wait, this is something different. Hold on. These are two things. Yeah, Alexander Sanctuary and also... Holy cow. Okay. Uh, dismount. No, but this isn't even the same thing. Oh, this is. This is a divine intel spring. That's why. Okay, for some reason I thought it was the life spring. This has just been a divine intel spot. And that's a divine intel spot. Okay. That was sneaky. Oh, triangle, triangle. Triangle, triangle. Circle, triangle, triangle, circle. Triangle, triangle, circle. Triangle, triangle, circle. <laughs> okay. Triangle, triangle, circle, triangle. Triangle, triangle, circle, triangle, triangle, circle. Yeah. I've never seen, who is this? Alexander. Alexander. Dad on Alexander successful. I can't wait to find out like what these actually stem from. Like what are all of these? Because I only know them primarily due to Final Fantasy 16. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Beautiful. But I want to figure out exactly where they all come from or what they are, because I, one of you guys were like, oh, it's so funny hearing you call them Titan, or uh, yeah, Titans, right? No, what are, no, not Titan. Um, what are they called in FF16? I just lost it. You know what I'm talking about. I lost it, but. All right, let's do. Oh gosh, Jules' request is, Jules kicks my butt every time. Let's go back over here, guys. Let's fast travel and do this. We're gonna take a quick break, do a little bit of cards. We're gonna be bouncing all over the place with Corel. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Let's see. Wait a minute. Oh. Eng? So, you have begun to Novelin? fulfill your potential. 
Long have I awaited this day. I'm gonna take on this guy? <laughs> At ease, young soldier. I took your measure the moment you set foot in this town. Oh no. Hard not to, given your presence. I'm gonna get my butt I handed am to me. Of the thousand eyes. Years of meditation have granted me sight beyond sight. It is this clarity which shows me all, even that which some wish to keep hidden. <laughs> you exude a powerful yet troubled aura. aura. Indeed. It makes you the perfect opponent. Okay. Come, and don't you dare hold anything back. <sighs> Defeat the Keeper. This is what we need to rank up, guys. We'll rise in rank, and we'll be able to play uh, wise, I think. I don't even know what deck to begin with. Do I go with my normal standard deck? Do I go with... Mm... This is my backwards deck. This is my heavy roller deck. And this is like an in-between balance deck. We'll do this one. We'll do my deck number five. I need to like name them or something so I can remember. Oh, our hardest match yet. The Mithril Golem. Do I want it? But that's eight points. I should keep it. I'm going to get rid of the Fleet Wing. No, Fleet Wing's actually, Fleet Wing can be useful. I don't think I'm going to get rid of anything. Well, let me, no, do I roll the dice for the, no. Ugh. All right, I'll play. I think I should have rolled the dice, but we'll see. We'll see. Do, do, do. Oh. Bottom. But then he didn't get any two-player cards. I can go ahead and get the Mithril Giant there. The Mithril Golem. Do, do, do. I like that. I do like that. Okay, I have a good idea of what I want to do. Let me see. Hopefully he plays bottom, but I think he's going to go top side. Oh, okay. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Hmm. What do I want to use my Arch Dragon for? Putting two right there. And then I could do Heat Seeker, play something, get three points there, maybe? Do I want to push topside? Fleet wing. Heat seeker. Heat seeker will give me more coverage, but that's not necessarily a good thing. Because that means he's going to be trying to take over my bottom row, and I want him to overextend before I do. So I'm going to go right here. He'll either have to place top and try to block me from pressing forward more, or. Okay. Oh, my neck. That's good. That's good. That's really good. The heat seeker right there? We can do the Zuzu here too. He needs to have a diagonal. Oh, but I think I can steal that back. No, but I could remove his Levercon. I don't know if I want to try to, if I press up right here. Oh, I can't press up right there. I can't really, unless I did my Arch Dragon right here, then I would be able to stop him before he does anything there. I like this. He's gonna get it back, but hear me out. He's gonna press and be able to change that, that's fine. But I should be able to put enough points up on the table that it won't matter. The Zuzu, the Zubat. Dang, but I need the Mithril. I can change this. I can change that to be a card that I can use, but I will not be able to put up my eight points on my but he could have a diagonal card and then I think he would win in that case because he's got a lot of points on the bottom row. This will guarantee me victory, I think. Well, no, because he could win the top and the bottom row. I think I should try to use this bit. I'm gonna see, we're gonna risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. He can't change the double. Okay, hold on. And then I change that. Oh, wow. What a victory. Is it too soon to tell? Oh, he's burning some of his cards. Do I have a diagonal to be able to change that? Can I get greedy? I have a flea wing. My zoo. I can place this here. 
I guess I could just go security officer, but we want to get as many points on the table as possible, so I'm going to go two. There we go. He needs to burn more cards, maybe? Nope, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. And then I can win this row with a flea wing. Not with the zoo, so I need to go flea wing. Uh, it sucks I never got to place the eight points on the dragon, but it doesn't matter. Woo! Skirting by with victory, but I'll still take it. <laughs> Titan would have been nice to have. I really do like those diagonals. The fleet wings are worth a lot of money too. Even though you don't gain any ground, I'm, I'm actually amazed. A lot of my cards weren't good for um, gaining like directly next to you, but I think because they were doing diagonal and then also the two up top and the two up bottom. When enemy cards are played from hand, raise this card's power by one. Oh no. My name is Lutrell Balmont, and I am the creator of the game Queen's Blood. And he's trapped in it? Which means that this nightmare is of my own making. He's got beautiful hair. I didn't know. How could I? running out her she's calling me commanding me i like that it's like she's this tv made me her prisoner her cursed card my shackle the end is nigh a card or perhaps this is only the beginning The Shadow Blood Queen is. The Shadow Blood Queen? I love uh, that the minigames have story to them. Guess. You have dreamt the dream of Ladrell Balmon too. Balmon? What do you know about it? Mm, only rumors and hearsay. Wow. The players of particular skill have experienced strange visions of late. She's gaining power, visions maybe? Visions in which one is visited by the ghost of the game's creator, who speaks of portentous events. To add another wrinkle, some of the world's very best have recently met with unnaturally violent deaths. Hello? People are calling this the Curse of the Drell. Not even my third eye can discern the true cause, though it is clearly something sinister. So maybe we want to stop if playing Queen's Blood? To continue on the path of the card, the main vigilant. Vigilant. For a Blood Knight second class. Maybe we want to stop doing those. I don't know. <laughs> maybe we should call it a day. Maybe it's fine. It's fine. Uh, if it's only happening to the best of the best, why are we still going? All right, items to transmute, by the way. Adrenaline, Mega Mist, Potion. Oh, we can make so many. Wait, what does this take to? I might want to make more of these. I can make up to three, I think. Yeah, I can do up to three, but I still want to kind of save up for some of these until I feel the need to. Although I can do a headband. Let's craft that. Just a little extra five points. Then we want to make these earrings. Increases damage dealt with synergy skills and synergy abilities by 10%. That's kind of nice. I wouldn't mind that at all. Mmm. 90, 90. <sighs> it's getting a little shifty out here. All right. Kate. <laughs> Kate's still going to be in my team until I master using Kate. All right. That's done with that. So let's go back to world region or region map. Should we go back to the gold saucer? Wait, there's actually, there's another thing here at the board. Okay, wait, let's go to the board. There seems to be another side mission we can do. Been out of work for ages. That's Wonder not it, why. up here. Up here, to the right and to the left. South entrance, it's in front of the bar, I think. Yes. All right, it looks like there's one more side mission. Each of them have about five side missions. It's nice that it's not death by side missions. Like, 16 had a lot of side missions. Mr. Birdie's buddies, North Corel. Mr. Birdie didn't come home for dinner, and no one knows where he is. We're worried something bad might have happened to him. Can anyone help us find him, please? 
So where do we go for Mr. Birdie's buddies? Mr. Birdie's buddies. Here. All right. Let's do a side mission. Oh, this is for the kids. Please come back, Mr. Kids need missing help. Mr. Missing Mr. Birdie. What? Oh. Mommy said I'm not. This is mi to yeah, Bear. It's you. Barrett's mission. Oh, is that so? Well then, why don't you talk to this old fella instead? Okay, that's fair. He's what? tough, tougher than he looks, and real good at solving people's problems, right? Old fella, someone's a softy for the right price. Old fella, don't get all bent out of shape. Besides, I'll always be older than you. That's true. Whatever. <laughs> well, what's the problem? Uh, you see, Mr. Birdie ran away and hasn't come back. Oh, Mr. Birdie's a bird friend of ours? His head is all pointy. Kind of like yours, mister. Does it look like the pointy other bird huh? we saw? I bet they're talking about Cloud Jr. Mm-hmm. Who's that? Your bird friend. He had a run-in with a nasty fiend, and we saved his tiny behind. <laughs> no way! You guys, Grandpa said he saw Mr. Birdie heading toward the desert. No, not what? the desert. But we aren't allowed to go all the way out there. You just leave it to us. We'll find your friend. Really? Promise. Great. Grandpa said there's some old bird houses out in the desert that people built. We back saw in the them. Days. I saw one of those. Yeah. He said those are good places to set traps. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And my mommy told me you can craft them yourself if you've got the right chip. Oh. Huh. Uh, we better figure out how to transmute us some traps. We need to go to that one area then. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to go to... Well, hold on, let me see over here. We need to obtain the missing chip, which I think should be over here. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so let's pin that and then let's fast travel here. Then we'll go over there. We'll find the chip. Um... We need to call our chocobo. Very nice. Oh, I already miss Pico. All right, everybody, fan out. Tell me if you smell anything. Hmm. Through here. This should give us the piece we need. Hmm. Oh, it's on the other side, I think. No. Hold on. That's not in here, is it? No, it's on the outside. Other side. Oh, smart. I think it's right underneath us. There it is. Beautiful. One part, manifestation of the planet's venison. Karmic cowl. Okay. A new thing. I bet there's one up here. Here we go. Put the brakes on. Near Tifa. Mm. Near those sandworms. Yeah. No. Is it because there's... It's because there's creepy crawlies? All right. First strike. Let's take him out. Oh, Tifa. Get it. Unbridled strength. Do 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 Omni strike. Dead. Get him. Get him. Where are they? No. Come on. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. When they come up for an attack on Cloud, they're gonna come up for an attack. Beautiful. Oh, well, unbridled strength, punch, 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 and Omni. Get her chocobo back. I gotta remember to blink. I feel like while I'm playing this game, I'm not blinking. Nice. <gasps> Transmute a bird trap. Perfect. Wait, I do want to see the other transmuter. Yeah, no, that's absolutely gonna work. Yes, look, we got a bunch of new stuff. Dun, dun. The Karma Cowl increases vitality and spirit by 30 and grants immunity to slow and instant death. I can see that being situational. And we can craft this. Nice. Bird trap created. 
But we still need to do one more for this area. I don't think it'd be up here. I think it's in the other. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Never mind. Oh, I bet you it's behind this hut. Go around here. Yes, it's so in this area. It's probably right here. Yeah. I feel like after you do a couple of them, you kind of can tell where they're most likely going to place them. Armor upgrade six. Abyssal bangle now too. And an enhanced and your chocobo dug up everything in this area. 10 data points. All right, five party XP gained. We do need to level up our party members. But going over to, oh, you know what? We need to put Barrett back on. Combat settings need to go back to this. Classic. Transmuter. We got a bunch of new things. Hold on. Go down here. Planet's venison is something we can craft. Do these require venison? Huh. Planet's splendor. Planet's mercy. I haven't seen either of those. Mm. Planet Splendor and Planet Splendor. Enhanced old. Oh. Now you have three. Okay, so I think, well, you've always had three. And then we need Bee Spine for this. Exquisite Beast Hide for this. Can we do Bee Spine? Probably not. It seems like something needed to find. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Beautiful. All right, so now let's hightail it out of here. Is this the Tonberry? No, this is the High Republic's birdhouse. This is a birdhouse. I do remember this one. All right, let's fast travel here. Let's place the traps for the birds. It's the red birds, or it's the red uh, trees. Yeah. Do a little bit of the side mission. Then I kind of want to go back and battle. I have to beat Dio, and that's going to take like 30 minutes for me to get that. Kids gotta eat. Oh, there it is. Oh, I think I need to make more. Yeah, I need to make a couple more bird traps. We need to make two more. I laid the first trap. And now we wait. Might as well rig the other traps then. Life was a hell of a lot. Yeah, no kidding. If that's one of your biggest concerns, bird traps. Let's craft two, not seventeen. Easy. Mm. Old Midgar. We were good. Shinra was bad. And if we took him out, the world would be all right. So what's changed? Not a damn thing. Shinra's still going down. But coming back here, I see how I got tunnel vision. Mm. And not because Shinra was all I had to think about. It's because I didn't want to think about anything else. It Saving was the easier. planet's important. But I put a lot of personal stuff on the back burner, and I shouldn't have. Dying mm. and the others help give me that clarity. Just wish I could have got it sooner. That's a lot of self-awareness. I I definitely agree. I think that's that's huge for him to kind of admit that to be like I I, I think it is easy to to bury yourself into another situation to kind of avoid dealing with maybe a harder, you know, something something a little bit more difficult. And I think that was something that was hard for him was to kind of admit that there were definitely situations and things he could have done better. Oh. Um, but I guess it's easier to be. I mean, that's why they call it like blinded by rage, right? It is. It kind of becomes like that tunnel vision. It's the only thing you focus on. And I think there was a combination for him. Like the two things he focused on with Shinra, and then he also could bury himself into being there for Marlene, but still. Oh, um, I need to drop this here. Drop a pin. I feel like I should start. Should I start going near him? Oh. Oh. like he's still looking for the proto relic. Which means we need to get to it first. But I still have not been tracking those and I need to. Come on. Run it over. This way. Yeah, but we still need to do all of these proto relic areas. There he is. They're always near those. Um, hold on. Get out of here. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. It's up here. We need to go around. Do 
Should be just up the way. Wait, gold saucer. Hold on, run these over. Nice. Nice little grenade. There's the tree. Perfect. And let's just clear the cloudy area. Perfect. And I think there's a third one. There should be three total. Let me raise this. Where are we headed? I just don't. I think it's so confusing. Should I be seeing them in other places? Set the bait for Cloud Jr. <laughs> it's so cute. I expect you'll find this hard to believe, but I've actually changed quite a bit since my younger days. I'm sure. Thanks to Tifa, mostly. <laughs> she really set me straight. Especially as a parent. Wouldn't be half the father I am today without her. That's but she seemed like she had a good relationship with her dad. Did? Oh, got fed up with my bullshit and tore me a new one. <laughs> Started yelling about how a kid like Marlene needed a proper roof over her head. Mm -hmm. Somewhere safe and clean. Said sleeping outside was risky. She was right. Sure yeah. was. And not just her. The whole team helped me get my act together. I used to be a runaway train. Charging full speed ahead and dragging folks along for the ride. Never thought about hitting the brakes or anything else. Had my fair share of crashes and went off the rails a few times. Caused a lot of trouble for those guys. Well, I'd say you managed to get yourself back on track. Yeah. I couldn't have done it without them. They came into my life for a reason. Like you did, Cloud. Junior, too. I know it in my heart. He seems... Uh, he definitely seems like somebody that puts his whole heart into everything and with that kind of what happens I'm actually gonna fast travel right here um, And we're gonna try to do some of the other pieces at the same time But he seems like somebody who puts his whole heart into everything he does But sometimes doesn't think through every single thing until he's kind of forced to slow down and realize that okay Maybe this didn't have a desirable outcome because I kind of just brute forced it and I say that because I sometimes can be like that, where I don't fully think, think through a decision. Um, sometimes to another person or things detriment, or my own. All right, so we need to get up here on this. We need to find somewhere to climb. Oh, I cannot swim any further. We must call a buggy. Call the buggy. I think it's sneaky that they make you have to take the buggy. I see the tree. This way. But I like that he's being reflective. And I wouldn't expect anything less from Tifa. Whipping him into shape. But I think also, I mean, if he didn't have kids of his own, or if he didn't have kids of his own or anything like that, and not that Tifa has her own kids, but I think Tifa did have a very nice um, upbringing. It seems like she had a good relationship with her parents, and so I think she probably was able to use that frame of reference to be like, hey, Barrett, like, let me help you with this. But yeah, I, it's interesting to think about what the early days of Barrett and Marlene were before they did find Tifa, before Seventh Heaven was created, you know? Need a little bit of structure. You laid the last trap. Well, that's the last of the traps. Our bird might have already been caught in one of the others. Should circle Only back. One way to find out. I feel like it's going to be the first trap. But before we do that, there is something right here. Oh, look, 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 look. Actually, you know what? In order to get there, I think I'm going to have to go on foot. So hold on. I'm going to run everywhere from here. I know Jules's mission is just waiting for me. And it probably would be a fun. I guess we should I guess I guess we could do it next. I just know it's going to kick my butt. It's probably some other kind of workout of some sort that I'm not equipped for. All right. So let's see. It looks like this way. And whoop. Nice. Over. Do you know I never looked up the... I know, I see you. 
I never looked up the voice actor for Cloud until something something prompted me to the other day. I think when I was looking up, oh, because I was looking up the stuff for it. Oh my, Baron against the Cactuar? Okay. Uh, one of my characters has wind, and I think it's Tifa. I can't do spells right now. Something's got me not using spells. Let's do this. ATB boost. Oh, I missed him. But we got a beast talent and a beast spine. The beast spine's what we needed. Get out of there. There you go. Uh, triple slash. No time to celebrate. Um. Oh, what was I gonna say? No, this is definitely it. So I looked up his voice actor and I didn't realize, I, I haven't seen him in like everything he's done, but I didn't realize that he played one of the characters in Pretty Little Liars. Um, I know he's been in a lot of other things as well, it looked like. He had quite the impressive resume, but I did not, now that I see it, I just see the character from Pretty Little Liars. Sometimes I don't like to look up the VAs until after, because if they have been in something else I see them as, that's what I like fixate on or how I remember them the most. Square, circle, circle, square, circle, circle. Square, circle, circle, square, circle, circle. Square, circle, circle, square, circle, circle. They're very generous with being like in a, there, there's a nice, you know, some nice leeway there with where you press it. But he's getting, I wonder how they're just gonna continue. They're probably gonna continue to get more difficult. Nice, we're officially over halfway to collecting all the data in the area. That was perfect. Thanks to your hard work, I've obtained invaluable divine intel. Nice. But if you notice, there was a, we need to go back to, there was a bird that was trying to get us to go somewhere. That's an activation point. We might as well hit that activation point. But I think there's a bird area up here. So let's try to do that too. I just like the glow of this weapon. It's a free built-in little, uh, little light. So we're looking for that bird. Hmm. Boxes. I don't know. I, I definitely saw him over here. Yeah. Watch, he's gonna come see us in a second. But they have, they have a lot of room to down okay wait wait he's down there hmm he wants me to fly where he wants me to fly like almost on the other side of this mountain or have I gone this way you know we haven't really gone this way let's call the buggy we still haven't even seen the moogle area either it's got to be in this lower section do you, whoa, watch out, watch out. Catch a rod. Here it is. Yep, it's this way. We've got two more springs. I see it. And there's more stuff that way, too. Catch a rod. And I think that's an ant. Mm, no, it's not. We're gonna get a new piece of information on the historical data of this place too. Gosh, time flies. I'm looking at this, I'm like another 45 minutes just going through this area. Like, you can get, like, you, I don't know. There's just, I feel like I'm doing a lot and at the same time I'm still, oh shoot. You'd think you could get a lot more done in that time. History. Here we go. And one more life spring. The rise of the gold saucer. Here we go. New intel available. All right. The tale of the gold saucer began with a Shinra employee named Dio, who convinced the company to build a museum called the Reliquary? Reliquary? 
Although it was doomed to failure, Dio was not to be deterred, and he set about founding the world's largest theme park, which he first conceived as a small-scale fairground. In the wake of the Corel Mako reactor explosion four years ago, four years ago, um, plans were set in motion to revitalize the local economy. Hearing this, Dio decided to relocate his fairgrounds to the region, eventually transforming into a state-of-the-art entertainment complex. That's a great way to describe it. It's not even quite an amusement park as much as a state-of-the-art entertainment complex. Now known as the Gold Saucer, it is powered by several modular reactors, which are responsible for surrounding areas acceleration, desertification. In light of this, the reactors are now run at minimum output in an attempt to mitigate further damage to the environment. Hmm. I like it. Let's go over here. And Dio really did... He has done a lot of good for this area. I mean, there's still people wanting to come to not only drain water drift, two treasures. He's really allowed there to be more traffic in the area. I think awareness of Corel in general, and it has become a vacation spot from Costa del Sol to, oh, from Costa del Sol to the gold saucer, it's brought, you know, some tourism back into the area, which is it's a good thing. I think there might be one up top, if I had to guess. We need to go topside on this. We get back to the buggy. It's a lot of water down below. So if we're going further south, I'm just trying to see this. Hold on. I want to see the map. So further south of the world, this area, we're going to be headed there. And then I think also this will be the other area that we get to explore. There's going to be so much to cover. I think, I hope. This is just everything I hoped it to be and more. All right, let's try to go top side. And we should see an activation point. There. Activation point. Wait, there's proto relic stuff. There, that cave. Proto relic parts in this cave. But we need to figure out how to get up there. Over here. Okay. We need to use our grappling hook. Mm hmm. Yuffie brought a lot to the team. Okay, just press L2. I have to be able to see it first. Nice. Wow, look at all of that too. We gotta go over there. Surely there's some items to be acquired. And another one. Hmm. Oh, we need to grab the other one. I think I like the variety here. Like there's the grasslands, like each of the areas kind of add a little bit more and give you more to explore and different kind of ways to go about it. But this one has the most like diverse settings and you get to swing places. You've got all sorts of different creatures. You've got lots of climb, like you've got heights to climb. Corel has brought just a whole nother level of exploration. All right, circle X, circle, circle X, circle. Circle like circle, circle like circle. Commence. <sighs> circle X, circle. Circle X. Oh, spa. oh, I missed it. <laughs> no, retry, retry, retry. Circle X, circle, circle X, circle. Circle X, circle. Circle X, circle. There we go. I missed the circle on the way back. Whew. Alexander soon. You guys know we're going to have to do a... I think at the start of the next one, we'll do a Chadley time. We'll try to dedicate some time to taking out some of these creatures. That's it. Uh, wait, no, there's one more. There's one more piece. There's one more piece to Alexander, I think. Well done. That I think. concludes our thrilling analysis of no. the Corel Summon Crystals. Wait, that's it. I can't tell you how grateful I oh. am for everything you've helped me learn about Alexander. Wow. Thank you. Ah. Though you have yet to obtain the requisite materia, as I recall, you'll yeah. first need to confront the divine via the combat simulator. 
We're gonna need to do that. Maybe we'll do that in this video. Maybe this video will be just a total, I think a total catch up on everything. Uh, let's pop over here. Cause I think this is gonna give us some stuff. Noise. And then use this guy. Beautiful. And I think, no, this isn't popping up as something. Never mind. I, I don't think you can really do anything here. Mm -mm. Unless, no, because there's a fence here. Yeah. Just a big, massive hunk of something. All right, let's go to that uh, activation site. Grab those materials. And run over all of this? It's <laughs> thinking kind of actually full send a little bit. The speed. Should be right through here. It's back, back. Never mind. I missed it. Full speed ahead. Hold on though. We need to go right here to this reactor. Or this, I keep saying reactors, but the pipelines. Nice, grab these. Go through here. And there should be... The sh hmm. So where would that other chest be? <gasps> what is that? That's gotta be where the King Tonberry is. Oh no. That has gotta be King Tonberry territory, guys. There is no way it isn't. Oh yeah. That is so King Tonberry. I think... Trying to... Yeah, we wanna actually fully explore this. This is not good. I'm gonna get my butt handed to me by Tonberry. What? Oh my gosh. Wow, he dodged those. He normally can't dodge those. There it is. All right, let me shake it, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Shake it out. Come on. Nice. All right, let's do a charging uppercut. If I can. Nice. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's check this area out. I'm a little nervous, but I think we can do it. It's like a Coliseum for Tonbury, probably. I wonder what the uh, environment's gonna look like further south. Is it gonna be even more of a desert? Or there's like a desert in between two luscious areas, such as Costa del Sol and then whatever's down below? What in the world? Okay. <sighs> hmm. Okay, never mind. That's weird. There is definitely something here. Raise the cactus statue? Wait, let me see this. I want, oh, it's so that way. Hold on. It's kind of glitching right there. This isn't where the King Tomber is. Okay, let me call, you cannot ride the buggy here? Yeah, but surely the buggy appears close to us. Oh, I can just go back over here. You cannot call the buggy here. I could ride the buggy here, but I just can't. Okay, maybe there's not enough space for it, or maybe it's stuck. Over right here. We haven't run into anything that looks like a Tonbury, though. There's a boat looking thing over there. Is that where it came from? Let me call this. Hmm. I don't know. I think we should go spend a little bit of time because I can't, I'm gonna have to do this in two different recordings. Oh wait, let's go to that activation point real quick. But then I think I wanna go back to, let me go over here. 
Wait, I can't go through this canyon. Hold on. Then I want to go back to the gold saucer and do a little bit. Mm. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. All right, we need to go this way. This way, across the way, and then over. I was really thinking that a chest would be here, but I guess it really is isolated to that lower area, which means I'm gonna have to go back there. We're here. Nice, there's some stuff up top too. Yeah. So many cactuars. Okay, these guys are easy. Get an uppercut. What is it, fire? I should know by now. Why am I not able to do spells? Am I missing something with her? Okay, I'm bridled. Fire sting. Oh. Oh, it hurts us. Nice. Okay, do I see impulse? Chill out. There. Chill out's not gonna do anything here. Nice stagger, Keep beautiful. And then we're gonna do Umbridal. I gotta remember to do my quick strikes with her. Braver. Let's go ATV boost. Oh, ow. I did get my ATV boost off. Nice, Braver. Oh, Cloud might go down here soon. Take it from here. Need my help. Let's do a maximum fury. Hope you don't mind if I fill you for the hole. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go. <laughs> nice. All right, we're gonna need to do items. We might as well go potions. Mm, let's do a. I don't. I need to save my miss potions. Might as well go mega potions. I have thirty. It's nicer to save them during fights, but it's okay. We have so many. Activation tower. Um, I need to swing across to get to it. Complicated tower. Okay, I say we go do the battle. The battle. There we go. We'll do the battles first, and then we'll leave. Oh, cool. I'm gonna leave the... I'm not doing the best at Queen's Blood inside of Gold Saucer. It's giving me a real difficult time. Mm. Oh. What do we see? Probably nothing. Yeah, I was like, we probably ran into all of it, mostly. Nice, though. Riverside Tower complete. We've got one more tower on that. Yeah, one more tower down here. And then we're gonna go over here and run down reactor. Okay, we're actually kind of closing in, but we are gonna go back. We're gonna check back on this to see because we could complete the side mission too. So complete side mission, do maybe like one or two battles and then I'm gonna have to skedaddle and oh no. There's creatures here. And then I'll finish this up on another day. Do, do, do. Yeah, the Cactuar statues too, we're gonna have to do next time. Is he there? Hey, I don't think he's there. Yeah, I, I think it just brought other creatures. It's probably back of the third one. I got this. Now, Let's go ATB just boost. Braver, Storm Diffusion. These are wind. And then let's do a keep in pressure and try to nice staggered. Let's finish this. Take him down. Very efficient. Alright, let's do focus shot on him. I'm not so worried about. I'm not so worried. Let's do focus strike. Okay, he's staggered and then. Never mind. Fiends have eaten the bait and ruined the trap. We've got more. So we need to go back to the other traps. Dang. Poor bird. I guess the faster way would be maybe here. Fast travel here. I should have gotten in the buggy. 
Aww. Call forth the buggy. This one's gonna be fiend infested too. It'll be the third trap that he's at. Hmm. Let's see. We need to go this way. So I think we just need, oh, wow. Nope, I'm leaving him alone. Nope. Uh, this way. What? Stop! Stop! <laughs> Alright. I second what Barry said. So rude, Sam Worm. So rude. Actually, we're crushing him, though. Don't overdo it. Alright, he's going. He's going to Owo! Barrett! No! That was quick. Focus. Okay, TB boost. Kind of get it. Nice. Let's do focus the rest. Earthquake. Mmm. Unbridled strength. Holy cow. Seven. There we go, staggered. Alright, well, Barrett's back. Barrett, you want to uppercut him? Nothing to it. Somebody leveled up. Landworm defeated, but somebody leveled up who? I'm actually starting to run out of potions. I'm going to save all my good potions for later. Let's go ahead and do a cure on Cloud. Spells, Kira on Barret. And spells, Kira on Tifa. And that's all my MP. So rude. Sneak attack. The music here is nice. Another fiend. Wait. No, just nothing. Wait. Looks the same as when we yeah. Then let's go and check another. Go back to the third one. Wait. Oh, was this the third trap I did? Maybe that was the third trap I did. Now I can't remember which one was the third trap I did. Oh my goodness. Uh, buggy. Buggy from here. Hmm. I seem to be able to navigate better to wherever the orange is. Oh, here we go. The suspension on that thing's disgusting. This is kind of giving me Millie feelings from Cyberpunk. It's red. I just seem to like red cars. I feel like that's what I'm drawn towards. All right, Cloud Junior, you better be here. Oh, there you I like seeing Cloud's arms move with this. No, it's gotta be the third trap. So we're gonna have to go back there, yeah. Get ready. Mm. Oh, come on, death bite. Oh. Oh, they're gonna absolutely obliterate us. Mad dash. Get him! Get him! They're gonna crush us! Oh my gosh. Ow! 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 All of my characters are gonna die. Alright, we're getting one, we're getting one. Nice. No, get him, get him, get him, get him! Nice, got one. Triple slash. Nice. There's another one. Nice. Go triple slash again. Beautiful. Mm -mm. So it's got to be the third one. I think I just went back to the wrong ones then. Because now it wants us to go back there. Oh, I did it too soon. All right. Buggy from here. All right. Let's go off the edge. Should go this way first. I just came from here. No, don't you dare. Do not touch that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, it's back this way. I can see if we can trap anything. Hey, there he is! I, we finally found our boy. I can't see him. Yes, he's here! I hope he's fine. If he's going this far out to eat, is his mom not giving him food? No! Cloud Junior! 
do, do, do. All right, gigantic bomb. We're gonna wanna, oh my gosh, get back, get back, get back, get back. Come on, step inside. Hang back. We need to assess. Uh, it's like I forgot what to do. Assess. A bomb variant with that miraculously managed to stabilize itself and survive after swelling up to its limit, and now burns at an extremely high temperature, scorching everything around it. Flicking enough ice damage when it goes in flame will pressure it when it gets HP low enough, but we have to wait for it to inflame. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Oh, he's going in flame, he's going in flame. Hold on, do I have fire? I don't think he has fire. No. Do I have anything to do a little bit of fire? Charging uppercut, so. Let me do, she has something. No, she doesn't. Overpower. Yeah, it's just Cloud. Cloud's the only one that has fire. All right, here we go. Let me do a level two. Fira. Oh. It's damaging us pretty hard. Let me get Barret to give us a fray. Oh gosh, Barret, I need you to get a heal off on us. There we go, hold on. Fray. Tifa. I got it. Hold on, Braver. I need to get a. Hold on, let me our ATV boost. Ow, 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 ow. We should be able to stagger in here. Nice, overcharge. Uh, somebody should be able to limit soon. Let me get a prey going. Here we go. Prey. Nice, prey. All right, I need to... Something is causing me to not cast spells as her. And I gotta figure it out. Braver. Nice, there we go. Oh. Wanna build up that stagger again? Focus thrust, overcharge. Mm. Let's do focus shot on him. Let's do a focus strike. We just wanna apply as much focus as possible. And then for Cloud, I want to save up to do fire in case he does that again. Cloud has limit, but hold on. Let me do focus. Nope. Oops. He's inflaming. He's inflaming. Do Fira. Fire one. I'm just a mess with what I'm saying. Ignore me. All right, here we go. We should be able to get this with the focus shot. Switch back to Cloud. Hang back. Cross. Nice. Staggered. Now inflict all that damage. Cloud. Oh, big damage. Nice. The bots are some of the most annoying ones. Hi. Cloud Jr. You recognize Barrett. He looks a little bigger. Do you think he's grown a little? Maybe. Maybe not. You had a scare, Jr. Thought you were going to wind up monster child. Oh, is that your way of saying you're good on your own? <laughs> but go straight home. To you North Corral. Now we can go back to the kids and finish that side mission. That was cute. I liked that one. Oh, oops. Hold on. Go back over here. I guess we might as well. Can we fast travel to Chadley? No. But we can fast travel to the community board. No, we can't. Just kidding. There we go. <laughs> well, that's another side mission done. That means we have two more. I think two more. Maybe three. Maybe three. He's back. Little chirpy's chick's gone missing. Huh? Hey, mister, he's back. Cloud Jr. came back. I like her little bow. Of course he did. When we found him, we said, your friends are looking for you. You head straight home. Mm-hmm. No wonder. Thank you so Just gotta much. Just got to give him more feed so he hey, never leaves. Just doing a job. Aw, they actually spoke to him, too. Do you realize Go that? On, Level boost? Someday you're going to be big and strong and scare away all the monsters. Hope I can bring Marlene back here one day. Tell her about her home and everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, you sure that's a good idea? I owe it to her father. You'll feel better, maybe, but how do you think she'll feel? Don't know, man. <sighs> he needs to, though. Transparency. Honesty. 
They're gonna do something. They're gonna say thank you or something. <laughs> What's up? My dad says we're supposed to stay away from you. Um, Sorry. That's so. <laughs> well, don't want to get you in trouble. Us old fellas gotta go. Take care, Cloud Two. No. And just when Thanks I. Thanks again for all your help, Mister. Don't mention it. The kids don't know any better. Missing Mr. Birdie. Your relationship with Barrett has deepened. We have, all right, everybody's blue except for Yuffie. We need to do more stuff with Yuffie. Oh, and also Mr. Meow Meow. Oh, I need to pop a squat. I'm taking some serious hits here. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the region. So I am going to step out and I will see you guys in another day. But it looks like we are going to be finishing up. We've got to do the phenomenons, which are hard to see, the cactuar. But also, quest-wise... Oh, no. Wait, yes. Yeah, we have three quests complete. And we're almost done with the saga of the seaside. We just have to find that Tombury, which is a little difficult to find. Deliver it to Johnny at the desert's edge. Hmm. Maybe it's somewhere further south. Bodybuilders, we might come back and start. We, I might just come back and do bodybuilding. No, I do want to go back to Gold Corral. Gold gold Saucer. Oh, my. Now I'm thinking Golden Corral because of Gold Saucer and Corral Corral. I'm a mess. I will be back and I will see you guys when I'm refreshed and rejuvenated and not tripping over my words like I always do. But we made some good headway today and we'll finish up the rest of the bits and pieces next time. I'll be right back. All right, let's head up to the gold saucer and get those mini games done. Chadley, Chadley, nice to see you. Gus, I should go back and just rip him a new one. All right, but we're above it. We're not going to do it. We're going to fast travel and relax with some mini games. Hmm. The music. Oh. Yes. Wait. Congratulations on your engagement. Let's have a big round of applause for the happy couple. Where's the cast member? Come on. I'm cracking up at the flash dance in the middle, but you know what? It's kind of romantic with the Moogles in the background. I can see it. Congratulations. I can't get in there. Where's the cast member that's talking about it? Oh, or maybe it's a cast member that's getting engaged. Right, so we need to, those are the buggies, the buggy parking. So that's where we could have parked to get up here, but whoa. Oh, never mind. I don't know why I thought it was one of the black robe. Mm. Is there anything new? The Ton Chadley as a Tonberry is my favorite. Oh, wait, I gotta go through the middle. Oh, I forgot that we have to go through this. All right, let's go Battle Square. Cast members instantly recognize me. Give your taste buds a critical hit. All right, Battle Square first. I know we're done. Are we done with the Space Invader? I think, I wonder if there's any more rides for it. We want to make sure we complete everything before moving on. I feel like the last couple chapters are going to just fly by and it's going to get really intense. So I want to make sure I'm like posturing both my heart and my head for whatever is coming next. Good morning, good morning. All right, so we can fast. Oh, I should have fast traveled. Did we get any more gold saucer points? Oh, we need to level people up. We got so many level ups. Yeah. Mm. Hold on. We should be able to level up. Is spectating not enough? Somebody has 40 points. Who has 40 points? Party level six unlocked, yeah. Yeah, but I'm gonna need 15 for most things. So I don't think we're gonna unlock anything for these characters. Except for Barrett. Barrett we could, yeah. Gale Impulse, no. United Refocus. Friendly Fire is kinda nice. I like this though, United Refocus. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wait, I could have done. Applies the regen status upon entering. Enhanced physical guard. All right, Tifa does have 15. She has weapon level five unlocked. 
Crit rate, yes, yes. But let me see everything. Y'all know the drill, I gotta look at everything. United refocus. MP recovery, weapon ability, damage up. Limit gauge. We gotta do this one. Uh, no, hold on. I can't do crit, no. Bodyguard, I don't wanna do. We'll go limit gauge first. And then as soon as we get another 15 points, we'll rock into crit. Yeah. Aerith's got 10 points, so I don't think she's gonna be able to. I know I haven't been using poor Aerith too, too much. Are these all 15? Yeah, we're gonna save up for 15. Red has five. I guess I was thinking they had a lot more. The only person who has a ton is in fact our friendly Moogle. Elemental damage, precision defense. Fills ATB gauge after blocking with perfect timing. Not sure about that one. Uh, don't quite know about that, but I need 15 for this, so I'm gonna save it for that. All right, Kate Sith. Let's do it. So Kate has weapon ability, increases ability damage by 3%. I like that for five SP. Max MP up, max HP up. Elemental by 10%. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Recover HP when dealing damage with unique abilities to stagger an enemy. All right, crit chance by 5% should go up. Then we've got 20 points to deal with. Rolling Thunder reduces damage taken by Moogle by 15%. I like that. Max MP up, but I can't unlock this. Oh, 15. Okay, we'll save up for 15. Everybody needs to save for 15. There should be quite a few challenges. Yeah, new combat challenges. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so many. You know, though, some of these are 39s, guys. I I actually think these are meant to come back to you later. This one's 33. Let's do this one. Six person bouts. I guess so. Okay. I should have split up my team. Oh, gosh. What the heck? I should have split them up. We'll do as many as we can until it kind of feels a little over level for us. Don't overdo All right, switch it. to oh, Barret. Oh. Does anybody need to upgrade their weapon? Focus shot. We need somebody to assess. Can we assess these creatures? All right, Frost, large insects uh, with voracious appetites found in mountainous regions, true omnivores. They eat everything from plants to carry on, even other insects. They possess strong legs and use them to pounce on anything that moves. I feel that. Let's see, use it to kill them. I'm sticking with Cloud, honestly. Triple slash? No. Focus on it. You're enough. Hell yeah! Not bad. I need Barret to cast a prey so we heal up a little bit. Oh, come on. No. Not the right team to do this. Get him. Get him! Let's do a storm. I keep my distance. You okay? Yeah. Make them have to keep their distance. Ow! All right, get in there. Get in there. Nice. Stagger, stagger. Vengeance. Let's go. Start us, right? Give it your all. You picked the right girl. Throw it up. You know what? Though this is a solid team too, though. To fire. Now I have assess, so let me assess the bandits. Weakness should be fire, yeah. Nice. Oh, to weakness. Alive. Holy cow. Do I have any heals? No, just. I think we're good. Yeah. That was actually easier than I thought. I mean, we took a lot of damage, but that was actually kind of fun. That's over. Ding, ding, ding. Ah. We'll do however many more of this we can do without being too over. 
are too under leveled. <sighs> These are gonna be hard. We can keep pushing the six person bouts. I like it. Six person bouts until if we're kind of over leveled. Let's go Barrett, Tifa, and Aerith. Then our other team will be Cloud, Red, and Yuffie. Although I need to use Kate Sith. This would be a great opportunity to get used to Kate Sith. Oh. All right, Barrett, put us in. <laughs> Nobody has SS on this team? You got this. I got this. Mm. Hold on, get out of there, get out of there. Omni strike. One's down. Let's do a right out again, back to back. We're trying to do. It's open. You're ready? Okay. You asked for it. Rise and fall, rise and fall. Beautiful. There. Oh. I feel like I'm constantly trying to get a or dive kick done. But not my best. I'm trying to do dive kick and it never hits them because they end up rolling away by then. I wonder if they add more later on too. Like this is the same thing as the Coliseum, which I don't think I ever went back and fought in the other Coliseum in the first part. All right, plan is usually fire. Oh, this one in particular is fire. Okay. It's on you. Nice enough. weaknesses. Now you're in Let's do Stardust Ray. I'm your and then for her, we're gonna throw out. And let's do. Never mind. Never mind. All in a day's work. <laughs> exactly, Red. Exactly. 55 golden saucer points. You get so many points from doing this. Level 37, peas in a pod. All right, we're gonna push for it. We're gonna do Cloud, Tifa, and Aerith with Barret, Red, and Kate Sith. Oh, I think I can do them if they're a little over leveled. Some of them you might fail and then you have to like re-figure out maybe like the best ex <laughs> way to exploit their fire. <laughs> You know, like when we were doing the last one, we almost had beat it, but I just don't think that I had enough MP and heals and my team was wrong. But that one was with red. I think that's why I felt like it was not going so well. Alright, smack him around a little bit. Ah! Uh, not the Zap Talons. Not the Zap Talons, no! Ow! Sorcerer Storm. I got you. Who's almost down? Tifa. All right, kill him. Nice, kill him. Cure her. Deal with that. These things are really kicking my butt. Okay, I'm going to stream. Slip inside. Got it. Get over there. Get over there. Nice. Nice. Keep the pressure. I'll take care of them. Almost pressured. Staggered. Nice. And then Punisher mode. I need to charge my controller. They did just level up though. Level 33. Does that every time you level up, do you get five SP? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Cause then we can upgrade everybody. Oh, not these guys. Snap, we gotta go with the, actually this isn't a bad, we need to go with the elite security officers. Oi! Those guys are... Grenades. Alright, let's do... Focus shot. I'm gonna leave those guys alone for now. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, nice. He's staggered. He's staggered. Get in there. Ah, they're in the middle. Give it your all. Can you wallop? Can you wallop? Here we go. Let's ride. Nice. Smack my arm a little bit. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Dude, they're healing 1500 points. We might need to kill the Shriekers first. Hold on, go this one, go this one. 
Time's up now. If you don't kill them right away, then you lose it. All right, let's pray. All right, we've got vengeance. Vengeance mode. Go, 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 siphon. Stardust Ray on Shrieker. Where did he go? He evaded it. Okay, there we go. Spin around, spin around. I don't even know what happened. I don't know. Yes, when you level up, you gain 5 SP. I, what? What? All right, level 39 may not be so difficult. What? That had to have been red. Six person scratch that. All right, we're going to go Cloud, Tifa, Aerith. And I liked that. I actually liked that grouping. Yeah, I think that was good. We just got to see what characters they throw at us. Whew. Okay, I'm going to do one more round and then I'm going to have us go over to some Queen's Blood. Three. Wait, hold on. They're doing something. I don't like it. Let's do triple slash, triple slash. Keep it together. All right. Nice. What are these susceptible to? Experimental. We need to actually assess to know. Unbridled strength. Beat him up. Beat him up. Punch him up. Punch him up. Staggered. Give him your all. Dive kick. Just kidding. Focus strike. Dive kick. Nice. One, 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 one. Uppercut. Nice. All right, they're about to do something. Deafening. Yeah. So it's my turn. Oh snap! Come on. My turn. Get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. Whoa, Tifa and Aerith both fell unconscious there for a second, but I got out of it, so we survived. Barely. Do they explode when they do the shriek? They must, ah, I think it causes them to implode. Oh, jelly wellies. And, oh, one of those scuttle butts. I hate those guys. Oh no. All right, crown lances we should be able to take out. Easy peasy. Steel skin. Thunder. That's fine. He's dodging all of that. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Hurry up. Come on. Get your ass. Nice. All right. There we go. We need to not hit him from the backside. <laughs> hit him with fire. Uh, go, kitty wallop. Go. Nice. We need to wait for him to, uh, I'm gonna go Blizzera. Even though it casts it, it's not gonna be, yeah, it's resistant to it. Not the best thing to hit it with. Not bad. Hit it with its weakness. Only the strong Or it's, uh, least resistance. <laughs> Red whenever he makes that noise. Okay, we got a Steadfast Block Necklace, I think. I love how they're starting to give us items for uh, Materia, like items that are maxed Materia. Grab bag, that's what we got from that. All right, this is 80 Gold Saucer Points. A series of six persons bouts in which you pick two times. Da -na 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 -na. Uh -huh. Okay, do we just do it? We could see, we might be able to. Mm, I'm gonna bring Yuffie, there we go. I think we might be able to work through the six-person bouts. It's the red, the one where it's cloud and red that I'm not so sure about. Oh my goodness, Cockatrice. Cockatrice! Oh. We do probably... Oh, we probably want to work on this. Yeah, the zoo. Heavenly Ascent. I need a Heavenly Ascent. Thanks. Yeah, keep bringing me up there. Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Let's do. I didn't do spells. Let's do focus strike on it. You're up. I'll show you what I can do. Get away from Aerith. Go on. Cloud is going down. Cloud's going down. Cloud, don't do it. One more shot. Hold on. I should be able to. She does. She doesn't have a heal. She doesn't have a heal or anything. Lustra shield on Cloud. Great. Hold on. Let me go spells cure on myself. Because I'm the only one who can cure. Yeah, level 39 doesn't mess around, guys. Level 39 does not play. Take the lead. Okay, let's go. 
There we go, stagger. Keep it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dive kick on the zoo. Let's do a arcane ward on. I guess myself. Ow! 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 Hold on. Oh, cloud stone. Cloud stone, guys. Holy cow, cloud of stone. That's not good. Oh no. How do we get Cloud out of that? Petrifying fog. No, Tifa, you can't go down. Tifa, you can't do this. We need to summon Leviathan. Cloud and Tifa Sorry, are almost done. I know it's sudden. Tifa has our limit. We could kill the zoo. Hold on. Limit somersault on the zoo. Let's finish this. So it's my turn? Get away, cockatrice! Tifa's down, Tifa's down. Tifa's down. No. What the? It's bad news, bears. I'm feeling pretty weak. Oh, level 39 is insane. I can't bring any of them back up. Yeah. Level 39 is crazy. I mean, that is, a, I mean, it's six levels higher than we are. It stands to reason it'd be a little difficult. Uh, all right, I'm going to step away from that for a second. I think we should level up a little bit more before we come back. Doing a couple levels ahead wasn't horrible. If we do want a challenge, of course we can do it, but I'm going to actually step away. When you want to throw down. When you want to throw down. But everybody can level up. Most people. Save for two. All right, Cloud, what do we got? Melee Blade. Hold the button to gather strength and team up with your partner to unleash a charged attack. No. United Refocus, no. Increases defense by 10% while in Punisher. I like that. And that will open the door to a lot of other things. Yeah, look at that. Max HP up by what? 200. Recovery rate and then ATB charge up rate is what we want to go for, ultimately. All right, Barrett and Tifa, no. Aerith. Increases the duration of inflicted detrimental status by 10%. I kind of like that. Wait, sweet and sour salvo. Baron and Aerith strike opposed and unleash a ranged attack. I kind of like that. Increases war duration by 25% or, or this one, basically. I like the debuff extension. Yeah, I think debuff for her. Red needs 15 points. Yuffie. Fills ATB gauge with perfect. Mm. Let's do this one. Mm. To get to the debuff duration. Kate Sith doesn't have anything. All right. I'll take it. I like it. I like it. Is spectating not enough? Uh, no, is not no enough more. Way. No more. All get right. Let's go buy some right stuff. Do we have any more plushies we still need to buy? Gold saucer points for fabulous prizes. Any more plushies? Let's see. Oh, there's new races. We need to do the races. Yes, we need to do the races. I have 295 points. Hmm. I guess I should just go ahead and finish some of these. All right, Battle Square is done. Unless more things become... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. 2,500 for level boost? That's fair. That's a lot. That is a lot. All right, we'll go ahead and grab the 3D Brawler. Oh, we need so many other points, guys. So many points. The Dio t-shirt. Okay, let's head back over to... Where would you like to go, Battle Square, Speed Square. Should we just go ahead and do the Speed Square? Event Square. Can we go back to the Sky Wheel? Is there something to see there? Wonderment has a lot of our stuff. Golden Theater. I don't think... I don't think there's anything Hold to see, but I want to go low. <clears throat> like, I'm wondering if Andrea is performing or we get to see it. Or we can join in a performance. And here we are! Oh. No. Oh, uh, no. Alright. Never mind. I say Speed Square and we do... Wait, Chocobo, not Speed Square. I think Chocobo Square. But let me see if there's any more races for this. Welcome, cadets, to Space We've arrived at your destination. It probably will tell us if there's something new. Let me see. 
Many formidable fiends stand in our way. Ma'am? No, we've already beat it all. Oh man. I was hoping for more galactic quests. That's okay. Alright, so Speedway is done. Let's do Chocobo Races. Your actions will decide not only the outcome of this war, but the, this war, of, the, but the fate of the galaxy. Chocobo Square. Woo! Ah, it's time to get back to our roots, Mario Kart. We'll do a little bit of this, a little bit of Queen's Blood. We should be able to earn a lot of money from this too, or Moogle points. Hi! Which of these races will you be competing in? Oh no. Grade three. Maiden. I guess that's the only one we can do. Three lap races held in short tracks. I could do an entire video of just this for y'all. They're called Car Carbuncle Classic. A leisurely race that always leaves this jockey feeling refreshed. That said, watch out for the hairpin turn at the end. Boost your speed by stepping on the dash panels. <laughs> Whoa, you can use your other... No, Pico ride or die. Pico till the end. All right, I actually liked Curie's. Curie's kit was good. You could always do a little bit of both. Wait a minute, why would we not mix it up and get multiple things, right? So like we could do Merc legs increases affected dash panels while doing Ooh, increases the efficiency of item pickup tropical shawl Oh, acceleration intelligence or we need to up our speed and our rodeo hat Dramatically increases. I'm gonna do this Hmm. I think it's good to mix it up instead of doing all the same. Although maybe you get a bigger boost if you use the entire set. Okay, so remember when I said we were gonna do all of this stuff before we move forward? I don't know if it's gonna be possible. I don't think we're gonna be able to. Ginger, what are you doing? Yeah, I think we're gonna most likely. All right, extra speed up, slow down and drift. I gotta remember to drift. Go, go baby, go. No, oh, no, they're getting all of the tokens. Okay, this is the same one that we did at the beginning. So we know this track. We know this track. We know this track. Nice. Double speed, double speed. Beautiful. Fly. Oh, I missed one. Come on. Nice. Got it, got it, got it. Get that little... Ah, I'm so close to the speed. Nice. Upper speed. Speed boost. Go, 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 go. Drift! Drift! Nice, I smacked somebody. Beautiful. Speed is going well. Drift! Perfect. Come on. We need to dash. Get a dash in. Come on, get two of these. That first place person's disgusting. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Panel pro. Dun, 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 dun. We can get two of these. Nice. Nice. Get that speed boost ready and glide. Speed boost glide. Love it. Gosh, they're so fast. I'm hitting nearly everything. We just got two of those. Dash. Let's go speed ultimately. Dash. Come on. I need to save my dashes for later too. He hit the speeds. All right. Go this way. Nice. Tight corners. There we go. That's it. That's it. That's it. And go! Smack him! Smack him! We have one more lap. One more lap. Type formation. Let's do a dash. Speed boost. Come on. You got this, baby. Should I have kept the speed boost for later? I don't know. Let's try to get both of these. One. Two. Tight corners, tight corners. Beautiful. No! All right, they're pretty far behind me, but I don't want to say that it's in the bag. Let's get the speed. Ding, ding, ding. I'm gonna try to get this and this one. All right, here we go, do a little glide. I like the glide to glides. And as soon as we get there, try to do a dash, here we go. 
Last one. Turn! You got this, baby. You got this. Dash. Easy. Easy. Woo! Actually, the last one wrap. The last... Oh my gosh, the last lap was my best. 70 gold saucer points. Woo! Moogle Oaks. All right, this is a whole new track, though. I'm not familiar with this. Takes jockeys on Kupo, Sedley, Quicktor. What? Wait. Quitacular. There it is. Jaunt through a forest where Moogles once frolicked. The conveyor belts help or hinder, depending on which way their arrows point. <laughs> I'm going to go. I like that. I think that was a good set. It was like the heavy weight helped us kind of keep us grounded on those like drifts while the other things kind of help us out a little bit too. Getting that boost on those platforms. This is awesome. <laughs> and go. Can you burn out? Go, go, go. Heavy weight curator. Oi, oi. Get out of here. Just wait. I'm going to make a comeback. All right, we're flying. Try to land through these. Oh no, I missed that one. Nice though. Okay, we got it, we got it. Mm. Beautiful, get a dash in there. Oh, I should have gotten two there. Moogle magic. Try to hit all of these. Nice, that was great capturing all those. Quit, quit. Nice. Back-to-back -back spins. Oh my gosh, the drifts are insane. How do you jump? Are you supposed to jump? Uh, we should have let somebody else break through those. Nice. Get that speed. Drift. Don't go off the track, baby. Come on. Mm. Okay, that's not a bad track. It's actually pretty easy. Yeah, I think we'll do well with that. We just gotta hit some drifts more. Okay, so I'm seeing the tracks, but it doesn't look like I'm running into any that are not helping me. That's the path right there, just completely cut across. Oh yeah. The music change in these two. Nice boost, good, good, good. Try to collect two. We got three there. Try to give a speed boost here. Here's the right track. Okay, none of those look like they're kicking you back, though. You know how they said how some work against you? I'm not really seeing that. Oh, drift, baby! Drift! We're going for a speed in the long run. I think it's better to collect these. <sighs> My nerves can't handle these mini games. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna do one more race and then probably go to... Wow, we're really ahead. Yeah, do one more race and then we'll probably go to uh, Queen's Blood. Nice last lap. I think we've got this in the bag, guys. All right, straight across. Beautiful. Hit it. No, look at that lead. I absolutely wiped them. My Chocobo is the best. Pico get a speed boost just kind of add to it a little bit and drift whoa that was close that was close and drift not the one mm. get a little mad dash going dude our speed is full I like that they do stop it at 10 though because I guess it would be kind of ridiculous if you could keep stacking it up but look at this, I'm almost halfway. Oh my gosh. Yeah, next question. <laughs> Pico, you're amazing. Gold Saucer 75, tell me y'all's kits down below. I wanna hear what you guys did. Promoted to bronze. The Cactuar Derby, I read that as Cactuar Daddy. Held on the grounds were many <laughs> cactuar sharing their famously fast legs. Watch which way the saucers spin to keep up your speed. Okay, all right. We'll do one more race. Go do some uh, 
Queen's blood. I do think it's really hard to binge all of this. I think at first I didn't realize how much there was going to be made available to us. So I was thinking I could do it all in this video, but I just think that I'd get exhausted by it too. Death by mini games. It'll be nice to come back after a couple, a couple chapters, you know? Go! Go, 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 go! Hey, watch yourself. Oh shoot, I missed all of those. Oh no. My choco baby. There we go, got that. We're going left side. You can get that dash. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Get two here, get two here. We want to get to 10 speed max. Oh gosh. All right, it's going this way. Oh no. Whee! Going through the water, going through the water. Oh, slows down everybody, I'm assuming though. All right, we're still at 10 speed. And we got the wise. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Nice, we got that speed boost. It's really hard to tell when to do the speed boost though. There's not a lot of straightaways. I guess this is a good part. Straightaways. I guess when we go through the water. Here we go. Right? Ding, ding, ding. Oh, wait, we're good. As long as we keep this lead, we're good. I want those reds specifically. And that yellow. All right, let's get that speed boost while we're going through the water. Nice. Beautiful. All right, let's get a speed boost, kind of push up here. Let's get some more reds. The strategy. Is it a different song for each track too? Wing. Red. Our speed's max, so we don't need to worry about the blues anymore. We just gotta focus on that victory. All right, get the reds, get the reds, get the reds. That's a nice speed boost too. This will be our best lap yet, I think. Go for the red. We'll speed boost as soon as we get out of this. Dash through the water, dash. All right, speed boost, here we go. And GG. Woo! You can't touch this. Dun, 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 dun. 90 points too. Granted, I know they're the easy maps, but still. The bomb blowout. Oh, we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back. Three out of nine races total. Please remember that you are always welcome here, sir. Thank you. Wait, wait. Hey there. Wait. You treating your chocobos right? Yes, I need more parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. All right, let's just go ahead and get these. Wait, golden plumes. Wait a minute. I feel like this is an upcharge. Didn't they used to be one golden bloom? Catch you later. I don't know if I trust that. I think they used to be one golden bloom. Golden chalky card. Golden jockey, chocobo jockey. All right, we have 100 points. We could buy the Celerus and be done with Speed Square. All right, Speed Square is, oh, you can continue to buy more. Oh, there's unlimited in stock, I'm assuming. That's silly. All right, the bike. Oh, we need to get the saucer card. We have to get the saucer card and the haunted hotel card. Okay. Let's go to the Wonder Park and do some Queen's Blood. And then I guess we'll probably get back to some side quests. Oh, we should go see Jules. I do, yeah, we should go see Jules. I just am not looking forward to getting my butt kicked, but we'll do Jules. We'll finish the Tomberry. Oh, we could do the race again as well. I might be able to win the race. Yeah. Got your, deck in order. Got your deck in order. Okay, we can do this. I don't even think we faced off against Chadley. I can't remember, but I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick too. Oh, and we just unlocked boot camp as well because we're level five. That's right, we got locked out of these and we had to level up. That's right. All right, I'll be right back. 
All right, support Chadley card, Chadley the Callous. Start with Chadley who unleashes a powerful effect when he replaces an ally. In addition to the other card in your hand, channel your inner robotic research assistant by getting the gears turning in your head. I guess I'll do this one and we'll see what happens. Oh, I do have other cards though. I do want to see my other cards. I have like specials. Yeah, the Space Rangers, which is pretty cool. We should have just gotten some other cards from the track as well. I should see new next to them. Here, look at this one, Chocobo Jockey. It's gotta have a special to it. Yeah. Toggle details. When hit, wait, wait, when you win a lane, receive a score bonus of 10 points. I'm adding it, that's broken. The Joker, we did just get to. Oh my gosh, cat hair everywhere. Ifrit, Dio. Raise power by one for each other uh, enhanced allied card. That feels very Dio. Possesses a crystal hard resolve and an overwhelming amount of power. But it's saying I can't add it. Oh, I already have it, that's why. <clears throat> Oops. I still haven't tried this Grand Horn. I kinda wanna add it too. All right, let me go to the top and then remove a couple. I would say remove one. Let me get rid of this. Maybe remove. Let's do one of the fleet wings and the grasslands wolf. Okay. Let's try it. Ooh, okay. Um, <clears throat> I think I'll probably keep the lever con. I think I'll keep everything. Yeah, oops. Play into it. Do you mean? I would say lever con, or do we want to go ahead and push for a getting? Huh. I would go lever con. Okay, we see Chadley. Raise the allied effectiveness. I want to check this. Okay, so we want to most likely place them right here in the middle right there. I can get a three on right there. That would be kind of nice. Can already get three right there. Let's do that. That Zem might be kind of nice. Ooh. Or... But he could potentially wipe me out. And get two points there. Mm. How do we want to do this? So the only thing is he's going to take that back. I would almost see what he does here. But then he's going to... Let me do this. Let me see what play he makes. He might be able to change. Oh, no, that's good. Oh, interesting. Maybe the cappy wire. He might still be able to change it. Or should I go up here? I would say here. Can you use the fleet wing and get two points right there. That's a good, good move, good move. Let me go fleet wing here and get two points right there. Or, mm, or change right here and then, yeah, let's do that. He'd have to have a diagonal to be able to get that back. I'm not winning bottom row as of right now. Chadley. Interesting card use. Okay. Interesting. Oh my gosh, I can win the bottom row if I place Chadley right there. Whoo. All right, well, I really only have my this one, which is fine, because I think if I place a double, let me do this. Yeah, let's do this. He's going to play this swing right there. And now I should be able to get. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Zem, Zem will give me two right there, but I honestly want to transform that one. Yeah, but then I'm going to lose my ability to place. Oh, yeah, Titan, of course. Watch this, this is gonna be my highest point game ever, I think. Okay, ready? This should be my highest point game. I'm winning this row and I'm gonna get 10 points from that. I believe. 
And then what we're gonna do is burn. We're gonna, mm, We're gonna place Chadley there. Yeah. Did I already place my three? I did. Mm. I think it empowers where you just can burn all of these. So like, for example, I could burn one of these cards and get even more points, I think. Let me see. Destroy an allied card and replace it. Mm. I mean, that's not gonna do a whole lot, but. All right, let's place Chadley there. He can't do anything. And then we're gonna place a... Burn that. And now we just got a Heat Seeker minion? What is a Heat Seeker minion? And a Cappy Wire. But that will reduce the other ones. Is there a way for me to win this total row? No, not even if I did that. Interesting. Yeah, because that's not going to empower any of them. That's okay. He won one row. But in the end, what is that? 27? I see. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's my highest. I think my highest win ever. 42? I don't think I've ever seen anything higher. Chadley the Callus is amazing. But you don't get to keep him. When played, destroy allied and enemy affected tiles. But wait, wait, so you don't always get Cal- Ugh, Chadley would be such a broken card. Ah, all right, Ifrit's 32-bit flames. Begin the match with the polygonal Ifrit placed at the center of the battlefield. This flame-shaping summon puts players through a trial by fire as he enhances any cards, be they allied or enemy, on the affected tiles. Oh gosh, okay. Mm, let me see. Yeah, so we didn't get to keep Chadley. They probably knew he was broken. All right, I'm gonna keep with the deck that I have. I'm happy with it. I think. Do, 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 do. Okay, so Ifrit right there is definitely changing it up a little bit. I think I might toss the fleet wing. No, I'll roll with it, I'll roll with it. All right, I mean, it's only giving two points. How bad can that be? He's got the Space Trooper. I love that card. That's such a strong card. I probably should add that to my grouping. Hmm. Can go with the zoo. It definitely can change things around, that's for sure. If I had a diagonal. I want to go arch dragon no i do kind of like that i think that's nice and what will happen i just gave him bonus points didn't i i'm pretty sure i just gave him bonuses i wanted him to place down below hmm doom, 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 doom. i'm gonna burn this yeah, I'm gonna burn this. Crystalline Crab. He's not trying to take that over, which is interesting. Hmm. I could definitely get five points here and then make sure he has to press next. Yeah, let's stop him from being able to go anywhere else. All right, he's trying to take that over, so I need to claim that back. I'm gonna have to waste a trooper like this for it, but... Or the Levercon. Mithril, I'll be able to win the bottom row. I just have to win the top row somehow. I'm gonna have to take that over. <clears throat> I don't know, I think he might get it in the bag. He changed it back, he had a Zubat. No. I didn't win. Dang it. He had one of the stupid bee drills that changed from across the way. 
That was good. That was good. I'll give it to him. He won all rows. We got to get in there with different cards. I think I might want to use a different set or maybe like, like, for example, the Chocobo Jockey would have been useful there. I don't know. I think there were definitely, I think this is a good set and I can do it differently. So let's just reset. I would say rematch and oh, let's put the, what was that one card I wanted to put? We do want Queen Bees. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I might take out the Sand Spitter. No, oh, the Sand Spitter is still good. Uh, I'm going to take out this guy. Let's place. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What did he place that I was like, oh, damn, that's such a good card. Oh, the uh, uh, Space Trooper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, if you start out with Space Trooper, you can do some damage. Mm hmm. Mm. That's a weird taste. Okay. The mithril is just so, so I'm gonna, I feel dirty doing that because if I did, if I did it somewhere else, it'd be so strong. I know. I know. I'd really like to place him there. So I'm actually going to get us out like this. Okay, interesting start. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's start getting points on the board, trying to take over some of those positions. Is there a chocobo there? Let's do Titan here. I have another capywire. All right, let's do that capywire to take that back. It's gonna reduce my points up above, but I think it's worth it. Mm, yeah. It's gonna reduce it by one point, but still, still good, still good. He's capy wiring. So that means he's pressing my top. I would say place this. I could have taken, ah. Uh, I should have taken it back. He changed it. Dang it, the stupid bee drills. Oh my gosh, I need to do better with that. What am I doing? Ah, uh, what am I doing? I mean, I, I mean, I can see if I can potentially still win. It's doubtful. I mean, he'd have to place, yeah, he's got some strong, strong heavy hitters and he hasn't even placed them all yet. No, he's gonna win middle row. And I won top row, but barely. Yeah, he already won. Damn it. Dang it, I have to remember he has those silly bee drills. And they're one point cards too, so I played that wrong. What I should have done is taken over that card. Disgusting, disgusting. All right, rematch because we're almost done with all of these. I think my cards are good. I'm happy with my deck. I just have to be better. Do better, be better, boy. Uh, I would say just the fleet wing maybe, yeah. The Levercon. I could go Levercron right here. I like that. I wasn't upset with how I started it. I just did a wrong move later on. Capywire down below? Like that's not making use of your Capywire. Hmm. I'm trying to get out ahead and take one of the sides. Crystalline, he's pushing bottom. Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna let him push bottom as I can't do anything else because I only have two player cards. He's gonna take that over, which means he's gonna win bottom row. But maybe I can bum rush, bum rush top row, maybe? Cappy wire down below. Okay. Do I have the changing from across the way? Yes, I do but that's gonna cut me off and I'm not gonna be able to go any further. That's the only downside to this is I think we should keep pressing forward. Yeah, I think we need to create pushing into his row. Unless he has like a, yep, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna place a chocobo jockey next. Does he, can he switch diagonal? No. So we chocobo jockey here, but he's gonna be able to change that back. 
Ugh. But I think I can win the row and get 10 points from that. So this is still a possible victory. So he changed it back just like I thought. I can change this back at the cost of one of mine, but that's worth it. So I got that back. I think we can still do this. Okay, that's fine. He's got massive multipliers happening. That's going to reduce his guy there. Let me think. Mm. Either five points or five points and reduce his, I think, a little bit. Right? Reduce it from eight to five. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's nice. And then he's placing there. But remember, I've got 24 points on the board. He has 24 points. So if, ah, uh, shoot. I just need to get more points on top row somehow. This is a three for a three. We tied, which I don't know what happens if we tie. I think he wins if we tie, I want to say. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, there's really not a lot that I can do. Damn it. I tied him just barely. 24 to 24. No, he had 25 points. I added wrong. He had 11 points. Damn it. It was so close. We were so close, guys. See, I'm telling you, it's all about just where I place. Ah, sneaky. I'm still happy with it. I'm, I'm going to press forward with it. I think we can do it. It's just going to take the right moment, the right card. Mm, mm. I think I should ditch the fleet wing next. Leprechaun's worth two points though. Okay. Play. Whew. All right, Heat Seeker. I do like that, that's a good card. But it's worth only one point. I would say Heat Seeker top. We need to start taking advantage of the fact that the middle row, he can only push so far forward, you know? He can take that back pretty easily, so I do want to be cautious of that. That would just eliminate the card right there. I don't love this start, but those aren't the bonus cards. All that matters is that middle row. Okay, he copied. He's mimicking. Okay, let's do this. He's gonna take over my, I need more diagonals. That's what we need to do. Space Trooper is gonna take that over and the entire top slot. That's disgusting. He's gonna take that over. So it's in the bag for him. I mean, look at that. If I place here, I could do this. It will reduce my points, but I need him to place first so I can, oh. He wants to do the takeover card right there. Probably. I don't trust it. Hmm. I could try to make him pressure. I could try to pressure him first. Oh, wait. Oh, but then, ah, uh, but it's basically like, do I want to win bottom row or top row or, ah, uh, let me see. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Okay. We would have to win that row to get the 10 extra points. Okay, I'm gonna place it, and I'm gonna hope that he doesn't have a diagonal. He doesn't, so is there any way that I can get that back? Okay, this is where it gets interesting. Hmm. I think, first of all, we need to solidify the victory here so that I can get those extra points. So now we're sitting at 21 points. He has 22 points. Is there any way for me to take over a row? No! 
No. Nope. Oh my gosh. I keep getting so damn close to him. Like, so close. He won by one again, and all I needed was that mithril. If I had that mithril and could have placed right there, I would have won! Oh, you guys are watching me descend into madness over here. 21 points. We need to do some diagonals. I need to switch up something. Something. That was so damn close. All right, let's edit our deck. Who do I want to get rid of? The Leprechaun, I'm not feeling. Uh, same with the security officer. I shouldn't have any, like, one level points. I like the Space Ranger, which I feel like I never get. I have not pulled the Space Ranger since adding him. We'll keep the... Nope. Mm. Mithril takes forever to get. I think there's some better level three cards, too. Like, honestly... Landworm's pretty cool. What does he do? When an enemy card... When enemy cards are destroyed, it raises the power by two. When enemy cards are played from the hand, raise cards power by one. That's kind of nice. Lower the power of enemy cards on the effect of tiles. I kind of like the idea of the Hellrider. We can see. We can try Hellrider. And let's do... Joker similar to Sandspitter, no? Let's bring the Thug in. And then I need two level one cards. Okay, let's do Posh Chocobo. We love Posh Chocobo and Chocobo Moogle. Okay, let's try this. <sighs> let's do it. Oh. Let's go. I got this. Mm. So like the cards you wish to mulligan. <clears throat> this one I'm gonna have to like gun for it. None of them are particularly bad, so let's keep it. We'll keep. Ugh. None of them are giving me double up cards. That's the only thing. We'll do this. Hopefully I get one of the cappy wires. Space Trooper. I have that and I've never seen it my entire time. Oh, a cappy wire, I'm sure. The thug could be interesting. I like that. Hold on, I'm gonna place the thug down below. I know I just removed a point from Chocobo, but... Hmm. I like that thug card. Yeah. Which, he's worth four points, and I should have placed him somewhere else. All right, he cactuard, which is good, because we're gonna take over that. This is good, this is good. We need to make sure we're winning this row specifically if we want to make the most of this. That just gave him bonus points. All right, he's going chocobo. We need to do something dramatic. Something that gets us enough points on this row. Removing him would make him have to go defense. I like that, remove it. He's gonna have to go defense if he wants to be able to save that. He's not! He's calling me on my bluff, guys. He's calling me on my bluff. Oh my gosh, all right. He's putting me on the defense. I either take it back and lose my position on top row. Oh, snap. Wait, that's a great card to have, by the way. I'm gonna have to cap you wire. And then remove my points on my guy up there, and I need as many points top row as possible. I cannot believe he's calling me on my bluff. All right, we're cappy wiring. It means that he's gonna, ah, uh, he's gonna have to change that. All right, he changed it back. But I don't think he's gonna be able to put up enough points to win. I mean, it is gonna give him two bonus points. We're still not winning this row. What the heck? That's insane. Hopefully I get the replace card. Get the replace card. Get the replace card. He just won that row. And I didn't get the replace card. I'm descending into further madness. I just needed the replace card. 
Oh my goodness. Should I have let him take my other planes? Like, should I have kept going? I don't know. This is back to back. Like, what is this? My fourth defeat? I might need to go to the tutorial first and then come back. I gotta do the other one. Get rid of this fleet wing. Why do I still have this fleet wing in my... He's not good for this situation. Unless I'm going really deep into enemy lines. I'm so annoyed right now. Posh Chocobo. Does add three to the bonus. Yeah. This is a little... All right, let's try. We'll push for it. I don't think I'm gonna place anything there. Happy wire, that's nice. Okay, we're winning that row. We're gonna make him have to defend that. He's not, he's not defending that. Wow, I actually can't place anything either though, anyway. Although if I removed, hold on, it's worth five right now. If I remove and call bluff on this, he's gonna have to change that over. But if he changes that over, wait, I bet he doesn't, do you think he even has a three card? He either has a three card or he can change it over. I'm gonna make him deal with that. Let's make him deal with that. Let's go. I don't know, it's it's so hit or miss. Either play into that. I don't know. I could get some good ground if I was able to place there. Or we do this and get some points up on the board. All right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make him have to move. He's doing it, okay. He's taking it over. But he had to burn one of his own, which could be good for him, honestly, it could be good. Will I win that row though? I wanna save that chocobo for a second. I'm not quite willing to use it yet. <sighs> Two points right there, one point right there basically four four points or I can get a three right there could technically burn that I think we should just place this here I'm going for it I need a one card okay so it's two points down there space ranger space ranger right here he's gonna be able to change that though I need him to make the next move so if that's the case I'm gonna let him make the next move I'm gonna place this here Call his bluff. Call his bluff. He's smart. Wait, he just stopped himself from being able to progress further though. Interesting. Hopefully I win middle row. He's burning some of his cards. He's burning one of his cards. Holy cow. Um, My fleet wing gets five bonus points there. He kind of screwed himself over. Dang. And then I'll just replace this one to get some bonus points. Uh, I think I get more points on that row by keeping Posh Chocobo because it gives me, yeah, it gives me 13 plus points. See, it all was a matter of luck. Sheer luck and which cards I got. Victory is ours. And 17 points. Now that's my highest I've ever done, 51 points. It came at a high cost. Materia Guardian. When first enfeebled, lower the power of the enemy cards on affected tiles by six. Holy cow, I want to just try that. All right, compete in a relatively forgiving match, spanning three rounds to see how many total points you can accrue. Win and receive a reward based on it. Oh my gosh, okay. If I do it first time, okay, 50 points. Uh, all right. Sephiroth. I need to accrue 50 points. Uh, let me go ahead and make another deck. Let me edit another deck. Remove everything. I need to accrue the most amount of points as possible. So I need multipliers. We need like multipliers. We need things to remove their cards because you get way more points if you do it the first go. Dio, what is Dio again? Raise power. Raise power by one for each enhanced ally and enemy card. 
I like that. I'm going to try that. This car is just so-so, to be honest. Giga try is so-so. What is this? When first enhanced, lower the power of allied and enemy cards affected by four. Hmm. We want to put up as many points as possible. So I do want my multipliers. I definitely want, um, definitely want that Chocobo Rider. The Chocobo Rider is disgusting. Space Ranger, yes. Chocobo Rider, where are you? Yes, Chocobo Jockey will give us 10 bonus points. Posh Chocobo would give us three bonus on that row. The Moogle Trio is actually pretty good for getting points on the board as well. Giving like advanced squares. Hmm. When allied and enemy cards are destroyed, raise this card's power by one. Could be good. I don't want to just go for high powered cards only. That's not going to be the right way either. It lowers the effective tiles. Mm, I feel like it would be smart of me to at least put a mithril golem up there. Just possibly. Hellrider. Not on the Hellrider. I like the four points that come along with that. The Tonberry would be, when allied cards are destroyed, raise this card's power by two. I mean, I could just go complete destruction on my own cards. That would be a route. And it is three rounds as well. Wait, isn't it just accrue 50 points over the course of three rounds? Not just one round, right? So I think we're fine. Yeah. I think this will be relatively easy bring one of these guys for three points and oh yeah we'll bring a sand spitter let's bring I kind of do like the ogres I think that they're really useful I'm gonna take a second ogre I'm gonna take a posh chocobo I'm gonna take two of these the cappy wires I guess that is a whole strategy that I'm sure you guys have explored is destroying everything else so that you get the most amount of points like just go destruction across the board I'm gonna bring one queen bee yeah I'm gonna bring one queen bee and a cactuar and that's 15 out of 15 okay those are a lot of high powered cards I mean there's very few cards that have only one point to begin with <gasps> look at it the loot crate oh all right, what card do we want to... We want to rush for Dio as fast as possible. So we want to keep the Cappy Wire. I would say keep Queen B. I think this is a good... I think this is good. I'm going to be able to place Dio on the third go. I did not realize that we got those. So I could be using high-powered cards right now. Right. Nice. I should have brought super high-powered cards. All right, so now Dio should start proccing for us. So raise his power by one for each allied and enemy card, I believe. Oh yeah, I don't have that guy. But strength cards specifically, they have to be strength cards. I would almost do a cappy wire. Well, he's not really gonna do a lot, but I could do what is this right now. Does he cost two points? He costs two. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I think he's rushing for top row, possibly. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is gonna put him in a... <sighs> See, I need to make sure I'm not overextending. I don't wanna overextend. Ah, uh, no, I, I think we should just place. Uh, I don't want to, though, because he would take that over. I'm going to place Chocobo down here and hope for the best. Hope for the best. <laughs> He's going to stop it, though. That's a good card to place right there. Get two points on both of those. But Dio could save us in that row because there's definitely going to be more placements. He's going to take over this, too. I need him to place first. Gosh. All right, I guess we should place this here. 
or place this to get two more points in that row. Such a good... How did he cheer? Oh my gosh. I'm not going to get any points this row. Oh my gosh, I need to quit. I need to quit. No, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. I just should have brought more high power cards. Dude, that's disgusting and dirty. I didn't read the rules. How gracious. He gave me two points. Thank you, sir. Shiva. Shiva. Oh, you only get to keep what you have? Oh, okay, there we go. I was like, what? Oh, so this looks so different. Hold on one second. Hold on. Wait a minute. This is so different than I was expecting. So you get to keep some of the cards from the previous round. I should have played this so differently. Oh, wow. Okay, well, it's not over yet. It's not over. Just keep it going. <sighs> Shiva. Yeah, I don't know the deck that he has. That disgusting. He did a good job. I'm annoyed because he did a good job. Uh, let's do this. Cactuar. Keep him kind of pressing. Let's, I like that. I like him kind of having to. I'm going to change that back. I'm going to let him change that. I'm going to let him press that top row. I'm going to put the Mithril Giant down here. Just kind of keep my back row. I'm going to let him put his. That's not what I was expecting at all. Sir? I can't change him back. Oh my gosh, he went completely behind enemy lines. Oh my, this is actually extremely dead. Oh my. Restart, restart. It's still my first time. It's a way to jinx it. It's still the first time. Okay, now that I know we have the one card, I'm going to put some higher power cards on the table. Hold on, I'm editing my deck. Poshogo is not bad, don't get me wrong. Queen B needs to go. I'm putting some higher power cards on this bad boy. I'm not dealing with this. When enemy cards are destroyed, raise card power by two. Mm. I'm going that chocobo. All right, let's see what happens. That is a way to get around your first time, by the way. Fun fact, I'm cheating. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna mulligan anything. I'm gonna see how this plays out. And I'm gonna keep those gigas for later. Mark my words, you're going down. Or do I want to just do it right off the rip? Don't look at me like that. I'm doing what I have to do for the gold saucer points. I'm securing victory at whatever cost. Space Trooper, great card. Weird placement, though. He's going to be able to change that over. I need him to overextend, but he'll just place in the back line. I don't have a lot of one pawn cards to begin with, which is not the best, but keep him pressing forward. Doom, 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 doom. I need to win that bottom row at whatever cost. So of course. I'm assuming we run out of cards. He's going to have to place that. Okay. I'm changing that. It's not the best card to use. He's going to win bottom row and I'm going to lose all those points. Nice. Okay, there we go. Yes. See, this is why you have to think things through. I was so close to placing it down below. Okay, he changed that back. Smart, smart. Clever. Clever boy. 
But if I change this back, then he won't be able to place anything. Oh, but he won in the long run. Look at that, he got 13 points. I wish we didn't run out of cards though. I feel like you should have been able to use all of your cards. It's okay, we got 11 points. That's closer to getting 50 than ever before. He also did get a loot crate, but we're pretty close behind him. Crystalline Crab. This is gonna be an hour of just Queen's Blood. <laughs> mm, talk about taking your time with a game. All right, let's Cappy wire it. Space Ranger. I have only three pawn cards. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I can place that Chocobo and Moogle card. Am I not getting any more cards? I'm not getting any more cards. I'm not going to be able to place after this, but Dio will get me more points than... Dio will get me more points because if he places any special cards... I'm still struggling to understand how this works. I guess you just get a random set of cards. He still has three cards. He's passing. Okay. Huge victory for us though. So we need to make sure we get over 50 points. We need to put up 22 points on this. All right, this is our, oh, we have an e for eat an e for eat Oh! The only downside is I'm not gonna be able to place a single damn card. Nice. Um, I, 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 yeah, what? All right. <laughs> you just get a random. There's literally nothing I can do. That, what? I, uh, out of all the cards for me to get, he would win already. Okay, let's restart. It's still our first time. We need to edit our deck and have more, we need to have more, less of these, just less, less three card. No, not happening. Except that actually, I do have a good idea with that. Hold on, I am gonna go back to that. This is what we're gonna do. I do want to do this actually. Hold on. I want the Mithril Golem. Mm hmm. And I want the Midsummer. But I want more one pawn cards. We definitely need more one pawn cards. So add a deck, go back in here, remove that Riot Trooper, add another one pawn card. Maybe a Queen Bee. And also, maybe Flame Trooper? Heatseeker? Mm. Okay, this is all about just the random hand of cards that we get. So we can keep doing this. We just gotta find the right RNG. Like, look at this. This is garbage. I'm not gonna do two Cappy Wires this run. I should have gotten my three cards. I might just toss this one. This is really like a feeling, the feeling of a Game of Witcher. Like, through and through. So I'm not gonna get any replacement cards, right? This is my entire deck. I might just let him win this. And go into the second round with more cards. I don't know, I still could win some stuff, though. I need to try just a little bit. So I don't want to waste any of these. Get an extra point on this row. Uh. He's gonna place down below. Stop me there. No. Oh, okay, reduced my, that's fine. 
and I'm gonna go into the other rounds with this. I'm not doing this. I'm gonna keep my cards and my points. All right, he's probably gonna win top row too, and I'm not gonna get any points on the board, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try to obliterate him in the next one. Strategic toss. He's placing high power cards, that's for sure. Somehow I'm still winning top and bottom. Okay, and then it's a tie on the bottom, so nothing happens. Nice. Okay. So I keep these cards and I get all new... And I get more, right? No? Oh, it's because it's not my turn to go yet. All right, now let's get our deck. Okay, here we go. We got level threes. Well, we know what to do now. We place that Cactuar, place Dio, place Midsummer. I'm gonna place Dio so he starts proccing. Thank you. Um, I actually should probably make sure that he doesn't take that from me. As much as I don't want to place this here, I do want to make sure that I get this. And I do think he's going to place another special card. So I think Dio will win the bottom row. Yep. Now we go Midsummer. I don't want to do that. I think I do want to place Midsummer here. Or Midsummer here. I think there's no way that he would be able to win that middle row and we want to try to win all rows mm, he's locking himself in there he's running out of cards he might have a diagonal I did just reduce my points right there okay that just helped something Dio needs just one more special card to ensure that he's good Let's make sure we block him here. Okay. Dio has not won it yet. This will make sure. Does that help Dio? No. Oh, he, it's because, oh, he has 11 points on the bottom. No matter what. So he did win that row, which sucks because that's fine. But I did win the top row, so I got 16 points from that chocobo and eight points. And I've still kept a... Uh, the cactus so no matter what i have i can place because i think i'm gonna get a lot of two part two yeah 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 yeah. all right we got this we got this come on we need to get massive cards in that middle row i should have placed him in the middle so that i could have placed my three oh i didn't think about that oh no i didn't think about that oh wait this is good this is good okay here we go moogle magic and we're gonna place the mithril right there and I'm gonna get bonus points on that. Oh, hell yeah. 10 points right there, no matter what happens, there's no way he can take he can take that over. He's placing a giga right there. I'm gonna need to go defense. I either let him take over my bottom row and I went, ah, can I win top row? I can change that so that, okay, I can change that but he might be able to, mm, let me think about this. Let me think about this. I can change this back. And then I don't think he can change that top card. Ooh. That reduces my guy. Gives two points there or Posh Chocobo would take this over and I'd get three additional points right there. Let me see. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hold on. I think I can remove his seven point card at the top. Yeah, check this out. I mean, I can reduce it. It's not gonna completely remove it. And I need to try to take that over to... He might be able to move that back though. I'm not getting to place my like super high power cards, but that's okay. Okay. reduce that greatly I'm not gonna win top row anyway but I don't think I'm gonna get 50 points though I just realized I'm not gonna get 50 points um 
and then I can't do anything. But hold on. He's gonna get 13 points and six points. Meanwhile, even if I got 12 points, that would put me at, yeah, 30, 40. There's no way I'd get 50. Ah, oh, gosh, I'm gonna restart. Ah, oh, that was good, but not good enough. I need a different deck. Okay. I know I've put a lot into this, but I do feel like we need to stop with the like games and go back to the main part of this. Uh, do I do just one more round? You've got to seriously have cards that are in it for the long run, you know? Hmm. Trying to think if one of my, like my, my go-to deck is even better. I definitely think that's a decent deck. I think I just have to not throw that first round as much as I did right there. Mm. All right, this is all about the luck of the draw, like truly. I'm gonna stick with this. Yeah. Okay, let's go Dio. So he starts getting those points. I wanna keep one Giga for later. Mithril right here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do this just to get some more space. No, I don't like that because he's gonna try to change that. He's gonna try to take that over. See if he pushes bottom. He's pushing top, which is great because I can stop him now. And now he's confined to his corner. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't want to waste any more cards. I'm confident that I'm going to win this round. He's passing too. Nice. 20 points on the first round. Now, I did use two of my three. Two of my threes, which... But now I get this middle card. What is this middle card? I got another gig. So you get a gig from the box, the loot box. Okay, let's see what kind of hand. Do we want to toss the middle or do we think we can win? Hmm. Who really knows? Okay, I think I can put a stop to him. Yeah, I think we can do this. We're gonna go ogre and ogre. All right, so Ogre here is gonna change that back, but... Mm. I could make him have to decide, does he wanna press or not? I'm gonna make that juicier for him to try to change. Yeah. Try to bait him out. Dude! He's smart. He's smart! Well, I could just change this and solidify the row. Okay, let's do it. Let's win the row, get those points on the table. No, I didn't! Oh, I didn't think about that! No! Wait. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Oh! I gotta make sure I win that row. Put up as many points as we can here. And then I can change that back. But do I really need to? He's definitely gonna win. Even if I did this and I placed, I wouldn't be able to win the row. What? I actually could. Wait, I could win the row because I could place, but I would have to place my Cactuar. And I think the Cactuar is really worth it for later. I say we let him get the first two and I'll take the bottom. She froze it because I had the lane, so I got additional points from that. And there we go, there is 50 points. So no matter what happens, I'll take it. Okay, this is, oh wait, wait, don't pass. Oh my gosh, I almost passed. This is good, this is good. So we're gonna do the cappy wire here. <clears throat> Giga, whatever happens, I'm, it's fine. Do, 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 do. Do Giga here. Oh, I thought Giga was gonna give me three. But that's okay, that's okay. 
We've got lots of twos, so we can just start trying to push pressure. That will give me three. I'm gonna do this. I wanted to see if he places bottom right there. No, he's not. Okay, he's definitely gonna get some solid points on the table though, I'll give him that. I would say Midsummer here. Midsummer here. Midsummer here. I need to place that Moogle trio. Yeah, I was expecting him to do something like that. I can't change that back though. Oh, I can't change that back. But I need to get my Moogle buddy. He's gonna be able to, oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead for this round. I just need to try to, oh, ah, ah. Ah. I'm dead, it doesn't matter. He's got it, which I have 50 and I'll take the loss. Like I don't need to win the whole war. I'm fine. Yeah, he changed it. So now hopefully he, he needs to put more points on the table though. And he only has two cards. I don't think he can beat my 50 points. He's got 21, ah, uh, it's possible. He has one more card, we'll see what he can do. Yeah, and then he's out. What is that, 29? No, I still got, I still won the top row. I still beat him in the long run. Wow. <laughs> 62, and I got the new card, and I also got the bonus points. Sephiroth, when played, destroyed enemy cards, destroy enemy cards on the effective tiles. Whoo, did I have to cheat to do it? Yes. Don't look at me like that. I did what I had to. All right, we are officially done with that. I'm gonna do one bike run and then we're gonna come back and finish the rest of Corel, like the region of Corel. We'll probably spend the rest of the time doing that. Yeah, because we still have a lot of intel to gather left. We've got a lot of intel actually. This is gonna be one heck of a long episode. Okay, let's go spend our points. Got a big pile of points to trade me? Queen's Blood is like, maybe I'm brute forcing it just like I was brute forcing the other. Okay, I do want this haunted hotel guy. And I want the sky wheel. And I want fortunes untold for, yeah. Dry ether, elixir. I have 100 points. <gasps> I can't do Loveless. I want to save up for Loveless. And we need the saucer squad. I forgot about Make saucer sure squad. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take a break from the gold saucer because we did do a lot there. And we're gonna go take out this fiend intel. Go to jewels. We still need to do jewels, but take out this fiend intel. Go to this phenomenon. Oh, we're still trying to track that, aren't we? Okay, yeah. Let's do the fiend intel. Do, 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 do. Um, I think I said I was gonna bike, but we are actually gonna wait on that one, but... Okay, real quick, let me run to the bathroom before we get started on this. Probably, I don't know, uh, I'm gonna try to finish the rest of the intel for Corel in this episode, and then we'll see what happens. This is a massive space, though, so it just might, I might have to split it up. I'm gonna try not to, though. I'll see. I, I get carried away on these episodes. I think it's almost been four hours, and granted, like, most of it was Queen's Blood, but it's fine. I'll be back. All right, we're gonna do this. Then we're gonna go pick up the last tower. Try to do the combat. I'm gonna go like down and down, you know, like try to collect all of those. Mm. Let me put this on. I don't notice it unless it has the orange on it. I guess we should call the buggy. Plus we need to see the, the dang cactus, hold on. Somewhere up there. But I think it's beyond that. I probably should call the buggy. I don't know, I just said that and just I'm like, ah, I just wanna walk there. I think it's up on this hill actually, so I don't even know if I can get to it from here. I think I'm gonna have to, I have to figure out how to get up there. All right, buggy, yeah, yeah. Let's go this way. I don't have a single piece of the proto-relic. 
So that takes me down there, but we want to go up. So... Here. Nice. And we should have something to fight just right. It's not that. It's not that. All right, go around it, go around it. All right, let me get out here. Everybody out. Mm. I should be able to go up and over. Is it even further up? This isn't one of the... This is something, but it's not something that... I don't think it's like a collect the boxes. Oh no, please tell me they're not cactuar. I see a cactuar there. Okay, I don't think it's them. I don't think so. I'm gonna go around them. Avoid them. It's gotta be a cactuar thing. No! Okay, fish out of water. Here we go. Pressure and stagger. Rare sand spitter variant detected. Wait, let me make sure. Oh, okay. No. I need to bring Oi! Oh, Guys! Oi! Oh, need to get him out. Pressure. Get him out of water. Fish out of water. I got this. There we go. Now we just need to stagger him. Ow. Oh my gosh. Beat him up, beat him up. Nice. There we go, pressure him, pressure him, pressure him, pressure him. Let's do a focus strike. Nice, there we go, staggered, and now we just need to kill him. Eric, can you do me a favor and heal us? Let's get a prey going here. And, oh. Hold on. Ow. Minute and 20, guys. Come on. There we go. Pray. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah, these guys are always pretty easy because you have to pressure them to even get them out of the ground, I think. Let's do dev kick. Easy. Excellent work completing our combat objectives. Though I suspect it wasn't much of a challenge. So we just have one left. Barrett went in there. Come my, my. I've analyzed the data from your latest bout and graded your performance. You've earned a 10 out of 10. Uh, Cloud, apologies. My speaking out of turn. <laughs> Pay her no mind. You get a 3 out of 10. Hey. I, what? Those sound like questionable metrics. Never mind. We'll discuss this later. We'll Cloud, discuss this. I've come up with a new combat trial for you. Why not give it a Sand go? Sand slithers? You guys know we're going to need to do all the combat trials, too. Probably at a later point in time, too. I th I'm sure that what the game is going to do is before you enter, like, the final chapters, it might tell you, like, there's no turning back, like it did for the first part. So I'm wondering if that's when we'll, we'll go ahead and buggy over here, and we're going to beeline for that other tower so we can see what's happening in this lower region. And I'm also hoping that this will show us where the Tonberry King is. So we got to get that crown. Stay away from them, stay away from them. Pay them no mind. Okay, we need to go around this. There's something all the way up there. I should see the tower from here, no? Oh, it's down below. Okay, so we need to go under the mountain. Oh, the tower. Oh, but we actually have to, okay. All right, everybody out? I was sitting here just thinking about this and I was like, <sighs> I feel like I'm getting, I don't wanna say like close, but you know, we are, we're definitely over halfway through the game and I guess there is this, this part of me that just is already gearing up for how sad I'm going to be when it's over. I know it's way too early to even feel that way. I know. It's probably because I'm also about to end Cyberpunk too. 
So anytime I take on these massive games and... I, got this. I don't know, I, I don't know if you guys are like this, but I just totally... Pay attention. Let me go my oh. ATB boost. I, uh, I have a hard time. Oh, they swallowed Cloud. I have a hard time ending things. Especially that I put so much of my time and heart into. Let's do focus strike on one. What are they susceptible to? Freeze. Let me go uh, pray. I do need to finish Barret's upgrades. Ah! Dude. These are so obnoxious. Alright. Tifa's bound to now. Pressure him, pressure him. Alright, he just spat back up Tifa. Sneak attack, done. Overcharge. Come on, Tifa. There we go, I'm bridal. Get him, 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 get him on me. Lovely. Alright, we need to get get Cloud, spit Cloud back up. Alright, Cloud has definitely seen better days. And then let's do a focus strike. Staggered. Beautiful. Uh, Barret's fine. Let me cure myself. Hold on. Let's do a potion on myself. Item potion on my Barret. Potion on Tifa. Potion on Tifa. I'm just trying to work my way through all these potions. I almost wish I could just have, like, high potions and stuff. I kind of want to get rid of some of this stuff. That is, again, one thing that I haven't embraced very much is using other items. I keep saying that I'm going to get better using items, but... It's something I, I often feel like if it's something that I have to actively remember to do and it doesn't come naturally, then I usually kind of... I don't want to say dismiss it, but I'm just... I don't want to also try so hard to play differently that I become more inefficient at fights just because I'm trying to do something the way I think it should be done. Here we go, last activation tower. Doo -doo -doo. Watching Barrett swing. There should be stuff to the right side. <gasps> I see the Moogle. Yeah, actually, it's funny. I as, as that happened, I saw the tiny little Moogle tower. <laughs> okay, let's go do that. This is right here, but I think everything is going to be this way. So I might as well just fast travel back to this guy in the buggy. Then we'll kind of go down from there. And I definitely want to hit that... Uh, oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? The life spring. Let's do the life spring and Moogle first. Actually, that's all three of our last things. Yeah. But let's go Moogle Tower first. I need to scan more creatures. I've forgotten to scan some of his creatures. Get away, get away from me. Huh. I guess we just ride on this left side and then it should take us down. Yeah, desert water main. We can climb all the way up there. Is this gonna be a lot of climbing? Hmm. Not quite sure how we're supposed to get up there. There should be some kind of Yuffie contraption. All right, let me just exit and assess this. Maybe that's to go... I don't think you could continue to go any further, could you? Hmm. I wanna see if anything's at this water main. Desert water main does have something. Three treasures, okay. But this isn't what we're looking for. Oh, there it is. Uh, maybe we do have to go to the activation tower to get... Oh, and then you swing the other way, perhaps? Yeah, I bet it is. See something down here. 
Okay, I see the second one. Ether onion. We're looking for one more. It is one of those things that I'm sure I'm going to have this like, I, I definitely need some time to step away from Final Fantasy after this, just to kind of, I think, clear my mind from Cloud and everything and be ready to embrace a whole new crew. Because I know, like I've told you guys multiple times, I know I'm gonna do Final Fantasy X. I definitely think I'm gonna try to take it on later this year. It will be my next Final Fantasy. But there, there is almost like, I was trying to talk about this with my stream, there is this time that it's like an acclimation period, I guess, I, where you just kind of, not acclimation, it's like a decompression. I feel like I have to decompress after giving so much to a game and knowing that I'm moving from game to game to game. And so I know, I just have this feeling that when I, oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to go this way. Shoot. Oh, wait, maybe? No. Uh. Let me get the buggy. Yeah, I gotta get the buggy. I mean, I guess I could go on foot. Um, after I finish a game, I feel like I have to relax and just take some time away from a serious story. Like sometimes I'll play a game that's a little bit more lighthearted, not even lighthearted, but just something that doesn't require as much focus and emotion because I'm guessing, if I had to take a guess, I feel like a lot of y'all are recommending Final Fantasy X because of how much I do get emotionally connected to games. And that was something, because I went, like, I don't know if you guys remember this, if you guys have been around for a while, but I did go, oh, you can go further into the ravine. That's probably what it is. All right, let me call the buggy. Um... I went straight into Final Fantasy 16, I think after seven. I think I I think I did almost go directly into it. I might have played like one game in between. And I did find it like, I mean, you guys saw, I did nearly everything in that game. It wasn't as hard to embrace like Clive and everybody in the game. There were definitely, oh, Dion, like I loved so many characters, don't get me wrong, but I do think that it will, it will benefit me to step away from Final Fantasy for at least like a month or two and then come back. Oh no, oh no, this thing. Hmm. Okay, that looks promising. Oh, <gasps> this is the right way. This is the right way. Oh. They did a good job creating this thing, I'll tell you that much. Hi, I know I see you. <laughs> I might go on foot here to get to the Moogle place too. <gasps> you ready? It's back in business. We'll do a little rest too. Look at you and me putting his little hands together. <laughs> yeah. I go full ginger voice, like, instantly want to use my, my pet voice. Obtained a golden plume. All right, let's pop a squat. Use a cushion. We have 11 cushions. I think I've been finding some cushions in places too. Do you need Not that way, not this way. Do you see what I see? Anyone care to meet with the Moogle? Um, yes, next question. I also wanna trade with the Moogles. Look at the little statues. It'd be so cute to make little clay statues. I haven't even gone on Etsy yet. I need to go on Etsy and see all the like creations that have come about since this game has been out. Cause now we're kind of coming up on a month. They'll almost have been out for a month by the time I'm here. I bet there's some really cool things. Please bring back all the Mooglets for me, Koopo. Koopo? Bring all five Mooglets back to the Mog Stool. Mischief level four. All right, you little guys, where are you? You can jump across here. 
You, Moala. Malala. All right, Malala, come on. Get back, get back there. No, no, no. Moala, do not. Moala. All right, Malulu. Malulu, go. <laughs> you are getting back in there if it's the last thing I do. Malulu. Nice one. All right, you're not fit. No, you can't cast things. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're rolling. Here we go. Here's Moog. Moog, Moog, get in there. All right, Moog's caught. Mosh. Mosh, get back. You cannot throw bombs from in. Oh my gosh. Malulu. Get in there. I'm doing tornadoes. The banana thrower. Moki. I need to be careful of the mushrooms. I think the mushrooms will hurt me. All right, Malulu. Or Moki. Oh, it temporarily. Oh my gosh. I did not know that. Well, now I know exactly what to do with Malala. Get on that platform. Hold on. You stay here. I'm creating a... Oh my goodness. You're going in the tornado. Yeah. Yeah. I told you. Hold on. I told you what would happen. Okay. I'm not going to be able to take Malala all the way there, but I think I can push. Let me get her lined up. Oh. Go. Nice. Nice. Mischief level four. Done. Lifesaver, Koopo. Koopo. Ding, 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 ding. I just am sitting here like, uh, what could possibly You're be better in help, the fourth Koopo. one or in the third part? Reward, like, how are they going to build on top of this? Of how Mog and Mag fell in love. It's Aww. so romantic. Even after Mog was fully grown, he still struggled to fly, but he never gave up. He kept on practicing, undeterred. Eventually. Mag noticed how hard he was working and decided she would do everything in her Aww. power to support him. As time passed, the two became closer and closer until one day... <laughs> I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Until one day? Koopo! Koopo! I love like Anything all of the interesting catch your eye, Koopa? Yes, I do want to see what they have. They should have some other stuff for us. The Vibro Detector? Device capable of detecting subterranean tremors? It's kind of cool. Ah, there's another art of swordplay. Done. Fortunes untold. Done. Let's do the Vibro Detector because I don't know what that is, but sounds kind of cool. Is this max? Allows use the highest level of fire materia? That's kind of good. Healing materia is max cure. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna do this one, and I'm gonna do also HP up materia earrings. The earrings are so broken. And we'll do this one because we might as well, and we have the points did anyway. You find anything you like, yes, I did. Leveled? Oh, I gotta use Barret. That's right. All right, let me go to item transmuter. I need. Ugh, I can't do anything still. I really wanna build some more of these. I can build the beguiling, but that's not even close to these levels. Look at this. Spirit bound, commanders and witches. I definitely wanna make this one, but I need a lot more of other stuff. Ugh. Koopo? Oh. Okay, let's go on to the life spring. There should be something that will cause us to climb. Something to get us to climb up higher. A little bit of a mess to figure this place out. This looks kind of right. No, not right. Not right. Oh, never mind. Right. Okay, I did not realize we could free climb this much. That's cool. I don't think you're supposed to be able to. Pretty sure I'm not in the right spot. We need to go down. Oh, we need to then jump down. Now we're on the right side. Hi. Okay, this is where, yeah, this is where our buggy was. Okay, so this makes way more sense, yeah. The last one. This will be our last piece of information. No, we have all three pieces of information. Intel number six, rock spout. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay.
Last piece of information. I can't remember if part of the intel gathering is... No, the last pieces would be the proto-relic. Yeah. Cloud. Good news. I believe I've ascertained the whereabouts of your royal quarry, the Tonberry King. Perfect. Johnny wasn't that far off. Let's not keep your entrepreneurial friend waiting. Yes. Lest you wither in the heat. Okay, I didn't know this was what was going to show us it. That's perfect. Heavy lies the crown. Where? Yes, we knew. We knew. We just were there a little bit early. But we knew. Uh, let's go ahead and take out this fiend next, I think. Um, let me go buggy from here. Then we'll ride up, take out this fiend. Then we'll go to the Tomberry King. So we should just have to go up here. It looked like a place befitting a king. Absolutely. So we'll be able to go down there. Uh-huh. There's a truck here. Do you now? We should be seeing a fiend up here. I think if we hop out. I can't jump up on that. Dang it. Uh, maybe you were supposed to go around this way? Nope. My buggy can't go up that, though. Wait a minute. How the heck? Let me break these boxes. Alright, that's not right. Let me go down here, though, because I do think this is a place that requires... Uh, this is like one of the locations that you can find. No. Never mind. But I saw a yellow chest. Maybe over here. Smuggler's truck, that's it. There are three treasure chests. One's here, we know where the second one is. We just have to find the third one. Mithril ore. Let's pop down here. Okay, I know one's down here. Oh, and there's the second one. I just had this like, I just had this thought where I was like, I wonder how they record him like grunting. Like it's gotta be so weird for voice actors to just grunt when you're in a studio or something. I would get like a hundred pound weight and just try to like lift it and record myself with the grunting noise of lifting like a hundred, a hundred pounds or something. I know, silly, but it would be authentic then. It's gotta be authentic. All right, Smuggler's Cove is done. Just gotta find that fiend intel. But surely this is the way we were supposed to go. We just need to get on the other side of this rock. So maybe, oh. Yeah, maybe, oh, where am I? Oh no. Oh no, why did I go over there? Maybe. It looks like there's either a through here or we have to go around this rim. Oh, look, 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 look. You go up and over. That's what it is. Okay, so let me go back to here. I gotcha, I gotcha. So we go buggy and kind of ascend. We need the circle. Wait. That's, that's it. There it is. I'm leaving Jules' mission for last because I know I'm going to get my butt kicked. That's going to make me mad and then I'm going to need to take a break. <laughs> I can't do any more squats. Up and over. This whole way just for a fiend. This fiend better be worth it. Oh, and we don't we need to find the one fiend to rule them all? You know what I'm talking about? You know how there's like another guy? What in the world? This isn't just for a fiend though. This is something else. 
Yeah, this is not just for a fiend. Keep going up. <laughs> so it's to be able to get to the factory? This seems kind of... Oh... That would do. We've got fiends on our hands. Exploit an enemy's weakness, dagger an enemy. Commencing guidance protocol. A strange amalgamation of species. Yeah. The Chimera's addition to the animal kingdom coincides with the advent of Mako. This timing is likely no coincidence, as Mako Energy's adverse effects on creatures is well documented. Fossils that have mm -hmm. been excavated rather recently, however, appear to be those of an ancient ancestor to the modern Chimera. Scientists have since postulated that the fiend actually has prehistoric origins. Get away, get away, get away. Providence aside, the beast is a proven threat to any living but look at its ever beautiful gold territory. feathers. Please take care while squaring off against this mysterious uh -oh. foe. All right, easy. <laughs> it's just the fact that there's two. One would be fine, but two? I'm Brattle's right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, gosh. All right, I need to find Cloud. It's a cluster over here. Nice. All right, let me see this. Aquatic beam. All right, there we go. Assess. Here we go. Too bad. Weak is fire, rare, but, uh, automatically becomes pressured after using aquatic beam. So we just got a stagger. Here we go, build it up, build it up, build it up, build it up, build it up. And staggered. Now we go fire level wow. two. I almost Don't feel stop now. Pick it up Charging uppercut. Strike it like fast. Yeah. And bridle. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're gonna do focus kick. Nice, beautiful, it's dead. Taking over. Braver? I need to get in there and do a charging uppercut, but I'm gonna get slashed. Oh, ow. Do, do. We gotta kill him in a minute. A minute left, a minute left. Alright, he's immediately becoming pressured after that. We wanna go charging uppercut on him. Let's go. Let's go. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Nice. Easy. Master charging up a cut too. We've accrued a lot of great data. Thanks to you. That's it? That's it? Corel's almost done, guys. Woo! And then we'll use we'll do golden saucer later too. We'll just kind of keep going back at it, chipping away at some of it as we level up. You've managed to complete all combat assignments in the Corel region. Woo. What assignments they were! You faced so many fiends! So many Shovel fiends! Pots, spear hawks, land worms, chimeras. Thank goodness, That's not the cat car. Anyway, I've added a new combat trial to the simulator cloud. Badlands Beast. Do check it out sometime. We do need to see what he offers us for doing some of those challenges. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, doom. Um, let's see. What else do we want to do? We want to go over here and do the Tomberry King. So I'm going to need to fast travel over there. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go into Materia and Barret now that we've done. Okay, so this is the Vulcan Cannon. It comes with four, but it's 42 and 57. Let's do this one. I mean, great magic attack, but I would say high caliber. Or Barrage, 52, 47. This like flip flops. I like the high caliber gun though, the high caliber rifle for me. Always. Tifa is now done so we can finally get off of her dragon claws. As cool as they look, and look at that, 139. The damage is amazing, but the Kaiser Knuckles are just a little bit better when you're talking about damage overall. And you get four materia slots for it. And she's missing other materia slots. Wait, did I switch her to something different without realizing? So she has Chakra, Auto, Unique Ability, Lightning and Wind, and Time Materia. Time is kind of cool. For her, I want to go ahead and put HP up and MP up. We want to make sure that we're maxing both of those for our characters. Let me see. Yeah, because we do have level boost, increases level of linked Materia by one. You know what? I do want to do that, but I'm going to combine that with the Lightning and I think it's this one. Lightning and wind is the one we want to combine it with. Yeah. 
So that will automatically be level two now, which is really nice. This is HP up and then we're gonna want MP up. Oh, I don't have another MP up. I have HP up on her. Hmm. Maybe steadfast block. Does this happen when you're not actively using them though? Precision defense. She has auto unique on already. Let me see what else. Enemy skill materia. Steel. I could put a sass on her maybe. All of my linked materia is being used, which I'm really happy about because do you guys remember? I was not good at doing the linked materia in part one. So I do like to think that I've come a long way and doing better with that. Gravity, fortification. We could do healing. I feel like you could never have too many. Like I only have two healing spells actually on, but I will say, let's go ahead and put a full level heal on her and then go to clouds heal and put the level, the level one. And we want to start getting that built up as well. Yeah. Barrett is good there. Aerith's good. We've got a lot of people rocking a ton of a ton of uh, materia. We do need to go ahead and do some of those summons too. All right, so let's go ahead and fast travel to the Tomberry King, which I can't fast travel to. All right, here it is. <sighs> this is gonna be the fight of my life. Y'all know how I feel about the Tomberry King. Dark times, dark times indeed. Although I guess he can't be as bad as he can't be as... Surely it's not as bad as um, the cactuars, like a collection of cactuars. Right? Right? Oh, gosh. Here lies the crown. This is crown. the last... It appears that you've arrived in the lair of the Tonberry King. That crown belongs on a far statelier head than his, namely yours. I'd say it's high time we've divested him of it. Real quick, what is my weapon? Umbral? Do I like the damage on Umbral? Hold on. I know it's giving me the most amount of 50, 52, 50, 50. Buster Sword's better overall. But I would reduce the level of materia that I can hold. So you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm okay with that. A little bit of reduction for being able to hold a little more materia. Okay, guys. Here we go. Also, my... I know it just got bright in here. The sun is just beaming through. Oh no. All right, hold on. Actually, let me use the bathroom and just make sure I'm good to go. Let me just like, I need to, I know this is not even like the, this isn't even fighting Sephiroth, but this is sometimes in a lot of ways harder. I'll be right back. Okay. I do this with a heavy heart. No, no. <laughs> No. He's massive! No the royal treatment. Confirmed. The Tonberry King detected. Commencing guidance protocol. Guys? Time's now long past. This continent was home to the Rancor? Of a realm he absolutely just obliterated us? Let me hear the not last. If I get smacked by him? Death and destruction. Many Call for friends? No. Do not call those friends. Do not call those friends. Little mini Tonberries! Oh, oh, I got chef knifed! I got chef knifed! Oh my gosh! Rancor! Doom and gloom, no! Not the doom and gloom! Not the doom and gloom! But I'd say your neck is more than up to the task. I need to Phoenix down. Cloud. Can you fight? We're just warming up. You're on. Of all the times. <laughs> Bone deep grudge. Calling for friends. No, no, don't you dare. Get away from the chef's knife. Ah, damn gloom. All right, hold on. Cure level three. On Cloud? On I'll fight through it. Oh no. Okay? Tifa's almost out. 
Rancor, get out, get out, get out, get out. We need to just be like almost fully doom and gloom, doom and gloom, doom and gloom. Doom and gloom. It's coming! Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, Phoenix down. Wait, Phoenix draft. Barret. Shoot, Phoenix down on Barret? I can't. You can't revive him. He's dead, dead. He's not just unconscious. He's dead, dead. He is dead, dead. Call for friends. Let me assess him. Inflicting enough damage when it attacks, Miss will pressure it. When pressured, it will drop the pristine crown, leaving the item vulnerable and being stolen. Oh. Okay, so maybe that's a way that we go about it. Okay. Get the little baby, baby Tomberry. Chef's kiss. Thundera on Tomberry King. My turn. Mm. Hoppy mad. He's dropping stuff. He's dropping stuff. Remember how I hated just the little itty bitty Tomberry? Freeze. I need a summon. I need something to revive people from like the ashes. Oh, Chef's oh, no! Why no! Why no! Just pour it no! Backline command. When your current party members are in dire straits, you can call upon your other comrades. Right, right. Wait, I'm trying to figure that out. No! Oh my gosh. Backline command. There we go. Let's do divine punishment. Eric, okay. Don't give up now, you guys. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, that was actually amazing. That was actually amazing. Call for friends, call for friends. Okay, are, am I sure I don't have anything to be able to bring somebody back from the dead? Do I have anything? Golden Needle? Hey, since whoever drinks it, sedative, calls one's fury, rouses one from a stupor, cures silence, wakes somebody else, not waking them up. Cloud can come back up. I can Shake bring Cloud back up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Guys, they've got a lot of Tom Berries. <laughs> Just no! Oh, no. That was quick. <laughs> Rancor. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ow. Some hero you turned out to be. <gasps> we got him so close though. I will take that. I just let too many accumulate and Barrett went down and too many died and <sighs> I kinda wanna use a different team. I almost wanna do like I I kinda wanna do like an all range team. Like maybe okay, wait, hold on. Let me do Barrett I like. Let's do Aerith. Let's try all ranged. Let's see how that does. Oh my goodness. I mean, I kind of expected to die. We put up one hell of a fight, though. I can't deny it. We did. Put up a hell of a fight. No need to go <gasps> easy. Royal right treatment. Go. Get out. Get out. Get out. Everybody get out. First, the King protected. Yep. Rancor. Times now long past. This continent was home to the kingdom of the Tonyers. Oh. The realm was strong Okay, last. that's not good. The humans came and brought with them death and okay. destruction. Many Tonyers perished in the war to revenge himself upon those do, who raised his kingdom. Let me do arcane ward on Cloud. What are you Let's do this. Please bear in mind. Kill the mini Tomberry, kill the mini Tomberry. Hold on, let's do fire spell on the Tomberry. Oh! Don't worry. Oh my gosh, I got hit by a falling Rancor. I need to wake him up. I need to wake him up. The crown. Do I have steel? I don't have steel. Dang it. We could totally take the crown. My turn. I can't steal the crown. He's going back to it. He's not happy. Yeah. Deal with that. I'll take care of him. Hold on. Let me go items. There's another Tomberry. Let me go. Phoenix down on Barrett. I'm here. Oh, Tomberry's back. Tomberry's back. Hopping mad. Ow. Ow. Get him. <laughs> One more shot. As soon as he calls friends, we just need to melt them. 
Rancor. For you. Here we go, here we go. Oh no. She's Let's been down do bad. Calling for friends. Hold on, okay, hold on, wait. If I can cast in here, we'll be fine. Oh no. Oh no. Where's his friend? Where's his little friend? Okay, hold on, items. Phoenix down, Cloud. Let's turn this around. This is good though. Range is good. Range is good. Kill the little I'll tumber. Show you what I can do. All right, she's calling for another friend. Go on. Tomberry defeated. Tomberry A defeated. We need to do soul drain from that tumber. Nice. There we go. Ooh, soul. Soul did a lot. Okay, there it is. Rancor, get away. Get away. Get away. Get that crown away. <laughs> Poppy mad. Let me go cure on myself. I'm coming. Whoa. Go on. All right, let's get Barret back up. I'm having to use so many Phoenix downs. The fight could turn in a heartbeat. You'll feel better in a second. Purgatorial <laughs> punishment. No. No. <sighs> Ward shift. Get me the heck out of there. Yeah, try to sneak up on me. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Come on, we're gonna have to bring her back up. Bring her back up, bring her back up. Items. The amount of Phoenix Downs being used in this. Got some fight left in you. Chef's knife. Disgusting. Pressure that little Tom Barry. He's doom and glooming, he's doom and glooming. Hold on. Pray. We've gotta get through this. Okay, Barrett was able to cast a prey. Before anything happened, keep up the pressure. Keep up the pressure. Soul drain. Just a bit. Nice, big damage. Doom and gloom. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Synergy abilities. Arcane blast. Coming. Go. Uh, our... That's it. That's really awkward. That was really awkward. Barry died before we. <laughs> Tom Barry King's robe. The marred crown. You did it, I now dub thee the new king of the Tom Bears. By analyzing the king's biometrics, we can better understand Let's Tom Bears' social structures. Our research proceeds apace. Thank you, Cloud. You know, the baby, the babies, the chef's knife. Ouch. Looks like the crown got a little scuffed in the yeah. scuffle. Everybody think? remembers Should their first experience anyway? with a chef's knife. Even notices? Uh, yes, or he probably will. Everybody remembers that first. It's just, you do not forget something like that. Uh, let's go over here because I think it's this. The cr uh, Tom Berry's where? The Tom Berry's what? Should be. I thought it was a scarf. Hmm. Wait a minute. Maybe it's just a. Maybe it's not this. Because that's a scarf. You know what? I think it's. Wait, was it a cape? It was a cape. I think it was a cape. This? The white cape? Elegant shawl said to have served grants immunity to toad. I don't think it was the white cape, was it though? It looked red. It didn't look like that cape. Let me go to items. That was brutal. Key items. The marred crown. Oh, yeah, it didn't really get damaged there. Oh, seen better days. Hmm. Maybe it is the white shawl. Maybe it, I don't know. We try it, for a nicer one. It's possible. No, I think we should give this one to Johnny. It wasn't us. We did our best. We tried to keep it intact. All right, Johnny, let me go ahead and heal myself. It feels weird to be back at like cure level one as Cloud. There we go. My characters were so low for that entire fight. I'm out of MP, but we'll we'll pop a squad somewhere. Ah, <sighs> Johnny. You took down the Tonberry King for us? Yes. Thanks, bro. On behalf of all Johnnies. So where's the crown? He's not gonna like ask how he thinks he'll you'll get the crown. How he thinks you'll get the crown? Hold on to it for now. Hand over the marred one. Oh, I bet you'll just yoink the crown right off the king's just head. Just yoink. Can't wait to see it in person. Oh, you know what I just realized? 
you probably can gift it to him nice. It's not just marred. Because if you steal it, it's not marred. Huh? This is yeah. not exactly what I was... It would probably oh, change how the mission's bro. done. You almost had me thinking you were serious. I mean, the Tom Berry King's crown is supposed to be regal and resplendent. There's no way this hunk of chunk is the crown I was looking for. Right? I guess I could have gone back and done it again, huh. maybe? Well, uh, if you say so, bro. Aww. I guess some legends just don't live up to the hype. Yeah, I but feel like know, I could have given him the stolen the one. Wear look does imbue it with a certain old school charm. Yeah. Perfect for a rustic centerpiece. And it shows you Thanks fought again, him bro. to get it. I owe you one. I'm gonna take this baby back to the hotel. Be sure to swing by when you have the chance. I wonder I'm if- I'm sure one of me will have something real nice waiting for you. Yeah, I think that was their way of telling you that you could go back and just yoink it and not... I know, I bet you... Do you think that determines how different the renovation is on the hotel? What if the hotel doesn't look all grand because I chose to give them the marred crown and not a better crown? No! Oh, no, I'm catastrophizing. It's okay, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, it's fine. Just giving Johnny the worst of the worst. Don't look at me like that. All right, let me get on one of these. Oh, it's been so long since we out. Oh. There we go. Excuse me. Move it, chuckleheads. Move it, chuckleheads. I was trying to be nice. Welcome to Never mind. Never doing that again. Excuse me. Hey, how about an orb or two? All right. He still doesn't want us to. Okay. Still doesn't want to move the boxes. So Johnny's mission, we'll go do Joel's mission, and then Phenomenon's, I suppose. Uh, where am I? Oh, Wait, but there's people here. What a charming... Oh, snaps. Hang loose. Looks like another... Wait, is this a different spot for snaps? Oh, this is a different spot. Oh, Cloud with Barrett just... Did this end catch your eye Wait, I well? want to see this. <laughs> Figured it might. While it's a far cry from the five-star hotels on Main Street, it has a certain appeal. I suspect this area has a plethora of photogenic spots. You think so? Scenic spot, snaps marked a picturesque spot. <laughs> okay. Mm, Johnny's. The smell alone's got my mouth watering. Not bad if I do so. He's got all the Johnny's working for him. It's effective. Okay, maybe we'll see it change Got a good stream. later. Okay. Good news, bro. All of me made it back in one piece. Yeah. And it sounds like I really put you through the ringer. Sorry about that. <sighs> to say it lightly. <laughs> no biggie. So what now? Want me to poof him? What? No, not yet. We're in the middle of renovating, and I'm going to need all my hands <laughs> on deck to finish. At the so end he of the doesn't day, actually have to do any work. Say I remodeled this place all by myself. Right, All Johnny's? by myself. Yeah, bro. So yeah, me and me's are set on seeing this through the end. Well, that's but good. But once we're finished, it's gonna be the finest hotel in the whole world. Just you wait. <laughs> now I feel bad. I should have given him a better crown. I didn't think that there was gonna be a layer to that, and I didn't want to go back and fight him again. Don't look at me like that. I could have. I know he gave us a second chance too. Well, it's like. Wow. wow, look at the little lanterns. <gasps> the surfboards. Look, there's a Rufus statue or a cardboard cutout. Holy cow. Look at the weapons on display. Yuffie's weapons. There's, wait, there's some of Tifa's gloves. Oh my gosh. So, what do you think, bro? <gasps> look at the red chest behind us. I'm red impressed. chest behind us. Without you guys, what is a red chest? Impossible. You are absolutely right. You couldn't have done any of this without my incredible ninjutsu. Uh-huh. Couldn't have done it without the J-Squad either. The J-Squad. Oh, go getting all sentimental. We were just doing what you would have done. You said it. We, we all want what's, what's best, best for this place. place. It's, it's our home. Now he's like, I want to keep them. We'd be standing here today if it weren't for you, Johnny Prime. Johnny Prime. Prime. Truly, you are the realest bro, bro. <laughs> well, I'm just happy to know that whatever trials await, we'll face them together. Uh, yeah, about that. Now that all the renovations are complete... Yeah? I think it's time that we peace out. What? Don't worry. You got this, Johnny. Johnny? No. You, you probably got used to not being alone. Johnny. You've got 
You. Johnny. Johnny Ups. There's actually something Johnny. really sweet and poetic about that. Like him being the ones that like different, there were different kind of sides of him, right? I mean, it'd be nice if you had multiple versions you know, of yourself. One to go to work, I one to- stand listening to them bicker. And now, <laughs> I already miss the sound of our melodious voice. Yeah. I lost a part of myself today. Snaps in the background. You gonna let that stop you? Huh? You've got a hotel to run. That's true. And a beautiful one at that. I this place with my own 14 hands. <laughs> I owe it to me and myself to see that our hard work doesn't go to waste. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, gonna be yeah. seven Johnnies in one. <laughs> I think one of you is more than enough. Yuffie oh, in the side. That means a lot coming from you, bro. Oh, a card oh, obtained. Almost forgot. J Squad. I set up a little space to show off your collection. I'd love to showcase any rare or interesting artifacts you happen to come across. Yes. And rest assured, you'll be handsomely rewarded Yes. For I've got my heart set on becoming the best in the business. So look out, hotel industry. Look at the collectibles. We'll look at the collectibles. Far and wide with luxurious lodgings and unbeatable hospitality. But Johnny. you'll always have a room with your name on it, my bro. Because when you're here, you're Johnny. Wait. Uh, uh. Hold on. Johnny is amassing a collection of rare curios, curios from all around the world to elevate his seaside into a seven-star institution. Win minigames, complete various objectives around the world to obtain <gasps> collector's items and automatically donate them. Wait, wait, wait. And automatically donate them to your best bro. Press L2 to view your current treasure trove as well as hints on how to find them. <gasps> One star startup. As if it couldn't get any better. Is this multiple people's weapons? Johnny's secret chest is tightly locked. What's hidden inside? This is probably if we get all of the hidden collector's Have items, guys. Oh my goodness, do I have any? Wait, I think I have some of them. Maybe I don't. Wait, 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 I do, I do. Nice hustle on the track, Cloud. With skills like that, you've definitely got what it takes to make the racing world. Uh, presidential commendation, QB tournament champion. Buccaneer Blaster? Something there. Oh. King of the Jungle? Oh, the Run Wild. Rookie Ranger? Cadet? Chocobo Bug Boy? Card Savant? Oh my goodness, guys. Dust Bowl Smasher? Ah! There's so many. Oh my goodness. The stuffed toys. There's another stuffed creature. The play arts, finally we get a spot to, holy cow, guys. Okay, there's so many things that I have to find for him. Whoa, That's a cool take collection. on his hotel. Yeah. Johnny's collection isn't actually his. It's all his friend stuff. Hey, what's mine is his, get out of here. Don't be disrespectful. The crown berry. This is amazing. Now, we need to go to before. every vendor and make sure that we're buying everything we possibly can. Look, let me pop a squad. Yes, rest here. Oh, this is incredible and I feel so good. It's such a feel good mission to help Johnny. And I don't know, it's just, I, I like where they took his story. He was a little bit of this, like, he still is the comedic relief, absolutely. But I don't know, just something now it's, he now has like a place that he, a purpose. I guess maybe it's more of a purpose than anything. Barrett's weapons, look. You'll be able to put all of his weapons on the wall, too. We're missing one. Oh, and the shower looks amazing. We just need to up this view. But there's actually something really nice about this. To be honest, I kind of like the privacy that it brings. Wow. Nice shower, the beds, the bamboo. The, okay, so it looks like there's probably one more weapon that we're gonna acquire for them. Same with Yuffie. <gasps> And all of these collections. Maybe, no, I think we're done. Maybe we're done with ours. Where's my swords? Maybe there's more places downstairs. All right, I have no idea where we're gonna find some of this. Information about this treasure is currently unavailable. Oh, complete jump frog. There's a lot of complete four condor on hard mode. Complete the ghost ship stage of Pirate's Rampage. There must be um, new stages. Complete the trial at Run Wild in Costa del Sol. 
the crunch off at the gym. So I say what we do is we just organically go through the game. Whatever happens, happens. Um, whatever we find is great. And... Budding photographer. Don't I have something to turn into him? Yes. Yes, I do have a... Hey there. The Thank Corel. Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite mm -hmm. the view you captured. Excellent scouting. The association's dubbed you a regular, regular frontiersman. frontiersman. They see your potential. Same as I did. You know how and where to find true beauty in this world. It's a gift, and not everyone's got it. So don't let yours go to waste. Yeah, so whatever we end up collecting, just organically, I'll be happy with. And then we'll probably, towards the end, I'm going to do just this, probably this episode where we try to finish all of this stuff. And I've talked about it before, but just kind of clean things up. Let's go ahead and get that snap spot too, by the way. Let's fast travel there, get the snap spot, fast travel to Jules, do Jules' mission. Ugh, so many things. There's a snap spot. Let's go up here. Should be on one of these posts. See you spot. Here we go. Alright, so let's go in the menu. I think right there. I like that. Menu photo mode. Alright, so we're gonna go up and in so we don't see any of this. Hide party. Do we go that way? Oh, that's pretty. That's actually really pretty. Maybe right. Mm. That tree is too front and center. I think we want to do the tree off a little bit. Oh, look, there's a helicopter in the distance. <gasps> That's nice. Filter. Mm. I don't know. I think the normal colors are so beautiful. I don't I don't want to go over them. Grassland skies, Junon. Coral Mirage. No. Let's do normal. But we'll do this. Yeah. I like that. And nice. Photo snapped. Okay, so that photo snapped. We've got some jelly wellies, but before we do anything else, we want to go. Oh no, oh no. Great gains, baby. Let's do this. Wow. Jules has actually constructed a killer gem here. Dang, look at this. Oh. Those are some nice. Be the best you can be. Those are good squat racks. Oh, Jules. Glad you could make it. Cloud, Tifa. Once a year, we take a retreat to enjoy the sun and sea breeze. Nothing like getting some gains in the great outdoors. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. Care to sweat with us? I think I would. I haven't done a proper workout in forever. Well, we'll happily help you both become your best selves. Train with us as long as you like. You mean it? Well, I might just take you up on that. Here's a question for you, Cloud. What would you say is the key to a good workout? Oh. Training equipment, post-workout meal, and unwavering resolve for gains. This one. <laughs> Fair enough. The heart. the heart is the strongest muscle. Mm -hmm. But I'm not too concerned about that. As you know, our passion for getting pumped up is second to none. Now let's get down to business. Shall Although we? the post workout the meal is I important. You to stop by? Monsters have been spotted skulking around the facility, and I want them gone. It's not because you want to sure. challenge me? Should be easy enough. Splendid. We can't train our bodies unless our minds are at ease. Oh, so that's you'll good be point. doing all of us muscle heads. Alright, I was not favor. expecting that. I thought it was gonna be some kind of workout. All right, let's go defeat some fiends around the area. Look at the buggy let's right there. there and kick some ass. What kind of fiends are we talking about? Just in the area? Someone's excited. Well, yeah. Wanted an excuse to work up a sweat, and now I've got one. Wonder what little Tifa would say. <laughs> <laughs> I think she'd be pretty proud. Here we go. First objective. <laughs> get it, Barry. Get it. So it's my this one's for you! Alright, we just absolutely <laughs> obliterated them. Let's do Soul Drain. It's your turn. Take it over. Soul Drain's <laughs> pretty good. Sorry. Smack him out of the sky. Take it that. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Overcharge. Let's do... And let's do Soul Drain. Lend me your strength. Nice. 
Oh, I don't have a ward. Yeah. Yeah. The Citrapine Schoolmaster. Oh, actually, Cloud, Cloud, I need you to assess it. Wait, Cloud, assess it. I got your number. Oh, freeze. Okay. Somebody, I think, uh... No, not me. Does she have freeze? No, she has thunder and arrow. One more shot. Can you take over for me? I think I do. I have it. I know. Well, I know I have it. But... Just in case. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Can't I know that I have it, but steak. I guess. Steak. What? Huh? Oh, sorry. Just some mental meal prep. Mental the ideal meal prep. Workout dish. Steak. So, you were the one behind Seventh Heaven's menu. Half was a holdover from the old owner. The better half was mine. Oh. oh should I hate there more? Yeah. I don't even think I looked at the menu you ever. Since you lose. <laughs> yeah. I hope by the time all of this is I'm done, we get to open the seventh heaven. This one's for you. <laughs> Sorry. Soul drain. <laughs> He's thundering. Dodge it. Dodge it. <laughs> Let's do a. Hey. Oh. Oi. I can't. Tagging out. I got this. <laughs> Brace yourself. Fraser? He dodged it. So the Crown Lance's dodging skills are amazing. Second to none. Fire. Air T boot boost. Come on. Build up some kind of ATB. He's dodging it all. Get the schoolmaster. Alright, hold on. Let's take out the Crown land. Don't overdo it. Yes, it's my turn. Me pray. All right, the crown land should be dead. Nice. Let's do focus shot. Here goes. All right, we just have one more little fishy. Lend me your strength. All right, he's dead. Now we just have the schoolmaster. Let's do this. It shouldn't be too difficult. One more shot. Uh, not braver. No. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Go on. It's on you. I need my help, do you? And then we're gonna do focus Best shot radio. pressure. So it's my turn. Staggered. And let's do a soul drain. It's your turn now. Leave it to me. And then a dead. Hey, Cloud. But we leveled up. Would you say you're a picky eater? Soldiers can't be choosers. Maybe <laughs> we were fed. Well, I used to be super picky, actually. Really? Used to be. Really? Not anymore, though. Can't be choosers in the slums either. Oh, that's true. What about crab? That mess no. hall doesn't mess around. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Of crab? Oh, the were bonding. I also like, look, this is my kind of date. All right, the gym workout date, I'm here for it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Aerith's like view dates too, but something about this feels very fitting for Cloud and Tifa. They have like, they do have this kind of thing to bond over that Aerith and him don't have. <laughs> Thank you. Coming. I'm coming. This one's for you. Let's do Thundera on the Schoolmaster. I know it's not what they're weak to, but. And then let's do spells. Let's do bull. Is there a crown lance here? No. Get him. Don't overdo it. Calling ice. Oh, I'm gonna do a pray. I'm so it's my turn. And then we're gonna do a arcane ward on myself. <laughs> and then we're gonna cast a. Once I get shot. this ATB build up, we're gonna cast a level two Thundera, so it casts twice. Yeah. Staggered. Double lightning. Nice, nice. The Arcane Ward is good. They put a lot of thought into making them healthy. Not much into making them tasty. <laughs> that MRE. There should be one more. Let's keep kind of going around this way. That face says it all. You know, it's funny. What? Didn't realize it at the time, but yes. we ate pretty good when we were kids. Yeah. Well, because somebody else makes it for you All too. Fruits and vegetables, and great chefs mm. eager to use them. I couldn't agree more. I feel like uh, my parents fed me so well. Like, well, my mom is a she's a nutritionist, and so she always let us eat so healthy. And I look back on it, and I definitely did not. Can you take over? My appreciate it in the moment. All right, let me You're say mine. a young version of yourself does not appreciate it in the moment, although you should have. That was actually insane damage. I don't think I've ever seen that before. 
Hold on. Ow. Soul drain him? He dodged it? Hmm. All right, he's down right now. Let me go items. What is it? Smelling salts, maybe? Smelling salts on cloud. Nice. The first time I've used it. All right. Let me get... Oh, spine flip. All right, we're going to go fire on that crown lance. Kill the crown lance. There we go, Stiskin. Nice, last guy. Although I do want Cloud. I want Cloud to get his uh, limit. There's one more little guy. Nice, keep building it up. Deal with that. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Steel shot. Nice. Stagger. And let's let her finish it with a soul drain. Sorry. Defeated all the fiends. Report back to Jules. To back. Dun, 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 dun. I like this area a lot better, though, than the whole mountainous, kind of deserty feeling. Except for these cactuars. Oh, actually, can I even lift up the cactuar thing? No, this isn't even the same region. Didn't mean it. Oh, hey there, Cloud. Can't thank you enough. Now we can get back to training fiend free. Which, by the way, do you want to train? Sorry about it. Oh, but we've seen Amina before. Be the one who beat these guys in a pull-up contest. Would you? Uh. Watch it, rookie. <laughs> Don't bad mouth us. Ronnie and Jay. But that's how it went down, right? <laughs> you want a rematch? You're Tifa, right? After I heard how you crushed it, I knew I had to join the gym. You're the reason I'm here. Aww. Oh, she's inspiring wow. other women. <laughs> I'm not your only fan. Look, all of us signed up because we wanted to be just like you. It's just as she says. Thanks to you, our female membership has absolutely skyrocketed. I was gonna, I Needless actually had noticed say, that. We're very grateful. I didn't really do anything. Are you kidding me? You're literally my inspiration. Which is oh. why I, uh, I want to challenge you to a sit-up contest. I love uh, it. I, I love know. it. Okay. So, you know, Amina's been training to achieve your look, Tifa. You'd be helping her measure her progress. Let me sweeten the deal. If your abs prove superior, I'll add a bonus to your reward. How's that sound? As long as I'm not challenging jewels. All right, warm up. Okay. The glowing ring appears. Okay, when the glowing ring appears, repeatedly tap the highlighted button to keep crunching. All right. Let's do it. Time to give ourselves a challenge. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> It's the, it's the stockings for me. <laughs> I guess it's because I have my own too, though. All right. L2, R2. R1, L1, L2. It's almost like your muscles are singing. Oh, it's such a hard cadence. That cadence is so weird. R1, L1. Your butt's so stunning. You're killing it. Oh. Mina. Mina's kicking my butt. Oh, is this for real or is this a practice? I can't tell if this is practice or for real. Where'd that come from? Just like that. Truly incredible. Yeah. Keep it get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Don't you ever get sore? It's almost like your muscles are singing. We're going faster. We're going faster. No, I missed it. I missed it. That was my chance. No. Well, I wouldn't have gotten it anyway, but all right. Do it again. Rematch. 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 No. No. Retry. That's not that hard. I just got to remember it. Don't go it. easy on me. Okay? Okay. I love her. I love Amina. Okay. Let's go. Two, two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, two, one, one. Go, 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 go. 
One, one, two, two. 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 One, one. Go, 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 go. You're killing it. Beautiful. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm doing it. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Truly incredible. It's almost like your muscles are singing. Ah. Uh, come on, come on, get back up, Tifa, get back up, get back up, get back up. Ten seconds, game time, game time, game time, go, go. Uh. Don't you ever nice, 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 nice. Build it, build it, build it, build it, build it, build it. Come on. Yeah, nice. But that was only level one. Only round one. You really are on a whole other level. How about we hit Second the time's the charm. Wow, you've got abs of adamantite. But somebody else wants to challenge? Alive. You put up a good fight, though. Like I said, you're an inspiration to me, Aww. to all of us. That's so... I... Nobody's born with a beautiful physique like yours. I can tell you mm. poured gallons mm. of blood, sweat, and tears into your training. Some people Honestly, just naturally I... do have it, though. But Tifa does work really hard. Like, let's Sorry. get that straight. Thank you. Glad I could help. Well, actually, I was hoping that yeah. if it's not too much to ask, would you, Tifa, be my muscle mentor? Dun, 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 dun. Me? Really? I don't know. By all means, you mm. have my blessing. If you don't mind dropping by from time to time, I'm sure she'd benefit from your advice. Might as well. Oh, that means that we can go back to the if gym and do the want, competition whenever, probably. Back you up. But I think this oh was... Gosh. Most of the mission. <laughs> do, do, do. Muscle mentor. Has a nice ring to it. There you go then. Your extermination. Crunch off feed. warm up. That was and just a warm up. A little extra oh, for no. no, no, Come no. Back whenever you want to pump some iron. You're always welcome. I'm gonna put that one off a little bit. Bodybuilders in a bind. I will say that that was really sweet. I think one of the parts that I liked about that was watching Tifa kind of navigate how to accept a, a compliment. Today, it's your definitely having witnessed your ab performance. Other members of the jewel. Okay. Yeah, so other members want to challenge us too. Champion belt, chakra material, supernatural. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to come back to this later, but I think that it's really cool seeing Tifa learn how to accept a compliment as well. I think that there does kind of become this feeling where it's um sometimes it can be hard to accept a compliment because you maybe still are feeling like imposter syndrome or you can't possibly understand how other people would maybe like want to model after you because you don't uh, you know we don't know how tifa kind of views herself i think she does come across and exhume like confidence but um you know you never really you never know what's going on behind somebody. They could definitely feel like they are undeserving of what they have or like that. I think especially when you're younger, I find that imposter syndrome can play a big part if you do feel like you're put into a role that you look around and it's a lot of other people that are way more experienced than you. Uh, so for Tifa, she's been training her whole life and she should be confident about it, but absolutely, it's probably a weird feeling when people are like, I am joined the gym and I want to model after you because of what you do. Like it's, it's very inspiring. and. I liked how she handled that, so I thought that was sweet. All right, I'm gonna run to the bathroom again, and then we're gonna finish up with Phenomenon, and then we are probably gonna end the episode there. I'll be right back. All right, let's raise this cactus. That way. Yeah, but let's see if we can fast travel somewhere sooner. Mmm, let's go to this. We'll go from like Chocobo Stop to Chocobo Stop. So show us direction. That way. Let me fast travel to this. Hmm. Or buggy here. I haven't seen a statue anywhere. Hold it up. This way. Okay. Let me try driving. Uh, could possibly be. Oh, snap. Okay. Not bad. Up there. Up there. Up there. Buggy it. You know what? Maybe it's where the fiends were. It's possible it was through where the fiends were. So if we go across... Uh, yeah. Wait, that's the statue. That's what they look like. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Of course. I saw it and I never went to it. Oh my goodness. I guess maybe the other one spawn when you ah uh, when you get to it. That looks right. I was so close. I was like right there earlier. Mm. Helicopters flying low. Stand before the rock and raise the statue. Okay. No. No. Oh no. Orange cactus trots? I'll show you what I can do. Alright, let's use her. Ow. Taking over. Oh. Try to focus up one, focus up one. Oh my gosh. Focus up one. Come on. These pesky. Alright, take some steel skin. There we go, there we go. Oh, wow. Overcharge. <laughs> Soul Drain. Oh my gosh. Let's do this. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Just Back to me. Triple Slash? Anything? There we go. One stun. No, he has like one HP. He has one HP. Got him. Super Poker Shot. Oh, come on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Here it comes. Come One on. One more shot. Why don't you lead the Take way? It over. That's it. You pesky little triple slash him. Don't overdo it. I'm up for it. There we go. Okay, never mind. Uh, I actually should. I need to assess him. So it's my turn. Oh, yeah. there with Cloud. Nice. No oh. But we should have gotten what we need. They're like the the things in Banjo Kazooie. You know the um. There it goes. Uh. Oh, what do they do? Uh, here. Wait. Hi. Um. You know what I'm talking about? Is it the the Jinjos? Um. What are you doing? Am I posing oh, like it? No. Doing <laughs> anything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yuffie's taking too much enjoyment out of this. Red, not you two. Oh man, that was hilarious. Oh, so funny. Hey, so funny. Do you think there are any more of these amazing rocks out there? Applying Let's hope not. Most impressive. Whatever. Let's go. Uh, it's like the whole game. It's just a bunch of things trying to make fun of Cloud. All right, we're going to bug you back over there, and we're going to see if we can go inside one of these and then find the next part to the Proto Relic. Poor Cloud. Oh, he's the butt of the joke. He's just too easy to make uncomfortable, you know? Mm. Now we can enter. Investigate the modular reactor. What does it look like? All right, we're going down. I hear them. No, I hear a horde of them. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, let me fast. Oh, they're adorable. Oh, no, they're not. No. Ten. They want to the race. The proto relic is the treasure of the sands. It seems, which they have kept safe for generations. Hmm. <laughs> Moreover, they are duty bound to ensure its safety until its rightful owner comes to claim it. Wonder who that is. Hmm. Possibly. For all we know, it could simply be a myth. You're saying these guys have their own fairy tales? Sounds pretty silly to me. Hang on a sec. Who are you calling a fairy? What? Oh, no need for all that. Name's G. Kid G. Descended Kid G? from a long line of goblins. I look after these cactuars. It's what? a duty passed down to me from my forebears. Wait, you can I talk? <sighs> Speech ain't that hard, lady. Where there's a will, there's a way. Kid Given G. Your present company, I'm shocked you haven't shaken that preconception. 
The voice kind of sounds like Zach a little bit. Quoth Cactuar Scripture, the Book of Kings. Unto those who seek the treasure of these sands, a trial shall be given. Okay. <laughs> if you think you've got what it takes to be the treasure's rightful owner, you're gonna have to prove it first. Kid G. Where they all come from? We have to race. Oh, 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 they're like worth points. They're points. We have to gain enough points, trial. And now your trial. They can speak too. Take down the cactuars within the time allotted. If you can. Oh, it looks like we have ourselves a volunteer. Yuffie? Oh. Me? Oh, Yuffie. All right, test your might against an army of spiny speedsters. In this race against the clock, defeat as many cactuars as possible within the limit. Each cactuar defeated will add to your score. Cactuars come in all shapes and sizes, point values, with some even boasting special properties. Okay. Uh, we need 2,500. Okay. Cactuar crush. We're probably gonna get something for Johnny on this. Oh man. Yeah, we'll absolutely get something for Johnny. All right, come on, Yuffie. Go, 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 go. All right, we got a weakness. Okay, nice. Ooh. All right, mega points. We need, all right, ninjutsu. Let's do. Supreme Art of War. Supreme Art of War. Back to back, back to back. There we go. Come on, Yuffie. Oh my gosh, get the rainbow, get the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Oh my gosh, our target score is a thousand. How am, I, how am I supposed to get that many? Get that guy, get that gift, the time bomb. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. The time bomb's not messing around. Run like a chocobo! Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Did I lose points for getting hit? Oh, shoot. Mm, right award. Get away from the bomb. Nice. Alright, mega 10 points. Time bombs. There's so many! Get that guy! Get that guy! There we go, time. Get more time, get more time. Nice. Okay, so I clearly am not doing something right. Definitely use the ninjutsu weaknesses, for sure. Bro? Get away from the time bombs! Get away from the bombs! Come on, you needed just a thousand more. Oh no, we need to kill the one that's around the bombs. I'm not getting it reduced. Oh. Alright, I need fire to fire there. See, I needed to be doing this like the whole time. Okay. Oh, uh, no, it's happening. See, I wasn't getting, like, a lot of points at the beginning. Damn it. How are you going to get 2,500? 710 new score. We're going to have to retry. Oh, my goodness. My wrist is hurting from, like, constantly slamming it. Like, constantly using my thumb. I know that sounds ridiculous, but my hand's already... <laughs> okay, so let's solely use ninjutsu. There we go. Weaknesses. All right, so I'm finally starting to get some points. Mm. All right, there we go. Now I want to throw, and I want to do fire ninjutsu. Throw. Come on, fire. Oh, I need to stop doing art of war. Stop doing art of war. All right. Let's see. Keep going with ninjutsu. Let's do fire ninjutsu. Oh, come on. I'm even worse than before. I guess I can try to just get up close with them. Fire ninjutsu. Yuffie, get up. 
She's just like my least favorite character. I'm the worst with her. Keep smacking me. Run like a chocobo. There's no way I'm gonna get seven. Alright, dodge around, dodge around. Keep smacking it around. So maybe fire is not that guy's weakness? Do I go like an... I, I'm just confused. Do I throw? Do I not throw? There we go. I guess you have to throw and then attack up close, maybe. So maybe throw and then go into them? Not doing this right at all. You definitely earn the most points for, like, getting up close to them. You know what I mean? Mm. Not enough points at all. I've got to hit them with fire ninjutsu. It's the only thing that they're super susceptible to. Look at that. 600, 630. There it is. Yes. So maybe I just need to work on... Alright, throw, fire ninjutsu, weaknesses, hit them up close, retrieve, hit them up close, roll around these guys. Okay, okay. <sighs> Not doing good. Failed. I, this, doing this challenge is going to be so difficult for me. <laughs> ah! Alright. Throw, fire ninjutsu. Throw. But I need to go fire ninjutsu. Weaknesses. There we go. He's trying to tackle me. I gotta work on that. Alright, if they get close to tackling, then I gotta get the heck out of there. Alright, move on, move on, move on. Throw. Throw. Fire ninjutsu. Throw. Fire ninjutsu. Here we go. Build up those points. Build up those points. Roll around. Nice. There we go. Now we're working on it. Now we are working. Fire ninjutsu. Be careful, just kind of roll around. See that one's trying to tackle us. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Tackle. All right. Let me throw. Fire ninjutsu. Nice. Weaknesses. There we go. There we go. All right. Get to it. Get to it. Get to it. Throw. Fire ninjutsu. Go. Whoa. He's floating. He's floating. Ah. Uh, no. How am I supposed to get those points? 100 point pack for It's not even anywhere close. Come on! Ugh. This is the worst challenge in the world! Kill the thousand or the hundred pointer! Ah! I lose so many points by that. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Attack, fire, ninjutsu, go! Tackle, somebody's trying to tackle. All right, let me go attack, throw. Throw. Fire. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I just did that. Like, I feel like I'm just trying to guess here, like, how to do this. With the power of his providence. Oh, my goodness. Cat doors. Nope, it's not happening. All right, I'm going to quit and relook at what it wants me to do because I'm obviously not doing something right based off of reading what I thought it wanted me to do and not actually being able to follow through. So let's figure out what it wants from me. Ah. <laughs> You're always welcome. I know. I just need to do a thousand. View tutorial again. Defeat as many cactuars as possible within the time limit. Each cactuar defeatable add to your score. Reach the target score before time runs out. Cactuars come in all shapes, sizes, and point values with some boasting special properties. For example, gladiators are more susceptible to standard physical attacks, while magna ones are vulnerable to magic attacks like her ninjutsu but that's not always the case so it's not even that it's just um i don't know i'm trying to think how i can genuinely do this any better than i already have 
I just keep throwing just in. These ones are susceptible to regular ones, so we just need to kill these. Just two basic attacks. Yeah. Just two basic attacks. Nice. All right, these are the magnas, so we just need to hit them with ninjutsu. Hold on, get them away, get them away, get them away. They're trying to tackle. All right, these are magnas. So, t okay, now these are physical damage. Physical damage, so I don't need to do magna. I just need to hit them. Do not ninjutsu. Do not. Mm, just normal scores. Normal scores. And then a time bomb. Okay, these are normal. That one is a gladi. Okay, so they're reduced to that, so I need to retrieve and just do physical damage. Physical damage. There we go. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Ow, 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 ow. Throw. Physical hits, physical hits, physical hits. Get off of ninjutsu. Art of War. Art of War. I'm really not trying to use... <laughs> You need to be in control of what she does. Like, look at this. All right, Art of War for these guys. Okay, now these guys are fire ninjutsu, so I just need to throw this out. All right, hold on. Fire ninjutsu. All right, throw them out, throw them out, throw them out, throw them out. This is the best I've ever done. Throw out, throw out. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Every time you get knocked down by them, There we go. Get the time bombs, get the time bombs. Okay, here we go, retrieve that. All right, these ones are Magnus too, so throw it. And then we need to run and then do, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Get away from the explosions. Bomb, bomb. Oh no! Oh. Let's turn, up the grill. turn up the grill! Oh my gosh, this is so bad! I wish it was any other character but Yuffie! Oh. I'm getting a thousand and then I'm getting the heck out of here. This is going to be the hardest phenomenon. Please tell me I don't have to do it with Yuffie this whole time. All right, these are regular guys, so we just need to get in there. Try to dodge their tackles. Try to dodge their tackles. Nice. All right, on to the next. Ninjutsu. All right, but we need to specifically do fire. So we need to throw it out. Run away. Throw it out. Throw. And attack. Throw. Do fire. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Rings around. That 100 pointer, we need that 100 pointer. Nice. All right, these are regular. Nice. Get that time bomb. Nice. All right, these ones are going to be normal, so just spin them around. Normal attacks, normal attacks only. Let's do a Art of War. Nice. Explosion needs to get out of here. Retrieve, go back to normal attacks. Beautiful. All right, these are fire ones, so let me roll out, roll out. Throw, and fire ninjutsu, here we go. 500 points, 53 seconds, 600, there we go, there we go, get that time, get that time. Weaknesses. Nice, all right, there's more. There's more. Here we go, weaknesses. Gotta get away from the bombs, get away from the bombs. Just always stay away from the bombs, get over towards them. 750 points, let's go, let's go, let's go. Spine explosion, stay away. I'm still doing fire ninjutsu, this is working well. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Uh, there we go, another one's dead. Another one dead. All right, that's a combination of a couple. All right, hold on. Some of them are going to be susceptible to it. Other ones won't be. So let me just take out the ones that are susceptible. Nice. Get that bomb. Get that time bomb. All right, kill all the ones that are susceptible to it. And then now that we are left with those guys, get in there, physically attack them. Nice. Art of War. Beautiful. I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. 
Spine potion. Get in there. Art of War. We're doing it! I'm doing it! One to grow on. Nice! Hell yeah! Alright, keep away from them, keep away from them. Nice! Nice! I think I'll be able to do it! I think I could do the 2500. Okay, come on! That was night and day difference because I actually was in control of what I was throwing and what I wasn't throwing and... It took me a second, but we got there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. I think I got one and two, so we needed 2,500. You gonna Thank hand you. over the proto relic then? Mm -mm. Never heard anyone call it that before. But I'm a goblin of my word. So here. All right. Something tells me we'll see Kiji before too, or in the next ones. Yuffie's like so excited. She's like, I did it. And so, as Dom. promised, your piece of the prize. Piece? We want the whole thing, shrimp. We have to go to each of them. Then you're gonna need to go around and gather up the yep. other bits. Put it together yourself. Right. So what you're saying is that more trials await, and that yours truly Which will we be knew, your guide. But... See you next time. All right. Well, hopefully there are different challenges afterwards what an unexpected and exhilarating turn of events it was horrible an ancient treasure guarded by an army like, of cactuars and a goblin not to mention the mysterious the goblin giant king. of the sand and the book of kings you remind me of uh, a babe increase in body temperature detected i believe i'm rather excited <laughs> i've already picked up another signal from the proto relic uh. or rather the treasure of the sands Head for Modular Reactor 2. Say, how many of these mini reactors are there anyway? Four. Several. Or these five. Modular Mako no, I think it's four. Were Should be four. Throughout the desert as a means of generating and supplying power to the Gold Saucer. To avoid accelerating the desertification of the region, the reactors are periodically cycled between active and dormant states. Oh. Who would have thought all that glitz and glamour came at such a high cost? Really? In any case, the reactors have been ingeniously repurposed by Most the cactuars, people. and within these fortresses, they may secure their treasure. I honestly doubt their sure treasure. Could anything half as resilient as this combination of sand and cactuar nectar. Hmm. Well, we know what we have to do. That took so much time. <laughs> that was brutal. The next one, yeah. Yeah, the next one. All right, well, that took so much time, but I think I can do the next, the rest of them better. I just, I feel like with Yuffie, and this is what I saw like a lot of you guys say during the DLC is you really do have to have control of your throw and the knowledge of like when you throw it, you're using ninjutsu versus when you keep it close to you, like you're using your basic attack and stuff. And it does have like a multiplier effect to it. And so I just need to be in control and in charge of when I'm throwing versus having it like by my side and just wielding it by my hand. It's just I am not good at controlling that. So this is a good practice, like honestly. For what it's worth, it does help me become more efficient with her and better with her. So I'm going to look at this as a learning opportunity, but I do have to skedaddle for today. So I'm going to be right back with a different day. All right, y'all, welcome back. <laughs> we are on the last bits of this episode. I know this is probably going to be the longest episode on this like strain of videos, but yeah, if it wasn't obvious by the 10 different outfits that I wore as well. But we are picking back up. We're doing these cactuars. You guys saw me get my butt kicked as Yuffie. So hopefully the rest, um, the rest don't require Yuffie as much as maybe one of the other characters. We'll see. But we need to head out to the other three. I think there's three total. I know part of 100%ing the game is going to be completing those. And I'm just going to have to sit here and... Practice and practice and practice. All right, so let's call the buggy. And I think we saw... Well, it will show us where the next phenomenon is, won't it? Yes. All right, we need to travel here. I think the best way to get to it will be crossing over here. So let's fast travel to the buggy. 20 different outfits, 10 different drinks, just back to back. You know what? There is still something here, so this is good. 
while I'm down here. There! I completely missed that. Nice. And then I might fast travel somewhere else. I think we can actually get to it a little closer. And drain water is complete. And I want those boxes. And these. Moi, moi, moi. All right, let's go up here. I think this one might be good. Yeah, let's do the buggy from here. We just need to get across. There it is. Avoid the creatures. All aboard. So I wonder if they spawn after because I feel like I have. All right then, let's start oh. looking for those craggy cactuars. The craggy cactuars. I know with that we've been to almost all the areas here, so I find it really weird that they've got to they've got to spawn after. I think I see it actually. No, because it would be glowing, wouldn't it? Wait a minute, face this way. Hmm. It's definitely on that other side. It's gotta be over here. Let's actually buggy to here, Chocobo stop. All right, let's hold up the cactuar. Oh no, I think it's top side. I think it's actually up here. All right, buggy here. Might as well tap into the spring. Don't mind if I do. Hold on. Yes, because we're seeing so many cactuses, which is an indication of... It's gotta be this way. Oh no. Do you think it's up top? I don't think I ever went over there. That explains why I never saw it. Yeah, I don't think I ever went up this high. No, but we just came from here. Wait a minute, are we sure? It's not this way. Yeah, it's gotta be up there, right? Yes, because I see cactuses up there too. Okay. Mm. Uh. Maybe we need to zip across? There. Oh my gosh, they really make you go through the... ringer for this. All right, let's go over here. Cactuses, don't mess around. There it is, there it is, there it is. Some of the terrain feels so much like, what is walking near it? Yeah, some of the terrain just feels so much like FF16 in some spots. All right, raise the almighty cactuar statue. Gold cactuars? Solid gold. Oh no. I'll show you what right. I can do. Nice. One down, one down, one, one down. Ooh. That's it. Oh, ow. Aerith's almost down. Let's mega potion Aerith real quick. Taking over. Taking over. Oh my gosh. Alright, there we go. We got him. We got him. Nice. One more. He's gonna cactuar. He's gonna do it. Look here, buddy. Mind over man. How'd you like that? Oh my gosh. Fuck your shot. I'm coming. Oh, he's gonna cast it again. This one's for you. Come on, Aerith, get it. Be a little bit faster. My turn. Oh my. You know what? I do want to assess him. Oh no 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 don't die! Hold on. Uh, let me assess. Get ready. Hold on. It's like I forgot how to play this game. I got your number. 
I got your number. All right, botanical fiends of the succulent variety, mainly found in the arid regions. Hitting them with physical ATB commands will pressure them. Though typically too fast to strike, they will be susceptible to attacks when pressured using their own ability. All right, let's ATB boost. Nice, there we go. Uh, I'll just potion bear it, potion myself a little bit too. You cannot tell me the music isn't the best part. Play this on the piano. What are you waiting for? Go on, touch it. She just wants to see me Ladies do the pose first. again. Oh no, you're way better at the whole putting yourself in harm's way thing. Fine. <laughs> are oh. you kidding me? <laughs> yes, yes. Why? <laughs> the or power of the cactuar. Don't fight it. Yes, heed the voice of experience. Hey. <laughs> it worked too because she has a green top, so it kind what of meant. I, I do know. to deserve this. I feel like it flows better. <laughs> Let's head back to the reactor. All right, back to the reactor. I can't fast travel. We'll go here, buggy. I'm so glad they allow you to fast travel with the buggy. You pain in the butt otherwise. Might as well scoop this. And these. I think we're gonna have to find new items in a new region before we can transmute anything else. Come on. Oh, Kid G, yeah, we had discovered Kid G as well. I forgot to talk about that. Kid G happened. It's been like two days since the last time I played. This has been the, lo <laughs> this is like the longest video. Kid G, early discovery. Sure took you long enough. What do you say? Want to jump right into your second trial? <sighs> what is it? Again. You know how this ends. <laughs> There's Do a new I thing. Ever. But to you. Holy crap! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's see. Who looks fit to fight? It's gonna be Cloud. Ooh, me! Can Aerith? You know? <laughs> Fine by me. If the little lady wants to show off, I say let her. With Aerith? Aerith's trial introduces two new species of cactuars. Lights and darks. Uh, light twars, dark twars. Press L2 to conjure an anti, okay, L2 to conjure an anti-light. R2 to summon anti-dark shadow ward. Basic attacks performed within these wards are more, eff okay. Effective against the aforementioned. Okay, L2 for light and then R2 for the dark. Note the cactuars of other affinities may appear going forward, so keep your elemental wits about you. Okay. Item Master Materia? That's such a good earring. We need to try to max this. Dang it. We're gonna have to do like the God of War thing where I finish the game, but then I go back and like collect things that I missed. Okay. What are these guys? These are just giants. Here it comes. These are just giants, so I just need to like manually attack them. Okay, gotcha. All right, these are lights. Maybe this will do. There we go. Ready? Smack him! Smack him! That's it. Make sure I dodge if I need to. No, no, wrong ones, wrong ones. All right, now we need to press a shadow ward. Okay, this is so cool. Extra time bonus. Nice. What's next? What's next? These are magna. I don't know what the magna ones are. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh my gosh, I got bopped. I only have a hundred right now. Magna, I don't know, sorcerer stone. I'm backing off a bit. Thank you. All right, so magnas are good towards any of her. Like, I keep my distance if I were you. Nice. All right, that's how we do the magnas. These ones are gonna be manual, so we just need to smack them a little bit. Tackle. 
dodge. Nice. 550. Nice. Beautiful. 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 All right. We've got giant time bombs and then that magna guy. And then for this, we need a... Backing off a bit. Thank you. And then we need a soldier. All right. That was a big weakness, too. We need to just get a... Let me try to do okay. like a luminous, baby. Okay, weakness is good for luminous a little bit. That's it. What the Ow. Uh. All right, let's do soul drain. Thank you. Take it. Uh. What? We missed uh. the soul drain. Uh. This is a big guy. Uh. Nice, got him, got him, got him. Uh. All right, we have light and this dark. Stronger. Uh. So go for the light ones. And then we'll do dark after. Light first. Do a nice shadow. Kill some of the shadow guys. Get away from tackle. Get away from tackle. This will make you stronger. Ow. Ow. Get up, get up, get up. You're at a thousand, but we need more. Tackle. Oh. These pesky little. That's it. Get him. Oh my goodness. All right, Dark Lord. Oh my goodness. Let's do a I have eight seconds Sorcerer Storm. i keep my distance if I were you. Oh, Sorcerer Storm is so. Sorcerer Storm. Storm is so good. You asked for it. Nice. Yes, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, I have better tactics for it. I still don't know if we'd be able to do. I think what is max score? We need a lot more to do max score. What is max score? Uh, 2,500 maybe? Wow, you sure showed me. And I still thought First you go. might be no better than a bunch of bumbling bandits. Ta-da. Just wait till you put Tifa in there. There's no way I'm not gonna like max it first go. Just another piece. We done now? <laughs> not even close. You've still got two more pieces to collect. And they won't come easy. Ah, but I could use a bit of time to store up the next trial. Seeing as you kind of breeze through the first what? two. How's about we put things on pause? What? No. Here, give me your contact info. That what? Way, I can hit you up when the trial's good and ready. What? I don't know. What? Cloud, I think it would be wise to oblige his request. All right. Perfect. You'll be hearing from me soon. Peace. Our hunt is on hiatus? Yeah. For the time being, I'm afraid our only viable course of action is to await further instructions. Well, I guess that means I can... <laughs> I guess that means we're done with that. I guess we're on to the next part. All right. This is like, every time I try to finish this area, there's something else that like puts it on pause for a second. Um, I don't want to do it again. I, I think I'm going to leave like maxing those and trying to challenge myself for that kind of video where we're going to like clean up, do some things, go back to some things that have kicked my butt at the gold saucer and stuff. But if we're putting this on hiatus for how long? I guess we can keep going main mission. Well. Um. Yeah. Well, I guess that's about as much as we can do, y'all. I was not expecting that to happen. I would have finished recording it the last time, had I known. Okay. Well, shoot. Right. Corel. <laughs> well, there you go. Corel, as much as we can possibly do. We've got two more pieces for the Proto Relic, but it sounds like we're going to need to progress a little bit more forward. And then I think, I'm assuming that they do this intentionally too, so that you don't get caught up in doing everything in this area in one go just kind of like what we were talking about with the with the gold saucer I think that they are trying to intentionally make you kind of enjoy the game still and come back so I'm sure something later on will have us come back to the region of Coral but for the time being I'm really happy with it I hope you guys enjoyed that I know this was one heck of a long video and I would not trade it for anything in the world because I do enjoy trying to get a lot of it done uh, that was something that 
In FF16, I kind of bounced around all over the place. And so I like how they've structured this. I like being able to complete a lot of the stuff in the area, just kind of make it into more of like an isolated video for you guys, because I know that there, there's always like little sprinkles of main mission, like storyline or dialogue and then some side stuff. But I do like trying to keep that main mission stuff kind of on track for certain videos and then when we open up into these regions it's so much fun to get to like put the main mission the hard topics and everything aside and just kind of enjoy the lightheartedness so yeah that's it for this episode if you made it this far thank you so much <laughs> i know that uh I, it's just kind of how i've always done in everything when a lot of the videos on this channel and if you've ever popped on my twitch channel i just always want to do as much as the game offers because I truly like the biggest reward for me in getting to do this as much as I do is like I see every single game like it reminds me a lot of like when you start a project and then when you finish it it gives you this feeling and when you get to the end and you finish a project you want to know like that you have put all of your effort and all of your hard work into it and that you didn't like hold anything back and i've just never been somebody i think that well i won't say like i never have been i think back in the day when i had less time to give to games i absolutely would mostly prioritize main mission but it's just been such an honor to get to bring you guys playthroughs that do include a lot of the side missions even down to these random little pickup collectibles all of that kind of stuff because I just think that is such an integral part of enjoying a game is seeing all aspects and everything. And I guess in my way, it feels like a way to kind of show respect to the creators of the game because there is so much like so much like manpower and time and energy thrown into these. And I always want to try to make because I play so many games, I always try to make that first time playthrough as enjoyable and detailed as possible because you never get that first playthrough back you know you can always have second playthroughs and third playthroughs and you can pick up new things and i always i always implore people to give games a second third like fourth go because you will always pick up and find new things one of the most rewarding things for me is when i see you guys um this was more I think this was more a thing in the first part, but there were things that you guys were like, wow, I never noticed that. Um, and I've played the game like five or six times. I saw that a lot with Cyberpunk too, uh, just because I was maybe, I sometimes feel like I have a good attention to detail, not always, but sometimes it does come in handy. And so that's such a uh, awesome position to be in to sometimes bring you guys something that maybe you haven't seen before um, within my own playthrough, even if it is my first time. And yeah i just i can't wait to be able to give these games another go i think i've been pretty transparent about this but i do look forward to doing a hard hardcore playthrough leading up to the third part like so before the third part happens to kind of get refreshed because this time i will be waiting the full time with you guys last time i was not i only had to wait about six months because i just had discovered it but this time i'll be waiting all three four five how many every years <laughs> i'm hoping for at least like max four years and they release it on another um leap year or something so maybe it will be in four years but this time i'm i'm in it for the long haul with you guys and so before we do the third part it'd be fun to get to come back for a second playthrough and do hardcore so since i know i'm not going to touch this game for a couple years right i want to make sure that i'm discovering as much as possible so thank you guys for your patience and for everybody who's enjoyed all of the side missions and getting to see different aspects of the game and I just, I love the freedom to be able to do that and bring these kind of playthroughs my way um, to y'all. So yeah, thank you guys so much and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye YouTube. Why does he play games with us like this?